Hello everyone, hello Twinny, Sarah, how's it going? How did you sleep? Thank you for the resub, Sarah. Thank you, thank you. Oh man, crazy to think in a couple of days we're gonna have the diary, right? Oh man, I just wanna see what's in it. Okay, 216 days. Let's jump in. Oh, right. I remember where I ended the last time. I uh, took my boots off and I couldn't put the crampons on, so I just quit. <laughs> okay. So I guess I wanted to leave something behind. Alright, just the same thing again. Anything I can drop in here. Well, I'm not gonna need the era grind. Definitely not gonna need that. Not gonna need this. Probably gonna leave the teeth behind as well. Just in case. I could leave like two, but yeah. Drop this. I probably want the pots with me. Yeah. This goes in here. This and this. This. Okay. Leave this. Leave this. Anything else? Probably this. This. Okay. And uh, I need to harvest my moose that I left there the last time. I'm still. Oh man, I'm heavy. Wait, I'm still too heavy. What can I leave behind? You're driving so BRB, but I'm on speakers. Oh, Oki Burger, Oki Burger, Sarah. No worries, drive safe. What did I do the last time? I'm such a goldie. I still need to... Wait, why am I at 30 kill? Oh, because I'm exhausted, right, right, yeah. But I need to get a battery up here, right? So I'm gonna lose like 3 kilos from this, so I can be like up to like 18 kilos. Um. Hmm. Well, I mean, I can leave. I can leave this flashlight in here, right? I can leave that. Yeah. Even if I get an aurora, we still have the bowl, so it should be fine. And still, like one and a half kilos. Okay, this can go. I guess I wanted to leave some clothing behind anyway, so I can. I can just leave it here, right? Let's just um drop the worst bear coat. We're down to fifteen now. That's better. Okay, that'll do. Let's go. This time I must keep the deer skin boots on because... Oh man, the last time... I didn't realize this version does not let me... Equip crampons without shoes, so that was unfortunate. Goldie robe, yes, yes, that's me, BBA, that's me. You're feeling better, BB-8. Are you healthy already? Or are you still sicky? Oh, my footsteps are still here. I guess that saves uh, through game restarts. I didn't even know that. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, let's go down. Let's uh, do something with the moose. Maybe I can collect some uh, of this stuff on my way. XMS, welcome in, welcome in, hope you're well. You're a healthy eight, yay, nice. Nice. Just in time for the new update. I mean, we don't know when the update's gonna come out, right? We just know the diary. I think I've decided to take at least a couple days off uh, for the update, unless it's going to be a small update. Probably gonna take some time off, so I can just, you know, do a couple long streams. But I need to know when is it gonna happen. I just want them to tell us already. I'm taking those sticks with me. We're gonna need them to cook the whole moose anyway. Actually, we, we don't necessarily need to cook the whole thing, but... 
I would rather not lose the meat, so I would like to at least quarter it. How much can I take? Uh, I have two, two kills, but you know what? We can do it later. I'm gonna take the sticks back down, I think, because we will probably need them elsewhere, right? Like down there. Yeah, I'm gonna take the whole thing. Let's just take all the firewood with us. Also, the cedar wood. Yeah, okay, that's all we got. All the way down to the moose. Impressed crampons, so good, so OP. Pretty sure it's a bug, but I hope they never fix it. So damn good. Wow, how long do these footsteps go for? I'm surprised I can still see the steps all the way down here. I can just follow them, they're gonna lead me to the moose. I don't exactly remember where I killed it, but I think it was like over there uh, on the ice somewhere. I'm gonna cook it in the cave regardless okay that's the uh, battery we definitely want the battery on the way back what what is this oh the hatchet hmm. well we'll see we'll see i uh, need to uh, bring the battery up there that's the most important thing i could always do an extra trip i will probably have to anyway okay that's the moose right there that's the big boy. I might just not uh, harvest it now. It's already minus three. Let's see. I can afford to take a little bit of cold damage, but not too much, so... at least start quartering it let's say so of course it's two hours that's too much okay so we managed to do like half of it of course we got snowy weather right away could be a blizzard so i'm not gonna stick around for any longer just gonna drop all my firewood in the cave i think i might have already have some meat there i'm not sure if it was this save file i really don't remember guess we're gonna find out what's this stones okay don't need that sun setting it's gonna get a lot colder soon my fingers feel numb Oh, come on. This looks like coal that just spawned in. Oh, I don't have firewood in here, but no meat? Really? No meat at all. Hmm. 
That's surprising, but okay, we have so much firewood in here. We have, I think, more than enough to cook the moose. 42 sticks. So, I'm at... Uh, uh, that is not uh, enough, right? Oh, right, I wanted to keep, like, the pots and stuff here, anyway. Forgot about that. I forgot to drop the hex, so... So, yeah, uh, we're fine. We're fine. Let's keep going. I'm gonna have to drop the hex, so... Uh, I can leave it, yeah, yeah, I can leave it right under the robe, let's say, it doesn't matter. And we're finally going to repair the second transmitter. Everything takes me so long on this run, but it's nice. It's nice to chill with a long run for a bit, not do any speed runs or anything. Now, uh, where's my battery again? Okay, half a kilo. Not even that. Encumbered the hex is gonna be what gets us under 30. I just want to drop it in a place I will remember and so like right under the rope is probably the best. Ooh, I might be taking a bit too much damage here. The, the path up there is still a bit longer than I would like. Plus I'm exhausted, so I can't afford to run into a wolfie. Let's see how that's gonna go. So that's the first drop, okay, we can drop the hexo here. Somewhere over here will work. Okay. Let me just verify I have my improvised crampons on. I forgot to put them on, I would yeah, I would definitely fall off the robe. Like the, the robe was too long to climb it without crampons. When exhausted. Okay, that's the first rope. I think I'm going to eat here because I don't think I have any food in uh, the farmstead. I left some bear sticks here, but I cannot afford to take them with me. I'm just too heavy now. And we still need to make it up the other rope. I'm gonna warm up in this cave, maybe yeah, eat and drink. Where's where's the meat? There it is. Meat, water. Let's uh, go to the warm part real quick. Wait for a little bit. Yeah, perfect. Oh, eat this. Okay, 500 calories, that's enough. Katie, welcome in, welcome in. Hope your setter is going well. Let's drink this. Maybe I can even take the rest of the water with me. Oh, yeah, we have enough. Perfect. So, how much longer? Yeah, we're almost there. I'm gonna wait a little longer. I don't suppose I can leave anything else behind. No. Okay, that's good. Should be able to make it. I hear some howling up there. I really hope I don't run into a wolfie, that could be problematic. With my current fatigue. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's the kind of a struggle that we would be a run under potentially if we get unlucky. And that could be a blizzard even. Hmm. Not a blizzard yet, but 
It doesn't really matter. I mean, we're freezing anyway. And I'll be in shelter soon. Yeah, that is... I think it's turning into a blizzard. <laughs> Damn. Freezing. That looks very blizzardy. I'll stay in windshield. Even though we're freezing, I mean, it can still protect my clothing from some further damage, maybe. From some further wetness. Mm, we would... Mm, oh, we would already be cold, but yeah, like, that, that second barcode we are missing definitely cost me some condition, but... There was no other way uh, to get the car battery up while being exhausted. Maybe it would have been better to just sleep fully down in the basin. Maybe this was actually not smart, uh, but I really like using these improvised crampons to climb everywhere exhausted. Okay, I'm equipping the bow here. I did hear some howls, so... We are in Mountain Town after all. There's always some wolves nearby. Oh, I see nothing. Oh boy. This is scary. <laughs> I would like to... Push this deer ahead of me to protect me a little bit no no that he's not going the right way but maybe this bunny yeah the bunny could protect me i'll just use the bunny for protection yes keep running Come on, bunny. Keep running. Keep running. Protect me from wolfies, please. Okay, looks safe enough. And yeah, I have like no food in here, so that kind of sucks. I hope I have some food in Grey Mothers. Uh, should I just sleep? Yeah, I have nothing else to eat, so... Let's just do that. It's still too early. Maybe I could sleep for two more hours. Actually, let me peek outside. I mean, we could have like Maglan's weather or something. That could be a reason to just go down there again. Is that... Uh... Oh man, I, I can't tell. This is some weird weather. I don't know. I don't know if it's clear or not. <laughs> clear or snowfall. I think I'll take another nap. All right, put this back on. Maybe I want to take the 
bowl with me and the rest doesn't really matter yeah the rest is fine so i have my bedroll i have yeah okay as long as it's maglan's weather we could go down otherwise uh, it does look like maglan's weather yeah perfect so maybe we should keep going right uh huh oh it's because we don't have any fuel Yeah, yeah, this is Maglan's weather, okay. When I first uh, came out of the farm, that was confusing. I really hate when that happens. That visual bug. I'm gonna be so mad when this changes away from Maglan's weather by the time I reach the uh, the moose. That would be horrible. I think I'm gonna start a fire first and then I'm gonna cut up the moose. I'm starting to freeze anyway. It's still very early. So it's like what? Minus 15 even with all our warm clothing. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm going straight to the cave. <laughs> We're losing almost no stamina. Just awesome. Okay, there's the hexo. I'm just running straight to the cave. Just in case the weather changes. Really want to make it in time. Sticks. Cold is making my head feel thick. <sighs> Ooh. How did I miss these? Okay, okay, almost there. Don't you dare changing weather. Just stay nice and sunny. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Alright, made it. Ooh. Okay, now it should be chill. Repairing the moose. Come on. It worked. Okay, burger. Let's just make a stick fire. Maybe I'm gonna take uh, one hour nap while I warm up.
Still 23 minutes. I didn't think this through though, did I? I'm just gonna reset it. It's fine. This is still 42, so that's like enough to... Uh, that's not what I wanted. God damn it. There we go. 42 minutes. Time for me to go. Oh, that wolves makes me a little nervous. Six still. Okay. Oh, that'll do. Okay. I don't want that wolf to bother me. I'm gonna go this way. Hopefully, he will not aggro me. My water's probably boiling away already. No time to waste. Also, I'd love to not lose well fat. That would be really nice. I think I'm just going to micro harvest a little bit of the moose steak since I have to eat anyway. I don't, I don't think it was going to get the deer, but it was close. Okay, uh, I do have a little bit more water in here. Let me quickly drink so I don't lose condition. Oh, wait, I took two quarters. What happened? What happened? Hmm. Okay, it's Kieran here. You're home. Welcome home, Sarah. Welcome home. How's it going? Where, where are you driving this early? I mean, it's uh, it's already 2 p.m., but I know you usually sleep late on weekends, so I'm mildly surprised there. Okay, I think, yeah, half a, half a kilo is fine. Let's do that. Yeah, I mean, come on, it's, it's kind of early for you, right? <laughs> How long did you sleep, Sarah? Uh, okay. Five minutes, that'll do. Alright, 15 minutes. I think we can wait 15 minutes before we lose well fat. Should be fine. There we go. Eat this before we lose well fat quick. Oh, that's much better. Much better now. They still don't have much... water in here, so I'm gonna make some more. So I have about one hour uh, to Round harvest stuff, snow. maybe. Nothing to drink. Yeah, this, this is perfect, actually. Let's do this. I think I'm gonna lose some condition, but whatever. Doesn't matter. You went to bed at like 23.30 and woke up at 9, but you kept waking up the first two hours. Oh, nice. Over nine hours sleep. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. I'm glad you slept long. See, wasn't that hard. <laughs> Welcome in, Spinning Blood. We're getting a screeny. Okay, okay, let's do the screeny. I, uh... Hmm. 45 minutes. Let's do this. Let's harvest this first. Went to two different grocery stores and to garden center. Ooh. Buying some new seeds to grow. Okay. Uh, Alright, that'll do. Maybe add some more wood to the fire. And let's do the screeny. 
Okay. So, screeny. Interloper screeny. Let's see what we got. How did you sleep? I sounded a bit tired at the beginning of the streamy. Yeah, I feel a little tired, but... Uh, I mean, I slept fine. I did wake up a bit early, but... I slept like seven and a half hours, you know, so so the usual, nothing nothing too too bad. So what can I give you? Oh, this one is rough. No, <laughs> that's, that's rough even for interloper. This one is not that bad. I mean, it, it is interloper, but like it's it's reasonable, reasonable loper. So let's see. Okay, so this is interloper. So like you can guess right away. The ad break should have ended. Yes, Crony8, come on, help us, help us. It's an interloper screenshot. Sorry, we're gonna have to step in for BB8, so go. You can guess right away. You don't know. <laughs> Coastal Highway Tooth. Uh, no, 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 that's not it. That's not it. I can see the similarity, but this is a slightly larger rock than the tooth, right? Also, the tooth is rotated differently. There isn't this hill right next to it. Only stony, you know, that sticks up like this is the tooth. Yeah, this is not the tooth. That would probably not be interloper, right? Like, if I showed you this much from the two, that would probably be, like, a hard one. Yeah, that would probably be stalker screenshot. This is a bit harder. Still on the easier side for interloper, but, uh... Yeah. Orange branch line near the cave. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I think it was a bit too easy for interloper, but GG. <laughs> <laughs> GG, spinning the lad, that's it. Yeah, I think I put it in Interloper because it's a new region, right? So a lot of people don't know it that well yet. But yeah, that's the one. And yeah, by the time we're gonna show this again, it's probably going to be a Stalker one. It's not... Uh, not Interloper, Interloper, but you know, it's, it's still... It was like between Stalker and Loper, so I put it into Loper. <laughs> Screeny bullet. Yeah, good job with that one. Uh, I only have one kill over here. So I'm gonna fetch some more, right? Uh, can I drop anything else? Let me drop these two liters of water. And since we're just gonna go back and forth, I'm just gonna leave the bear coats in here because they're freaking heavy. Yeah, now we're 13 kilos. That's a lot better. But you know what? I... I'm gonna sleep an hour because we're starting to lose. Let's just pass time here. Okay, this is a smaller meat. We don't want to use that. There's 46. Okay. And enough time. So, time to sleep for an hour here. Where is your emotional support aid? Uh, maybe I is here. Maybe I is here. I guess she's lurking. Or maybe she has a poor internet connection like last time. Just disconnected during the screening. Now where's that wolf? There was one wolf nearby. I don't see it anymore. No, oh, Sarah, when is the next uh, extra streamy, huh? 
You didn't obviously stream yesterday, but... I guess your vacation's ending, right? It was just a couple days. But you could still do an extra one next week, you know? I don't think Tash will be back in uh, on Tuesday, will she? I think she said not yet this week, but uh, and I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm a goalie. I don't I'm remember. Sure I oh, wow, more. I can take all of them at once. Uh, wow. Okay, that's nice. That feels good. How much is that? That's almost 40 kilos worth of moves right there. Without Travoy. Oh, I can't wait until I can build a Travoy. This thing is going to be so much easier. Gonna take this out, I think. I don't have any stones. Uh, yeah, I'd prefer not wasting an arrow on him. I think we'll be fine. She might be making break if she woke up at like 13.55. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in time for, for the streamy. That makes sense, yeah. Still early for BB-8. Why would you do that extra streamy? Because uh, it would make me very happy, Sarah. <laughs> Is that not reason enough? Plus, you know, you want to play some TLD, you want to try some more Hollow Knight, so you kind of need two streams for that. I guess probably streaming Tuesday though, and she's ending quite late for you since you're now two, two hours ahead of her? How does that work? I thought Iceland was like the British time zone. Guess not. Just in time for the stream. That's what she told you to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, it's it's reason enough, see? But yeah, yeah, I understand. Only when he doesn't clash with others. I mean, you could always do an evening one. I guess you're also not the evening type. Just like me. I've never seen you stream, like, evening, you know. Like, uh, like Luke does, for example. But you do go to sleep earlier, so I guess it makes sense. We have like 45 minutes, so that's another 3 kilos. British time zone during winter, but they don't change the time. Oh man, okay, I see. That's annoying. I wish it was just consistent uh, for everyone. Wait, is this all one liter? I don't know. Let me just unify this. There we go. Yes, yes, you don't want to clash with others, you really want to watch, yes. That is understandable, I mean, it's, it's the same for me. But you could always uh, try a weekend this stream, you know? We could raid into you, you know, that kind of stuff. There's still plenty of time slots, I would say. But yeah. We'll see, maybe maybe the new update that's gonna come out is going to give you more motivation. You used to stream evenings at your old job, but your new schedule has it freaked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to wake up early for this job, I get it. Yeah, you could do weekends, you know. There's usually not that many people on at weekends, like... Especially now, Wands is barely streaming. I mean, Wands was like my go-to person for the weekend, you know, and <laughs> he's uh, typically skipping now. Sometimes he's on, but not, not often.
Okay. I feel like this was a really small moose. Is it just me? I'm almost done harvesting this. That's a pretty small one. used to lurk in his weekend streamies too and there was a lot of back in uh, uh oh where there are a lot in, back in 21 and 22 yeah 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 <laughs> now i'm your weekend streamy go to oh boy okay, okay. not feeling pressured at all <laughs> Oh yeah, tomorrow's stream is going to start later, right? I I made a post on Discord. It's going to be the same as last week, basically. It's gonna start like an hour or an hour and a half later, maybe. But yeah, we'll still stream. We'll still stream the, the same length, roughly just slightly moved by an hour or two. Yeah. My main schedule is a bit less consistent. Yeah, it was before, but hopefully we'll be back to like the regular stuff in June. No pressure at all. Yes, of course, of course. I I think you are the person that understands it the most, right? I don't want to pressure into the uh, bonus streamy. That's why I'm calling a bonus streamy, right? It's it's always like more than expected. If you do a second one, that's like wow, <laughs> Sarah streaming twice always unexpected but always a pleasant surprise you don't want to stream it's okay i'm actually enjoying it now a lot you know like uh, maybe it's because the update has been announced you know so i'm like uh, i i enjoy playing my long run right now so i'm having a good time <laughs> capybara welcome in welcome in hope you're having a good saturday Uh, I am out of stuff to harvest, but I would like to stay outside now, so our fire lasts longer, right? Uh, okay, this is better. 43, we can easily sleep for an hour here. Let's do that. Let's take some naps. Two Sarah streams in a week, what is that? I know, right? That's, that's a rarity. Almost never happens. Unfortunately. Maybe one day. Oh, these are both the small ones. Where's the big stakes? This one. Yes. Hey, okay. take another nap. Alright, so we harvested the moose, it was pretty quick, but I feel like this moose was tiny, I mean, I don't know, how much was it? Um, I brought 40 kilos on my se second trip, probably, right? And it's like double weight for quarters, so I was like 20 kilos worth of meat, and the first one I brought two quarters, so... So it was like just a 30 kilo moose, that's like the bottom, I think. That's like the least you can uh, get from a moose, just 30 kilos. That's kind of sad. <laughs> that was a tiny moose. But it's fine. I kind of want the height, honestly. Like, the, the moose height. We don't really need it for anything, but... I'm hoping I'll be able to use it... Uh, with the trader somehow. You will try. Of course, no pressure, no pressure, Sarah. You've never seen a moose that low? Yeah. I think it can be like 30 to 45 typically, so... Or maybe 30 to 48? I, I don't think it can go over 45, but I don't really remember. Yeah. 
30 is super small, but uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, we're like late game. We don't truly need this meat anytime soon anyway, so who cares? I simply killed the moose on sight. We also have to kill the bear, I think, because we're going to repair the transmitter and we're gonna hunt for the caches, right? But one of the caches for our loot table is where the bear is, I think. And I would prefer killing that bear before it turns into an Aurora version, if I can. So how big is this? Oh, okay, that's that's a big steak. We're gonna do anything with that. Alright, still 44 minutes. That should be enough for a couple hours, but I need more. I need more. Let's add some more to the fire. She has a beautiful voice. Yeah, yeah, she does, she does. Another one hour nap. The lowest deer I've seen is like 34 point something. You usually see it around 39 kilos on average. Well, you should uh, science it, Sarah, you know, go kill some more moose. I mean, I showed you how to chase it, right? So, shouldn't be a problem. You're still half asleep. Yeah, we had a screening, you missed it. But it wasn't on Dark Walker path, and Bullet guessed it pretty fast, so it's fine, it's fine. Are you making breakfast or something? <laughs> yeah, EP8. Yeah, yeah, for real, on God. Screenshot core. We were in our screenshot era. <laughs> For EP8 when she's ready. You were unconscious. Oh, okay, you dozed off. What time is it for you? Is it like 7.50 or 8.50 for you? I don't know what, what's the time, but yeah. I know it's still kind of early for you. You're just waking up. the screeny when you are ready bb8 uh what do i want to do wait a little longer probably yeah let's do let's do some more water more water how's my bedroll now i think it's uh decaying pretty fast because i keep taking these one hour naps bedroll decays each time you use it so let's see What's the better roll condition? Oh, it's still 75, not bad. Come on, drop it. Hmm. I'm gonna use like one more just in case. But I think we're fine here, yeah. We should be fine. Let's take one more nap. I probably won't even be able to nap for a full hour, are we? We're all almost full. More fatigue. Screenshot core in her winning era. Oh boy. Really? Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot these. Ooh, imagine if I forgot these in here. Whoops. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna keep making some water while we're here. I don't wanna go outside in this weather. Can I mend something? I don't think I have any cloth on me, yeah, so whatever. Guess we're just gonna wait. Okay. Let's burn some cedar wood. Hopefully this is not a long blizzard, but I think mountain town blizzards can last a while, so... 
Might be stuck here for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's not gonna go out in... In uh, one hour. It's gonna be at least four hours, I think. I want to take another nap. I'm already getting tired slowly. Oh man, this weather. Come on. How much water did I make? Oh, okay, just just 12 liters. Nothing to see here. I have enough uh, water to last me for quite a while now. Oh, I can just pass this. Why do I pass time from the radial? This makes more sense, I think. Sending. How's the wind? It's also dying down. Perfect. So we're gonna go. I. Uh, what do I do with the fire? Maybe I could just pull some torches. I guess I could do that. How heavy am I? Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, we got a rare EP8. <laughs> Actually, is it that rare? I mean, she, she gets EP pretty often, right? Pretty often. Okay, how much wood do I have? I don't need this. I'm just gonna leave it in here, I think. At least two liters. That's fine. And let's pull some torches, since we don't really need them. I'm gonna leave it in here. Taking all of this with me to Mountain Town. Still have 12 kilos though, what am I gonna take with me? 12 kilos, um... Or I prefer spending them on repairs maybe. But no, you know what, no. Okay, we can just burn this one. I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna take some of the meat, probably. And... I guess we can take the torches then. Couldn't have uh, done this with the torches. I'll just take them with us. BB8 is screenshot maxing, she's points through and winning core, for real. <laughs> you like dozing off in these weekend streams? As you should, I mean, it's weekend, so why the hell not? But we are ready to do a screeny whenever you want BB8, because Sarah redeemed it, I don't know if you missed it. Okay, uh, I still have some more to take with me, probably more food. More water. Let's go. This is good. Ooh, I think we're gonna lose the torch anyway, but whatever. You'll be eating more bread, sirloin steak for the third night in a row tonight. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> no dosing of its screenshot time. <laughs> Yeah, imagine we start a screening and BB-8 doses off. You might swing by McDonald's just to buy dip. It's easier than having big bottles of dip uh, that just expire. Mm -hmm. I mean, whenever I need a sauce, I just uh, I just use some chili powder, you know? Some of that super spicy stuff. You've missed like the past four screenshots. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones before were because of internet, though, right? I forgot to light the other torches. Whatever. Let's keep going. You don't really need the torches. It's not that bad. It's, what is it? Minus five. It's okay. It's Oki Burger. There should not be a wolf here, but just in case, we do smell. Oh, I should be ready for anything. Maybe I would guess it in her sleep, yeah. BB-8 needs nerfing. <laughs> you were just as mech as you got a shake espresso. I never had coffee from McDonald's. I guess it's like super sweet or something. <laughs> I don't know. You want cheddar dip? I never just like bought dips from McDonald's like at most, I just get it to my order, you know, but I never just, like, straight up buy the dip. Vanilla milkshake with espresso in it, so good. Yeah, that sounds sweet. That's wild. What is wild? Me never buying a dip separately. Me never getting a coffee in McDonald's. You know I'm not a big coffee drinker. I mean, if I'm making a coffee, it's going to be... Okay, what do I leave here now? Maybe what? Uh, I wanted to take all of this with me, I just realized. Um, Wait. What if we just harvest all of these torches? That's gonna make us lose some weight, right? Maybe that's going to be enough? Let's try. Because the torches basically weigh twice as much as sticks. Yes, in my white internal mug, I mean... <laughs> How else would I make my coffee, right? <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> I'm sorry, BB-8. Come on, they have to open the store soon, right? They said they will reopen it. We know they tend to be late on their promises, but they said this year, right? I mean, they still have half a year to go. I think they will just want to time it uh, just before Winter Mute releases. That's my guess, right? Like, that's where they expect, like, probably the most uh, people returning, uh, the the sales from the store skyrocketing. So they will want to have the store open for that. I think we will have the store before Winter Mute 5. But uh, let's see. Okay, so we're still a little heavy. I need to do something. I'm gonna have to drop a couple things. Maybe we can eat, drink. Yeah, that might be enough, actually. What if we just ate and drank something? Uh, okay. Let's see. Eat as much as you can. Drink as much as you can. Is it enough? Oh, yes, it is. But actually, ooh, we'll be able to make it all the way up. You know what? Why risk it? I want to go there in one, one trip, right? But... What I could do here is just sleep in this cave. So we play it safe. I'm gonna drop all the smell just in case there's some weird teleporting wolves, right? I know it can happen in Timberwolf Mountain. I'm not sure about this place. So just gonna play it safe. Sleep. Three hours? Four hours? Uh, we are what? Uh, yeah, like we're safe here. Let's just sleep. Let's sleep five. Let's just play it safe. You need the Moose Kicks coffee mug. Yeah, I honestly rarely, rarely buy merch, but the mug was something I had to have. <laughs> you go to the store, you can buy a jar of cheddar dip, but it's just a lot. Yeah, I guess it. yeah, cheddar dip probably expires really quickly. Oh man, I see nothing now. I did not think this through, I think. I don't know. I remember what weight I was supposed to have though, so like, we'll know based on that, I guess. You have everything. I know there's at least one meat, I cannot find it. Yeah, that is 44.9, that, that was the weight, perfect. I guess I can even drink something. No. Got a little thirsty there. I should easily be able to climb with full fatigue, even without crampons, so... No problem here. 
You need both white and big moose cakes. Yeah, I was kind of... Wait, what? I cannot climb this. Eh? I see nothing. I really hate when it snows at night. I was considering getting the moose cakes as well when they open it. If they will have it. They said they will try some new designs. I feel like they're gonna add some flasks, right? They have to add flasks. I'm pretty sure we will get flasks. Kind of on the jackrabbit one as well. I would love the jackrabbit flask. High key the best ones. Red, green and yellow teacups too. Teacups? They were selling that. I didn't even notice. I honestly just wanted the white mug, so like, I'm set, you know. I usually don't buy many of those, but the white mug I really wanted. And I got it, so I... Definitely won't be in a rush. But I still want them to open the. I wanted to say Mac store, <laughs> the, the the merch store, right? I mean, yeah. Oh, there's a wolfie there. Need to pay attention. We do smell three. Ooh, wait, what? We had two. What? How do I smell more now? Uh, I know I picked up the guts, but... Oh, that could be it. Wait, let me check real quick. Yeah, the guts don't stack anymore. That's why. See, this is a this is a bug with smelling. Uh, or with, like, smell mechanics. I need to find some place to escape this cold. Okay, looks clear. But yeah, uh, if uh, an item with scent stacks, you only get scent for one of the item, not for all of them. That's a, that's a bug, so we actually smelled less when they got stacked. Wrong to drink tea in the coffee mug. I'll, I use my coffee mug only for coffee. Yeah, I don't think I ever made anything else in it. <laughs> it's a coffee only mug for sure. Hey, can I drop all the meat here now, please? All right. I have a bit too much time though, I won't be able to sleep all night. Maybe if we get lucky we get an Aurora. Oh my god, come on, let me let me sleep. There we go. Yeah, let's just sleep whatever we can. If they were to make the Acorn Coffee Mug, you would buy that too. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. The Acorn Coffee Mug is really pretty, right? Yeah, it's so cute. <laughs> I would love to see the Acorn Coffee Mug as well. Your airport died. Oh, rip. They just like run out of batteries or did it uh, die die? Okay, I guess let's just pass the time. I. What are we supposed to do? Not much. And that sounds like a blizzard too. Okay, we're gonna be stuck here for a while then. Let me eat one steak, maybe drink a bit. With the little mountains around the bottom of the mug, yeah, so cute. Wow, we keep getting blizzards today. This is not a wolf wrangler day, <laughs> that's for sure. I'm curious about this stalker version of wolf wrangler that uh, they've been working on, though. I think it could be fun because I could skip the bow crafting part which I never really enjoy it's just very repetitive to me you can do Cicera with one of those mugs yeah just enjoying some coffee 
Uh, still Blizzard. Let me just re-explore this place. I mean, maybe I forgot something, right? Uh, did I search this federal? It looks like I did. Everything searched. Oh, I wanted to jump. <laughs> I forgot TLD does not have jump. Okay. Wow. I guess I'm not playing this game enough. Not much in here then. Much in here. It would look good in your hand. I mean, yeah, well, those mags look good in anyone's hands, right? Let's be honest. They're really great mags. <laughs> I really like my white hinterland mag. Yes, yes. I can, I can fully recommend it to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Jump rope, yes, that's so much in my head. What am I doing? Okay, finally. Can it not be a blizzard for like one second now? I'm gonna leave the hide and everything in here. Wait, why am I so heavy again? What the frick? I need to take the battery with me. Oh, um, um, let me think about this. Let me think about this, okay? Let me think about this. Uh, I need to also... Check for any wires and fuses in Mountain Town, right? Where can I find wires and fuses in Mountain Town? I know there's some at the farm. HRE trailer. Orca. Okay. Yeah, most of the most of the wires and fuses are around here, so. Let me just take a quick peek. Something maybe behind. Oh. Feathers, feathers. There it is, yeah, we found one fuse. Definitely fuse. worth, we're gonna need that. We already have enough fuses to fix the transmitter in Mountain Town, but I'm gonna need it for the Muskeg one, I guess. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do next, not sure if it's gonna be Muskeg, because I really don't want to repair the Muskeg one, because I think that's that was the buggy one, right? Like, it used to bug out and revert back to unrepaired state. I love how TLD turns everyone into trash pandas. Yeah, I feel like inventory management is one of the hardest, hardest uh, things in the game and Like if there's if there's some uh, advice I could give to to players is to learn how to say no to loot, you know. But it's hard. It's hard. It's very hard to give specific advice regarding inventory management. What? Why? Wh wait, what? Don't eat my meat. Okay, it's just bunnies. Okay, whatever. You need to go to the restroom, your neck, you slept wrong, BB-8. Well, you should try sleeping on your back. <laughs> it really helps. I slept just fine, you know? Just saying. Yeah, don't eat my meat. Get out of my food, you damn dog! Is that it? All, all the rashes? I, I swear I saw more. Where did they go? Were they just a mirage? I got like what? Eight? I would have sorted. I mean, it's decent. I'm, oh, okay. You know what? It's decent. Fine. I'll accept it. Don't eat my meat. Doesn't that remind you of something, Sarah? I saw a streamer a couple days ago. He was, uh, yeah, she was trying to to transport some some quarters in Timberwolf Mountain, <laughs> and 
And the wolves kept eating her meat. What do you know? When you sleep on your bag, you never get neck cramps. Exactly, Zed. Welcome in, welcome in. Finally, some wise words there. See, you should listen to Zed. Hope you're doing well, Zed. I'm not gonna ask you how you slept, because if you're sleeping in your bag, it's obvious you slept well. Like, we don't even have to get into it, right? It's pretty clear. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave the quality tools in here. I could even craft something, but you know what? No, not now. Not now. I don't think I'm gonna be crafting because... Yeah... You know what? No, fine. Okay, I'm not I'm not repairing stuff yet. Okay, there's some, some more wires. We definitely look for those. Anything else I can find in here? I hear a wolf. I hear a wolf. No, I don't trust that pole over there. Because that it had uh, another piece of wood ah. near it. Yeah. Um... How do I want to deal with this? I'm just gonna play it safe. I don't really trust any of these objects other than the tree stump. The tree stump is the best. You're sad about those two bags uh, you had to leave behind. Oh yeah, yeah, I guess that wolf did, uh, did get some of your bags, right? But it's Hockey Burger, you still got most of them. What did she do about it? Did they eat all their meat? I don't know, but there's a couple amazing clips. Uh... That... Show how she dealt with it. I really enjoyed those. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna send you the link later. Is are trying to be funny during the ding dong ditch? Oh man, that's annoying. You got your window open so you can hear them running away. Yeah. Oh. Kids are kids, yeah. <laughs> We've never seen uh, the wolf walk through that barn barn. Yeah, it's possible. It's definitely possible. I could have probably used the fire barrel still, but... I think there are some fire barrels that are not that... Uh... Oh man, there I go. Okay. Okay, this one is actually better and this one is fine. There's plenty of space here. I trust this one. Oh my god, that was a turbo wolf. <laughs> I didn't even realize he sprinted past me. <laughs> go away! Not here. <laughs> yeah, Sarah went to sleep before midnight. Surprising, right? You were feeling bad. Oh no, are you sicky? What's going on, Sarah? You love them running with all their might. Yeah, no reason to... To get too worked up about it. Okay, you know what? I think I'll, me down. I'll take all of this with me. Uh, I don't know. I do want to craft some more arrows. But I actually don't have any arrow shafts in here. Do I have any dried saplings? I'm gonna have to check Keep the HRV trailer. From the quality tools in here. Or maybe I'm just gonna go because... Yeah, I really don't have... Um, I don't have any arrow shafts. That's the real problem. Right now. How many? Wait. I only have... Seven arrows. Yeah, I left... Oh, I remember. I left two arrows in Broken Railroad. Okay. It's fine. I don't really need more than seven. I'm just gonna grab this and move it to... Grey Matters. A little bit heavy, but it's better than uh, two trips, I think. <sighs> Wolf goes zoom. <laughs> Not feeling sicky. Oh, okay, okay. So, you were probably just tired because, you know, you slept a couple nights for only three hours. So, I guess it could be expected then. You're feeling blue, so you went to bed early, then you watched the whole season of uh, Shogun until sunrise. <laughs> you didn't fall asleep. I guess because you were f uh, yeah, you were sick, yeah. I guess that's how it goes sometimes. I seem to be falling asleep really quickly lately, I don't know. Like, I, I fall asleep at 11 if I go to bed. 
I guess it's just all that, you know, sleeping on the back. It's, it's just so easy to fall asleep. So easy to get comfy. You can't flip your hair like usual. Why? Did you cut it shorter or something? You were not tired at all, but you definitely just needed to go to bed. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Right, you weren't tired at all, young lady. Oh, okay. Not at all. I'm not buying that. Oh, right, because of your neck. Okay. Yeah, try slipping in your back. Try slipping on your back, BB-8. Sleep fixes most things. Yeah, but like sometimes when you're sick, you can't fall asleep, right? Sometimes when I eat the so whole cold. freaking pizza for dinner and then I go to sleep too early, then I just feel a little sick, you know? Just just laying down too early after eating a large meal. That's usually not good. Man, how am I freezing? What, what What's wrong? Wow, it's cold. Minus 32. Quite cold for a mountain town. Yeah, it's kind of a cold day. Even though it's late game loper. How do you eat the whole pizza? I mean, it's not that much, come on. Like, if it's a small pizza especially, right? I'm not, I'm not talking large, large pizza, but... I know how large pizzas are in, in uh, the US, and I know you guys make your pizzas slightly different. They might be like more caloric, I guess. I don't know. I never had a US style pizza. Like, yeah, a whole pizza, Italian style. It's still a lot, like it's a large meal. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, yeah, it's... Definitely not impossible to eat it. <laughs> okay. Grandma, I'm back home. Oh man, I left a mess here. Look at that. I mean, Grey Mother left a mess here. Yeah, this is not me. This is Grey Mother, clearly. What was she thinking? Look at this mess. Did I already do this? I did. Books! Sarah, books! Oh boy. Okay. Are these burnt out torches? No. So many books. You were not tired, you were shocked, you could even fall asleep, but you did keep waking up the first bit. Yeah. Your body was just shocked that you actually went to sleep uh, at a good hour, you know. You just couldn't take it. You don't like to force sleep when you're not sleeping, enough. usually it's too many hours of philosophical thinking. Yeah, like I literally cannot fall asleep when I'm not sleepy. Like, I totally get that. Hmm, let's eat this. Wait, what? Why did it not disappear? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that was weird. So I'm gonna have to leave some stuff in here, of course. Definitely gonna leave some stuff. And I'm gonna put on the E-Wrap, right? It's probably better. Anything I can mend. The combat pants, this could use some mending too. Yeah, we definitely have some mending to do. Uh, my stuff is decaying too quickly, man. Come on. Ooh, yeah, the took. Yeah, so I hope I have some clothes. I can tear down some stuff for sure. But anything else? Let's see. This is uh, useless. Cash, useless. Cardboard matches, useless. Sticks, useless. Let me store some of this stuff in here so I don't have to carry it. Rampons, I'm definitely keeping. I can store this. Uh, oh, I'm actually out of water here. No way. I have. Oh, never, never mind. There it is. 
I say it now. We still have some water. It's all good. I'm gonna leave all the coal in here. We're gonna get some more in Mountain Town anyway. So let me drop like 10 liters here for now. And let's see. <laughs> and Bukas. Have you seen the size of European pizzas? Yeah, like I'm talking uh, a usual size or like like 32 centimeters. That's probably like a foot long, slightly over a foot. I don't know. Uh, I have one. Only one. I need to break something down. How about this windbreaker? How long would that take me? 20 minutes for two cloth. Perfect. That'll work. Yeah, industrial revolution, revolution era. We have quite a few coal here. Ooh, do I have any rare food in here? Anything I left here? Anything interesting? Doesn't look like it. Like, this is all just regular food. Maybe the coffee is we could consider rare food on Loper. I just want to bring all of that to my main base, but for now, let's just let's just do some mending. We need to be a little warmer, cause probably went today after you got in the car and went to the garden center. Ah, oh. and I would love to have the e redeem so much. <laughs> How great would that be? I still need to send Helga Oki Burger sound. I'm just so, you know, I'm a Goldie. You know that. Mm, this is probably worth mending a bit more. Let's do this first. Combat pants. Okay, we should be a little bit warmer now. A regular size went down to 28 cm many years ago. Did it? I think it depends on the on the place, but many places I see they still do 32 cm. Okay, I wanted to check some more stuff for the fuses and wires, of course. I'm just gonna leave all of that outside. Let's leave this in here. We want to take it all the way up to the plane crash anyway. Did you ever find an Oki Burger, Oki Burger sound? I kept cutting it uh, off early week. I think the votes have disappeared by now, so unfortunately... Uh, yeah, maybe you're gonna have to record it for me, Sarah. Sorry, because I'm lazy and I forgot. <laughs> oh, or maybe when we play some other game, maybe we can find something. If you can say it for me next time we play Sons of the Forest, maybe I could use that, yeah. That could work. Your mom wanted to watch Eras Tour, so stayed up till like 1 a.m. What's Eras Tour? Is it like uh, like Tour de France? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. Probably. Probably some kind of a singer. She's in her Eras Tour era. You just got three things today because you're probably going again tomorrow. Oh, again to the farmer's market. <laughs> Loopy, Loopy, welcome in. Mentrioso, you said you were going to start around 4 p.m. Loopy, read the Discord. I said tomorrow. 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 Today I was meant to start the normal, normal time. And tomorrow we are starting like 3 p.m., not 4 p.m. Does Discord say 4 p.m.? Because it says 3 p.m. for me, but maybe I just got the the time zones wrong. But you should be the same time zone, so it should show 3 p.m. for you. But yeah, it's tomorrow, not today, not today. Exactly, you are late, Loopy. Late start is for Sundays, come on, everybody knows that. No, you are late, you are absolutely late. I'm obviously not a Swifty, yeah. Yeah, busted. Guilty as charge. Uh, what else am I gonna leave in here? I just wanna kill the freaking bear now, so I'm gonna leave the hatchet here. That's too heavy. Just let me let me leave it in this pile. 
Holy tools, I could take with me, theoretically, yes. Let's do it. Some water, some food, maybe. Bit of lemon, cucumber, regular spring, summer. And a chain chili, nice. Chain is pretty good, right? It's not like the spiciest variant, but it's... Uh, if you put a lot of it into a meal, it can get quite spicy. Sunday, Saturday, the same. Oh, right. I forgot you are confusing the times, uh, uh, the, the days. I should have clarified it for you. Yes, yes. Tomorrow, tomorrow we start later. For anybody who hasn't read this Discord, yeah, but... I always try to post my schedule updates to Discord, but yeah. Tomorrow we start like an hour, an hour and a half later. In case you're wondering where I am. If I don't start exactly at 2 p.m. Wait, okay, he's going after the bunny. Perfect. But if there's one wolf here, there could be more. I better be careful. Okay. Okay, screenshot. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, let's do the screeny. See, good thing you reminded me, I already forgot. But, before I do the screenshot, I'm gonna go over here. When you decide to put on pants, you will go take a quick uh, picky, but they are just small ones right now. Yes, yes, take a picky and share it on our Discord, -y, Sarah. Yes, show us the body up there. I'm, I'm doing that right now, see? This is the screeny. I think we didn't get the body spawn here. I don't see the body. Yeah, the body's RNG, but like the body was like there, right? But this is the picture right here, somewhere. So Like this, maybe? I think that was it, yeah. So we're literally at Grey Mothers. <laughs> this is a place I pretty much never go to. Apparently this was the old rope climb. This kind of looks like a rope climb rock, right? If you see it. Like this rock right here. It looks a little different. The coloration is different. Like I can see the, the rock climb being there, maybe. I suppose that was the old one. Or you know what? You know what? Let's 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 no clip through. What if it's hidden inside? See? Oh, that's that's it. I think. You see it? I think that's the rope climb. Like, this looks like the rope climb rogue, right? Yeah, that's it. Oh, look. I wonder if I can attach the rope to it, but it doesn't give me the. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, so that used to be rope climb apparently. Okay. Uh, let's let's do the screeny. Let me. Check my surroundings. Okay, that's fine. Screeny time now. So let's do a stalker one, because I'm running out of interloper ones now. Sarah just never has pants on. I mean, if she's at home, why would she, right? Why would she? It's just comfy. Okay, what am I gonna give you? Huh, okay, let's let's try this one. Let's try this funny little thing here. So where did you go? Wait, where is it? Oh there it is, okay. Got you. Not sure why you need pants to take pits, but okay, because people can see you and you don't want to stand butt naked on the balcony. Oh, right, yeah, because it's on the balcony, but yeah, yeah, that was actually a good point, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're going on the balcony, I guess, yeah. Usually have shorts on or if it's hot panties. I feel like if I'm going to bother putting shorts on, I may as well put pants on, like... Like, at, at that point, it doesn't make any difference uh, to me. Just put on a robe. Yeah, like, robe is comfy, yeah. Like, I, I don't like wearing pants at home at all. Like, if I'm cold, I'm gonna put on a robe. But right now, it's getting warmer, right? Anyway, emote only on. So, no guessing. Think about where this is. Region and location. Yeah, it's too warm. It's too warm for a robe, I agree.
So, think about it a little longer. And you can start guessing now. Mr. Like looking at clear cut. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, too easy for BB-8. Yeah, that's, that's the... You can see the destroyed lookout. Destroyed lookout. Uh... It used to be, it used to be the old lookout, right? It, it, the old lookout used to be where destroyed lookout is right now. That's how I would put it. But yeah, we are basically at clear cut. We are looking at clear cut, and that hill with the lookout is basically destroyed lookout hill. So yeah, GG8. Yeah, it, it's it's not the lake, uh, like Kevin know. So yeah, BB8 gets 10k. There, you got your fixed BB8. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you feel better now. <laughs> Finally, one screening that didn't get away from you, right? After like four of them. You remember when they changed it and you were like the freak? Yeah, I think you used to not be able to go up the hill where Forestry Lookout is right now at all. At least I was unable to do it um, in Time Capsule. But I didn't try too hard, so not sure. Was there really just one wolf here? Okay, that's nice. Massel harvest some acorns. Yeah, come here. I I have a feeling they nerfed the acorn trees. It was like a silent nerf. Because I keep finding three acorns, I think, everywhere, or almost everywhere. Almost every tree has three acorns, but when I tried it on current loper, most acorn trees only have two acorns, some only have one acorn. I almost never find three acorns on loper anymore. I feel like they nerfed the amount of acorns, which is strange, right? Because like acorns aren't that powerful, they take so long to make. They're not really worth it. I'm just kind of hoarding stuff now, you know, so I just harvested them anyway. But, like, they're not that powerful. Oh, I like this 3D running ahead of me. I feel so safe. <laughs> I still don't hear any wolves, though. Okay. I do have one meat, okay. Just wanted to make sure. I'll be taking this with me. Definitely need some... Arrow shafts. This this place is kind of safe. Okay, I hear nothing. So I wanna check the HRE trailer. It could have some more wires or fuses maybe. Did any of you guys see Aura Borealis? It was just not visible here. Oh man. Lee, welcome in Lee. How's it going? That was Sarah, of course, of course. Sarah, come on, behave. <laughs> Hope you're having a good Saturday. I have not seen the Aurora, no. It was just not visible here though. I swear to God, it just feels like the aurora feels much more visible or it feels like it's visible further down south in north america every time like 
people have been able to see it apparently in like Massachusetts, Connecticut, Michigan, like you, you know, northern US by naked eye. And that's like like Europe's pretty far north compared to North America, right? Like I think New York is the same latitude as Rome. And like most of us are north of Rome, so it, it's strange, like I've never seen Aurora in my life still. Seems like whenever this this kind of solo flare happens, it just doesn't work out for me. It was visible even in Tuscany. I have not seen it. I don't know. Maybe it was cloudy, or like, I don't know. Oh, Sarah, come on. I'm looking for an advanced skill book, but it's not here. Got very bright when you went outside. Oh. Pitch black to a dark pink. Well, then you saw it. I mean, uh, you ca you can't expect to like fully see, you know, the the, the way you see it in uh, in TLD. Like that would be really lucky to see an aura that strong. That's very unusual, especially that far down south. Like I I don't know. That that's just super unlikely. But yeah, like if it got like pinkish, I guess that was it. Like. Often you can't really see it with naked eye, you, you just kind of have to, you know, uh, take a recording with a camera or something and then you might see it. Oh man, I do not like this bear though. I still need to kill it because if I don't kill this bear... Uh, you know what? I may want to check if I don't have any... Um, any arrow shafts prepared in here. I don't think I do. But it would be very useful if I did. Maybe I need to be more thorough with like wires. Like sometimes there's wires around here but I don't see them. Come on, give me some arrow shafts. You were told it was visible here on Thursday and you didn't know, so sad. Oh, yeah, that's that's sad. Okay, we do have some stuff here. So, let me drop the sapling I found. Not that it's super useful right now. If I could keep something else in here, that would be great. The more I can keep, the better. But, yeah, I think I'm just gonna stay the night, because I would like to craft more, more arrows before I fight the bear. Because four, it should be enough, but that might, it might not be right if, I, if my shots are not good enough. So, uh, what am I missing? I think I store the arrows. There we go. Give me the arrows. Let's do this. This time uh, that was because when it hit the earth it was still night in the US, but uh, well after sunrise in the EU. Yeah, but I feel like it always works out like that. Oh no, they already fixed this bat. That's so sad. I feel like every time it's uh, it's just too too late or like too early in the morning or you know what I mean like it, there's too much visibility oh we might actually be getting an aurora we are getting an aurora speaking of <laughs> okay that's that's nice we'll be able to do a little bit of crafting at night I guess let me sleep like three hours we're gonna look for it tonight is it still gonna be on because if it is, I also want to look for it, for sure. I've never managed to see it myself. Okay, let's do the second arrow. You thought you saw some patterns, but you thought it was your eyes. Yeah, you should have tried your phone, because like with phone it's often much easier to see. It's like till May 12th. Okay, so, so it's like a longer one. Yeah, usually the flares are like... It, it feels like it's only for like a portion of the day, so like if you're in the incorrect time zone for that particular flare, then you're out of luck. But maybe, yeah, maybe this one is different. 
That's nice. I think I'm just gonna keep crafting since we got this aurora. You're understanding that the solo flare is going to last for a while. Um, yeah, like the flare might, but it might be, you know... That doesn't mean the aura will be going as far south. I don't really know. I'm not an expert. Mega huge solar flare. Mm, nice, okay. Good thing uh, to, to look at the sky now. I didn't know it's going to last like longer. <laughs> it's TLD. Oh man, no. <laughs> No, I'm totally fine with TLD staying in game, you know. Uh, please, no. <laughs> I don't need to deal with aura wolves. Oh, it already got dark. Well, that's sad. Guess I need to eat a little bit more. Getting hungry again. Get ready for the quiet apocalypse, please, no. <laughs> Where's my cooked meat? It's MC train when I last checked. They said five. And I'm not sure what MC train is. It's like a uh, emergency or something. Level five. Maybe not emergency. Mass coronal ejection. And five is the highest or does it go even higher? May 2024 solar storms. Extreme geomagnetic storm. Isn't that what it says when you start a survival run? <laughs> that does not make me feel good. Yeah, oh boy. Okay. You know, my power went out yesterday. My power went out, but it was, it was, no, I think, well, you know what? I think it was actually on Thursday, never mind. It was during the day anyway. It felt like it was too early. <laughs> and I think that was it. I think it was connected, but my power usually doesn't go out. Like it's a once a year thing at most, if that. So I was like, what? I need to work. It was like during the day, you know? <laughs> I need to pretend to work at least, you know. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe we could get a Maglan's day and cook all these raw rabbits. That'd be really sweet. Let's see. A little bit longer. Okay. No, that that, that sounds like a blizzard again. Oh oh. Need fuel. I don't have fuel. Give me fuel. I need fuel. Where's fuel? Sticks? I dropped some inside, I just realized. I dropped some sticks inside. But there's usually a bunch of sticks here. May as well collect more. There we go. Well, five. That's all I have to do for now. It's some food at least. It's fine. Multiple ones have happened and some are uh, still on route to Earth. And each one of them can mean an Aurora. It depends on how strong it is, right? But it, the, like the Aurora, like it's obviously gonna happen. Like Auroras happen. They're not that rare, but the, the question is how far south they go, right? So actually most of us are even able to observe it. Mega huge was very accurate. Yeah, but for a lot of us, this was still like barely visible, right? I guess this is the best we're gonna get. Unless we travel further up north or something. Okay, so this was Maglan's weather, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let me take all of this a little bit closer to the fire. I do need a bit more firewood though i think i still have some in here just found something ridiculous online a nine ounce jar of cheese dip for like 26 euros and shipping was close to 14 euros that sounds expensive as frick <laughs> yeah is it made of gold golden cheese probably yeah 
Did you find a way or power and out? You were AFK for a second while taking plant picky. Honestly, I think it was just some construction stuff. I It was like 15 minutes. Uh, what actually happened was, since it was like during the day and I needed to work, I was like, okay, I'm gonna give it 15 minutes, then I'm gonna call my landlord and ask what the frick is going on, right? And yeah, like 15 minutes passed, the power was still out, so I started calling my landlord. The second I started calling her, the power went back on, <laughs> so I just, I just cancelled the, the phone call. Then she called me back and she was like, uh, yeah, what, what's going on? I was like, ah, oh, just, I, I just uh, called you by accident, you know, <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> Yeah, embarrassing, I know, right? <laughs> I was like, oh, no, no. Uh, I guess I had to go through it, right? If I didn't call her, the power would not go on. Feel like, that was the reason it went on. I, I, I'm, I'm convinced. Looks like I survived That's the night. sole reason it went on. Should have just been honest. Yeah, I, I could have, but... Uh, I felt like uh, saying it was a mistake would just be faster, you know, because she just called me back some some couple hour uh, couple hours of uh, after that. So I was like, oh, no, don't worry, it was a mistake. Bye. Yeah. I didn't want to explain like, oh yeah, my power went out, and then she would ask like, oh, why did it go out? Or she would give me a little, like an explanation. I, I didn't really care to be honest. I just I just wanted to you know uh, move on. Kaljib because the power outage, but as soon as the LD power went on, so have a good day. Yeah, yeah. It's longer, you know. It was a mistake, it was faster. You know, you know, BB, I need to limit my screen time. I have a very limited <laughs> phone screen time, so I was like, oh, no, I have to end this. Sorry. No time. No time to talk. I can't be on my phone for longer than three minutes. <laughs> Do I look like an electrician, man? <laughs> oh, yeah, that reminds me I have to do with another thing with my landlord. God damn it. See? Like, the, the ceiling in my... In my uh, what is it called? Bathroom. Like it's it's starting to get wet sometimes. I don't like that. Like something funky is going on above me. I think. Hope uh, the pipes are not leaking. I need to I need to talk to uh, talk about that because that could be like a bad thing. On the website for. Oots, it was uh, at least a six gun, but you're not sure about the third party website. I would not buy, uh, what was it, sauce or just cheese? But for like, what was it, like 50 euros with shipping? I would not even... I would not even bother. <laughs> What's getting wet? Uh, the ceiling, you know, like, like in the corner of my bathroom, it, it just got wet a couple times. And I don't like that at all. So I need to talk to her about it. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't like after I was showering or something like it just got, you know, like when I got home from work or stuff like that. So unless there's somebody taking long hot showers in my flat while I'm not at home. If they're coming against, surely something will be wet. Oh, Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> right. I'm gonna need some more firewood. Not this way, probably. Do it ASAP, that means something is leaking for weeks now. Yeah, 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 I really should, yeah. I just noticed it very recently. And frankly, I don't want to do it over the weekend, you know. <laughs> I 
Come on, more firewood, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I need to, I need to let her know. Hopefully, it's not the toilet. <laughs> that happened to you in a rented flat. Uh, yeah. So what happens if it's leaking? Are they gonna have to like drill it or something? It's gonna be annoying as freak. I don't want people drilling stuff here, you know. But like, if it's if it's leaking, it's gonna have to happen anyway. Like, I can't, I can't put it uh, away. Can't tell the pipe to unlick itself. No drilling, hammering. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I'm gonna have a bunch of strangers work some uh, on the stuff in my in my bathroom. So that's great. <laughs> They will do it in the apartment above me, hopefully, and yeah, that'll be good. I'll be freaking good. But yeah, I, I need to deal with it ASAP. Just not on the weekend, you know. I'm gonna wait uh, for the week when I'm... When I'm... Uh, going to work or something. I can always, like, work from home if they need me here, but... I just want to have my damn peace over the weekend. Tell Bash about my screen time. What's going on with your screen time? BB8 sent you a pic of your screen time from yesterday. Have them install an oven while they're at it. I don't think that's happening. I already got a new, like, brand new washing machine. Because the old washing machine broke down, actually. Like, it made this freaking, freaking loud noise. When it was, uh, you know, just, just doing the, the spinny part. Just this loudest banging, and it really started to smell. It just completely broke down, so that was fun too. You wanna have a hole on your ceiling to greet your neighbor every time you go potty? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my neighbor to just drop down in my... In my... Uh, in my bathroom, and it's like, oh, hi. I'm just gonna walk out of here. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's still a bit too early. Still a bit too early, still a bit too cold. I'm gonna just finish this. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Another blizzard. I'm just staying inside. 13 hours, 20 minutes just yesterday. What the frick, BB-8? But that's like everything combined, or is it just phone? Don't tell me that's just phone. That's insane. How can somebody spend the better half of their day on a phone? It's not just phone, right? Like, if I work for 8-9 hours, that's 8-9 hours of screen time for me too. And if I stream after that, then it can also be 13 hours, right? Because uh, it's just how it's gonna be. But it's going to be across different devices, of course. Because I have like a work laptop. There's no avoiding that though. Like, if, if you want to stream and you have a job that... Uh, Requires screen time. That's just how it's gonna be. Start of a very different romance comedy. <laughs> yeah. The girl of my dreams is just going to land in my shower. I'm, I'm already waiting for that, yeah. That's actually why I'm not uh, not uh, telling my landlord, you know. I'm just waiting for her to, to just, just, just uh, drop there and... Yeah, it's gonna be really romantic. Just your iPad. Your total screen time is like 24 hours. That's impossible, BB-8. You can't count your screen time when you're sleeping, of course. That's just cheating. Hmm. What should we repair? This could this could use repairs. This could use repairs. Yeah, I'm gonna repair this. We still have one cloth, right? Let's do it. Okay, so we're at plus 31. Acceptable, acceptable. Then I'm just gonna keep crafting because I literally have nothing else to do until this blizzard ends. You live on screens. Yeah, I mean, my screen time is also high. I get that. I get that. Right. Uh, office job. And if you play games, then it's just gonna happen. <laughs> it's gonna happen, but... Uh... My phone screen time is very low, like, 
I, I try to not use my phone much. Because I don't like staring at small screens. Oh, come on, end already. Maybe I'm gonna take a nap. Three hours. It's gonna be afternoon after that. And we can go kill the bear. We keep getting blizzards. You know what? I think after this, we are going to restart the game just in case. Because I, I believe in that kind of superstition. <laughs> So let's see. Maybe cat, welcome in. How's it going, maybe cat? I hope you're having a good weekend. Catching kiss upstairs neighbor romantically. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. <laughs> that would be, yeah, would be interesting. <laughs> but I think for the most part, it's just going to be awkward, right? Because if you fall through your bathroom you're probably not in a very very uh, appealing position let's let's say it that way <laughs> they dequeued netherlands in eurovision what did they do how could they even dequeue them i don't really pay attention to that so i don't think i've ever seen eurovision but i know it's like uh European singing contest, right? Oh man, okay. Um, thank you for all the shouties. Going well, you have promised to three of your... Oh, three of your friends that you can meet up with them. You're so screwed because you don't actually know how you're gonna hang out with all of them. Well, just hang out with all of them at once, right? I'm gonna restart the game, guys. We're getting too many blizzards and I'm superstitious. Screw this. Give me a second. I don't like this weather we are getting. You're too American for Eurovision. Well, you never know. I mean, Eurovision has like Israel and Australia and maybe some other non-European country as well. So it's like European countries and a couple others, <laughs> you know. Maybe one day there will be US too, who knows. But with US it just wouldn't work. I mean, it's, it's, it's a huge country, English speaking, and they have like most of the famous folks it just it just wouldn't work the same right it, you guys will have like a huge advantage <laughs> in, in a contest like that with australia it's different i mean australia is like what 30 million people 35 so still doable Okay, hopefully we'll get better weather now. If you fell through your floor while in the shower, you would pass away from embarrassment. Uh, well, you, you never know. Maybe the neighbor below you, below you would just catch you, you know, so you wouldn't hit your head in embarrassment. See? Just, just totally romantic, yeah. But it would be a funny story, right? Like, imagine if you if you met some, some like, married couple and you would ask them, like, Oh, how did you guys meet? Oh, I just fell through uh, the floor while I was in the shower <laughs> in, in my partner's uh, apartment, and that's how we met, yeah. <laughs> the most random thing ever. Get Tete on Eurovision. <laughs> that's, I don't think that's how it works, BB-8. You cannot nominate somebody who's already famous. Like, it's just random people, you know, uh, aspiring. Uh, singer, stuff like that. That singer and rapper juiced Klein out because of incident involving female member of production crew. Oh, okay, I see, I see. So, yeah, unclear, unclear stuff. Well, yeah, that's, that's not a smart thing to do uh, when you're in, like, a public... public... Uh, competition and you just mess with with the with the production crew like uh yeah <laughs> what do you expect <laughs> you're not into your downstairs neighbor he's a bad driver you almost hit anti-mom one so you hold a grudge oh yeah well you never know maybe somebody will fall into your shower instead you know 
Selling the was on your original ones. Uh, you can famous. Oh, really? Okay, I, I, okay, I don't, I don't know how the rules work. Okay, I'm just talking out of my ass. I'm gonna admit that. I have never really watched it. Never really paid attention to it. So I didn't know people can actually go there. But what would they gain from it, right? Oh, don't tell me that's another blizzard, please. What is this weather? I kind of don't recognize this weather. I, it's clear. I think it's just clear weather. So we can uh, work with that. Mm. Being naked before the third day it, is a no-go. Well, yes, but, you know, if it's an accident, like, I, I wouldn't write it off. That's not getting naked, you know, that's just an accident naked. Your upstairs neighbor is a 70-year-old man. Okay, okay, maybe you will move and it will change, okay? Jeez, you're, you're thinking about this a bit too much, Sarah. <laughs> a little bit too much. You're almost thinking about it as if it was like, you know, like, as if it could actually happen. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the quality tools in here. And it's time to finally kill that freaking bear. We lost too much time. You're overthinking it. A little bit, a little bit. Sarah is like, I'm down. Oh, is that what she's gonna say after she falls through? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, there's always a chance you would fall through while washing your hands or, or brushing your teeth, right? So it wouldn't necessarily have to be embarrassing. You have no other type of thinking uh, available. Well, uh, you could use the type you are using when there's a screen, right? The one when... it's like... Um, it's like... Uh, just delaying, you know, just buying more time, kind of thinking. You're down bad. <laughs> yeah. Maybe one day one of us is going to be in our falling through our bathroom floor era and meet the love of our life, you never know. Can I use this? Uh, hmm. It's still Megalan's weather. If I could use this for the bear, that'd be great, but I will have to start a fire a bit sooner. I think. Won't be able to get there in time. You'd be down depending on the neighbor, just not any of your current ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know who lives above or beyond, uh, b below me, so... Yeah. No clue. I guess uh, it's gonna be a surprise, you know. <laughs> Thank you for the quote. start a fire here maybe I mean it's quite windy I don't think let me try let me try we're gonna start one we're gonna take a torch like this maybe two torches turned out pretty well pp8 is your neighbor oh it already died okay that was quick it lives like behind you. Separate houses, but right next to each other. Oh, that's that's interesting. <laughs> so
So you were neighbors before you met each other, or... Did you, like, move next to each other after you dated? I guess nobody fell into each other's bathroom. <laughs> you are your own neighbor, huh? Wait, you, you own both the apartments next to you? <laughs> Or how does that work? <laughs> before, wait, before, before what? So, uh, you were neighbors before you started dating, right? Wow, that's cool. EPA was just a friend for a long time. Okay, okay. Uh, honestly, that's, that's good. That's good. I like it that way, you know. I just don't, don't understand, like, how, how you go on a date with, uh, with a total stranger, like... Why should, I, why should I be interested, you know? <laughs> I prefer doing it like that. That's nice. You don't own anything, but you own the rights to be your own neighbor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess if your neighbors are living far away from you, then technically you are your own neighbor, right? Uh, wait, where's the bear? I don't see it. He has to have respawned by now. But I do not see him. Is it him? Yeah, there he is. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Um... Can I just wall this off or something? Oh man, I, I don't like this bear at all, honestly. I know how much I want to risk, you know. I'm just gonna start a bunch of fires and wall myself off. <laughs> I could do that. I really don't like fighting this bear because there's just so little room to maneuver, you know. Yeah, well, he's there. I don't like that too much. He's gonna run off. Uh, can you be less annoying, please? Can I run through here? I'm, I'm doing silly stuff now, you know? Uh. <laughs> Hello. Okay, that was not great. I hate this bear so much. I don't want to dance him here because there's just so little room to maneuver. Maybe he died. Come on, little bear. Did you die yet? We are archery five, so like, he could bleed out pretty soon. Yeah, there we go. That was fast. Nice. It did not give me my arrow. Where's my arrow? Did it break? It's getting dark out here. Oh, where's my arrow, Time man? For shelter. I want my arrow. Yeah, I have six. I want to have seven, right? Where's my damn arrow? It may have broken. I was not paying attention. Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Thank you. Thank you, maybe cat. Uh, what have I seen it? What have I seen, Sarah? I don't know. Where's my arrow? 
Bruh. Did I lose an arrow? I did not pick it up. There it is, right? There we go. Got it. <laughs> Told me a cute fit is once or something and Zed wanted a nickname too. But he doesn't want one like that. He wanted the man- Oh, right, the manly nickname, so you called him Motoroli. Yes, yes. That's how Motoroli started. Yeah, cute Peter is so nice. It sounds so, well, cute, right? Uh, plus zero. I really wish I could still start a fire. But I guess that's not happening. Ooh, another screeny. Okay, okay. Uh, well, hopefully I'm not going to lose any meat here. Ooh, this bear is huge. 39 kilos. Nice. I like that. I like that. Let's see how far we get this way. It is quite warm here, so maybe we can do the whole thing. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, now the question is, what do I want to bring with me? Probably everything. Katze, Katze, welcome in. Welcome in. How's it going? Wow, like this is a gear. big boy though. I think I'm just gonna bring one with me because otherwise I'm too heavy. I'm gonna have to deal with this wolf too. I think so. Unless... Hmm. Hmm. You know what? <laughs> Thank you, baby cat. Don't start with nicknames. Why not? <laughs> but you had a longer name, you had very many nicknames. Oh, right, yeah. Well, still, BB-8 probably has you beat. BB-8 has so many nicknames. <laughs> oh, man, another one. Leave me alone. BB-8 is like a really known nickname in this community. Yeah, of course, by now it has to be. I mean, you mod in like health people's chats, right? Even though you're on your mod break now, but still. Like you... You are always around and you always uh, chat, at least for a little bit. So people just recognize you. Oh, another one! Oh my god, so many wolves here. So many frickers. Feels like the kitty smooch was made for you. We also have an emote of that, we have a BTTV emote. I don't remember what it's called, like cat kiss or something, but uh, it's... I don't remember how it's uh, capitalized. You can just do exclamation mark. What was the command? Emotes, BTTV or something. It's basically the same emote, but without redeems. Like, you don't have to uh, spend points on it. WW8, yeah. When are you gonna do some more WW8, BB8? Make nicknames for most people in your head, but you don't call everyone what you think. Oh, now I'm curious. Come on, Sarah, tell me what was my nickname in your head before before you gave me any official nicknames. I I need to know. <laughs> you don't know? Come on. Come on. Ooh, bumpy road. Your brain didn't pick you were talking to. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, but probably BB-8. <laughs> I think I was talking to BB-8. I don't know, I'm a Goldie, I already forgot. 
Let's go inside, we are cold. I always said Bashir was a full name for me. First one was just Bashi, same with Loopy. It was just Loopy. You love putting eyes at the end of uh, people's names. You think it's cute? Yeah, yeah. It is. I agree. But we can't put uh, I after your names, right? Like, it just doesn't... It doesn't fit. Like, sorry? It, it, it's just, you know... I really want to do it, but I don't know how. Hmm, <laughs> YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Oh, Sarah E! <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Sarah E! That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Where is my water? Give me my water! I need water. Where, where did I leave? Did I leave it outside? Water. Where is it? I know I have one liter of water somewhere. What the frick? What the frick? Did I like put it inside here? No. Where is it? Where is my one liter of water? Man. Oh, there it is. Gotcha. You can't hide from me. Wait, actually, I'm gonna take some damage, whatever. I want to harvest this. We have uh, all night anyway. We're warm here. Might as well go for it. 1 hour 37. Let's do it. I can take the thirst damage and I'm low on water here, so... Yeah. Oh, whoa, I still have guts. Whoops. Forgot about that. It wasn't maybe cut, it was cut maybe. Yeah. Yeah, like you used to be called weird looking cat maybe, right? So I guess I, I just, when I first saw you, I just was like weird, weird cat or something. Because I usually take whatever is like uh, at the beginning of the name. It's difficult when you have your real name as your Twitch name too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Don't we all? I mean, I, I'm, I'm Bash, obviously. IRL as well. Come on. Your first name starts with an A, but you go by your last name. That's uh, incredibly difficult detail to remember, baby. <laughs> Clan, good morning. Welcome in. How's it going? Hope you're having a good... What is it? Saturday, right? Yes, Saturday. Best day. Ooh, we got a beautiful morning. Will is having a good Saturday for sure. The only problem is we do not have many sticks. But I'm still gonna cook something. Thank you for the shouting to Tlan. Real name is Bashi. You can't imagine you guys having different names than what I call you on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm obviously Bash. I mean, come on. You know me. I'm not big on privacy. I just... Yes. I just I just use my real name like that. Absolutely. I need to make some water. We are out of water. And I need more fire as well. Uh wait, no, I'm gonna do one and a half and probably sleep an extra hour. Can we do that? No, we're already. Hmm. Uh uh. Yeah, let's do let's do three liters. It's fine. And I'm going to craft some more stuff in the meantime. I think. 
We are kind of running out of birch though. Oh, give me the birch. There. Ooh. Nice one. I'm gonna do both of them. Some people know your last name. Of course we know your last name. It's it's Birdie, right? Where does the name Bashrop come from? Are you bashful? Oh, it's nothing too deep. It's nothing too deep. Basically, it's just bathrobe, but I, I just changed it to 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 bashrobe. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't have a deep meaning. Holy birch bark tea, you have so much. Of course, I always like to stock up on birch. Birch is super powerful. You are jelly. You should go to like Ash Canyon, stock up. Also Pleasant Valley, Ravine, best places for birch. Definitely also using your real name on Twitch. Of course, of course, you're, you're Capybara. Yeah, I, I, I don't doubt that. <laughs> Even knowing your real names, you'd go with names you have here because you have issues with calling people with their name. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, that makes sense. Like, if you have people IRL that know that you stream and they stop buying your stream, then it would be kind of weird if they called you the, your real name, right? Like, it's, uh, yeah. You remember calling me bathrobe? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, like, I like robes, okay? Birdie, yeah, birdie. The best part about meeting folks who play games with after years of being in a team is continuing to refer to each other in person as your online names. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have a hard time remembering people's actual names. Me too, me too. For some reason, it really helps me when I see it in writing, you know? Like, it's not hard for me to remember specific people in chat, like over Twitch. Or like on social media, even if they use their real names, it doesn't matter. If I see it in writing, I just remember it easier. But if somebody's IRL like, hey, I'm... Then that is all I really hear the first time they introduce themselves. Uh, themselves. I, I just... I don't know. I always just kind of filter out the name, you know. <laughs> I'm, I, but I, I just... I never ask like, wait, who? <laughs> I never see that because it's... Uh... You know, somebody says like, hey, my name's blah, 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 and I'm like, okay, my name's Bashrop, whatever, I'll, I'll figure out your name later. <laughs> you like imagining me sitting there in my bathrobe? I do have a bathrobe over my chair actually right now, but I don't wear bathrobes now because it's, it got warmer. It's more of a winter thing for me. In summer, I don't really like... Uh, Wearing bathrobe because it just gets too damn warm. Yeah, I need to leave some stuff behind because we want to bring that whole bear over here if we can. So what can I leave in here? Let's see. Uh, birch. Let's leave some of the birch here. Let's leave the crampons. Yeah, what we can drop. Sure, we can just store it in here, doesn't matter. Arrowhead, uh, three arrows, lantern, knife, flashlight, bedroll, torch. This can also go. Okay, now it's a little better. Down to 16 kilos. Called me bathrobe a lot uh, playing the forest because there was a bathrobe as clothes. Oh yeah, I miss our bath. Don't tell me this is a blizzard. I'm going. I don't give a crap. I'm taking that bear. Some stupid blizzard cannot stop me. It kind of feels like a blizzard, yeah. Pretty sure that's a blizzard. Yeah, I'm actually a talking bathrobe with two hands sticking out, exactly. Yeah, this is a this is definitely a blizzard. So let's hurry up. Oh 
I could just process the meat in the cave, maybe. It's uh, probably closer, right? Or even in the HRV transition. I could do that. So even restarting the game didn't help. We keep getting blizzards every day today. Super annoying. Ah, screenshot? We had a screenshot redeemed. Did we now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. I remember now. I can't say it in chat, but I just remembered. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hold on a minute. I'm in the middle of a blizzard here. This is a bad time to remind me. <laughs> SMH my head. I need to bring some of these uh, quarters with me. I don't want to forget what I was doing in the middle of a blizzard. Like when it's not too cold out, but you miss wearing your biggest hoodie. Hmm. I only really wear a hoodie when I'm like outside. I, I don't I don't wear them inside. Okay, there it is. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna bring it to the transition cave. I think that's probably smarter. One, two. We can take three. I mean, uh, no. We can uh, drop some of the bear codes maybe in transition since we're freezing anyway and then we can take three on our next trip and that could work. You have bear made in this cave too, cave by bridge and cars and, uh, and bear. I honestly really dislike this bear, it's just so annoying to kill in my opinion. Because I like dancing bears and this bear is very annoying to dance. With all those cars around. Just misspelled the name you wanted to choose and then you were stuck with it. Not not quite. I didn't like misspell it. Like I did it on purpose. But yeah, I don't know. I just, just did it. Because <laughs> they like bathrobes. But I guess bathrobe was too literal. I think bathrobe was probably also taken, right? Like bathrobe is very very generic and twitch has been around for over a decade so like i'm pretty sure bedrobe is taken but you, you can verify if you try to create the new account i'm pretty sure it is second attempt was bad sore <laughs> okay this is the transition cave right My pots? Oh, come on. Come on, you're getting hungry. Wait, BB-8, we're gonna do the screening now. Let me, wait, sorry. Let me drop the stuff outside, or at least one of them. We're probably gonna harvest the other one. Let's do it. Your shake espresso was so good. Oh, glad you enjoyed it. Bashrob is a good name, you like it. Thank you, thank you. I was thinking of changing it to Bashmallow, actually. But I feel like at this point I don't really want to change my name, you know. I like Bashmello, but... Uh, yeah. I think I'm just gonna uh, stay at the same name at this point. Zest, uh, Fulok, welcome in. How's it going? It's going well, it's going well. We just killed a bear, uh, we are escape escaping a blizzard, and now we are going to... Uh, guess a screenshot, at a location from within the game. So, let me give you, this one is not that difficult, you can guess this pretty quickly I think, let's see. <laughs> you are thinking of changing uh, to something with BB-8 in it, even going back to Big Bird, oh really? Back to Big Bird, hmm? Industrial Revolution. Uh, okay, the ads ended, so... So, emote only on. You have some time to think. Region and location as usual. And in 20 seconds I will disable it off and you can start guessing. 
You are currently knee deep in FA. This Glimmer shit is getting real old real quick. Oh yeah, Glimmer Fog is so annoying. I'm honestly not a huge fan of Glimmer Fog. I'm glad it's only in FA in zone end zone of contamination. It's yeah. Not my favorite weather type. The main reason fog is good is because there's no wind, right? But with Glimmer Fog, that's not even true. Like that's the only fog where you can even get wind. Kind of annoying. Okay, you can start guessing now. Go BB-8, go. Go Sarah, go. Come on, give me one guess. AC that a hat you have to rope climb to. Uh, that's called... Homesteaders, I think. I know which one you mean, but that's not it. That's not the one. That is clearly Wolves Jaw in front, but you don't know where we are standing. Oh, come on, Sarah, try something. I believe in you. <laughs> Frick. Near the worker's residence. Uh, what do you mean worker's residence? Worker's residence is in bleak, right? I'm not quite sure. You don't know well enough, so you're just gonna say Black Rock somewhere. Yeah, you need to guess both region and location, so... Like, you, you could say Blackrock Prison, <laughs> that's, a, that's a typical guess for many people. You don't know the names with, uh, with the bear, bear, lodge with the bear. Uh, it's Foreman's Retreat, it's, it's not the one with the bear, but the one, like, you know, closer to the cliff, but I, I'm gonna accept it, it's, they're very close to each other, so, okay, fine. I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll, I'll give all three of you points, I'm gonna be particularly generous GG this one took longer than I expected I thought it was pretty easy because Sarah you said correctly that that was that was Wolf Joe Overlook in the in the picture yeah that was that was clearly Wolf Joe Overlook so we were just standing by um uh, i already forgot the name you know uh foreman's retreat you know the the one house uh that's like at the top of the hill that's basically it phone call brb no worries loopy no worries you get a participation trophy for just showing up yeah honestly if nobody guesses the correct area then the first person who at least guesses the region correctly still gets a uh, participation trophy points <laughs> here's the total rules if you're new to the game but yeah we've been playing this for for quite a while bb8 is like a clear leader of of this game she has like probably like 530k at this at this point you wonder who is first oh there she is she's gonna flex her point everybody hide <laughs> Come on, stupid blizzard, end already. We keep getting blizzard every day today. I don't know what's wrong. You don't think you've ever looked at Wolf's Jaw or looked by this house? But you knew where it was and you still didn't attempt, Sarah. I am, I am very hurt by you not even trying to guess properly. You didn't guess until BB-8 uh, didn't know the name and you said it. You said the correct thing. It, it took BB-8 not being able to remember the name. Yeah, you, you did guess, yes, but it took BB-8 to not be able to remember the name for you to guess. Otherwise, you wouldn't even guess. 
you know, that's, that's, uh, you knew where it was, like, come on, you knew it was Wolf Joth Overlook. <laughs> the main hangar would be a perfect base if there was a fire barrel up top. Yeah, that's the one thing that's really missing in four second airfield, wait, uh, I wanted to drop my bear coats, whoops. Yeah, for second airfield is really missing like fire barrels or any any decent cooking spots, right? That's that's a huge problem in in airfield for sure. I really love how much you can see inside the hangar at night. Like you can see so much. It's crazy. Like you don't even need a light source unless you go down in the basement. Okay, let's grab the final three quarters. That's why I took the bear coats off. So I will not be very over encumbered when I pick them up. Because they're all like 10 kilos or something. That was a pretty big bear. See, this is the bear I wouldn't even mind if it was smaller because it's in such an annoying position. This is one of my least favorite bears. You didn't know it was by Miner's Folly. I know, of course. Well, nobody knew, right? Nobody guessed right away. I mean, BB-8 guessed, but it, it wasn't the correct guess. And, like, that's normal. Like, you don't have to know right away. Just want to see you try, you know? I want to see you become comfortable being wrong. I feel like you have uh, problems being wrong, you know? Like, like you're ashamed of, of having an incorrect guess or something, but... It's not like we tracked that anywhere. We only track the correct ones. You knew that we were what we were looking at, there. but not where we were standing. Freeze. Yes, yes, of course. It could have been several locations, but what I'm saying is you, you didn't guess any of them until later. You're not ashamed. You're not ashamed of your... You are ashamed of your poor, poor map knowledge. Don't be ashamed. Come on. Welcome back, Loopy. Uh, please please uh, tell Sarah that she shouldn't be ashamed of her map knowledge. Your map out. knowledge is very respectable for someone with four... Uh, 40 hours, not four hours. <laughs> 40. It was one of the only spots in the region to avoid Glimmer Fog via the basement. Yeah, now that we have the tails, you can also kind of use that. But the bunker's a little inconvenient. I'm not sure if the transition cave to Zone of Contamination also works at this point. I have never tried it. I didn't spend very long time in Forsaken Airfield on this save. We've already been to the airfield, but I really only looted a couple things and then I went back because uh, the weather was pretty bad. And yeah, I didn't like my time there. It's one of the coldest regions. And on Maglands only it's particularly problematic, uh, problematic because it's so spread out. It's very difficult to do anything if you don't get uh, sunny weather. You have poor map knowledge compared to your hours. I don't think that's true, BB-8. I don't agree with that. Wait, is that a cave? See, my, my map knowledge is not good enough in a blizzard either. <laughs> I lost the cave. I think it's this one. Okay, we're here. All is good. You don't mind guessing at all, but you really do not have a clue most of the time. Not because you don't want to guess, but because you don't know. But uh, many times nobody knows, right? This That's the thing. To slow me down. Many times nobody knows. And it's always just guesses. I mean, that's that's the point of the game. If people know all the time, then uh, it's gonna be a very simple game, right? Poor map knowledge, you say that uh, like it's a bad thing. I can guarantee you know way more than me. Yeah, like Sarah, you know a lot. Uh, you you keep saying you don't know, but you know more than many many people. I I agree with that. It hurted doing what I was asking. Come on, I thought we agreed that when it comes to Sarah's well-being, we tend to agree on stuff. So it shouldn't have hurt so much unless you don't care about Sarah's well-being. I mean, you did destroy her radio in Sons of the Forest, so who knows at this point, right? <laughs> Come on, this blizzard has to stop. I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna have to go after this. Yeah, I have to go. 
the blizzard better have ended by now. Oh, finally. We even got foggy weather. That's what I like to see. Okay, I'm gonna come for the rest later. You could track to Manful Cabin because you heard it was a gun spawn. Only got a pair of milk locks and pancake ingredients, which you can't even cook since Mackenzie has the ability of a wet sponge. There is a there is a revolver actually, Zest, and we got it on this run, even though we are playing on interloper. Because we are playing on an old patch and that revolver was actually available on interloper because of a bug. It's hidden though. Uh, that revolver is in uh, in like loose boards. If you check the shelves in that cabin. There's loose boards, it's basically a container you can search, it's really hidden. But if you find it, it always has a revolver. Unless you're on interloper at this point. A revolver doesn't really have... Uh, uh, interloper doesn't really have anything useful on it anymore, but... I'm guessing if you're... Yeah, you, you got the Mucklux, right? So, yeah, you can be on interloper. So... Uh, yeah, just, just check the hidden container. And it's guaranteed to be there. I forgot my teeth here. What was I doing, man? I don't think they are warm anymore, right? Like, they'll be crazy. Obviously, they are not. And we won't be able to cook anything. So, I am going to... Um, I'm going to take this stuff with me, I think. And we're gonna cook it in Grey Matters. At some later point. Uh, hmm. I need to drop something. Hmm. Okay, that's that's fine. I can be slightly encumbered. This area is a little dangerous. I need to pay attention to wolfies because I have three small bars right now, so I'm trying to stay on top of cliffs where I can see them come in. Hey, no wolf is so far. Your radio, yeah. Your poor radio. From now on you will always guess Jackrabbit Island. Surprise me. Yeah, some people usually that. AKA Motoroli. Usually guesses... Blackrock Prison, no matter what. <laughs> this is like two divorced parents. I mean, yes, that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> You'd be the perfect divorce daddy. Yeah, I'd be the perfect divorce mommy. You don't grab the one Polaroid, so next morning you'll head up uh, that one thorn bush climb th and through one way you can hit a trailer. Yeah, yeah, th yeah, there's the Vista. Yeah, that's true, that's true. If you don't have the Polaroid, there's another reason to go there. But if you still need a revolver, then that's definitely... It's a guaranteed spot, so it's pretty nice. Interloper should actually have a guaranteed mag lens in that area, but that mag lens is bugged, so it's impossible to obtain. Unfortunately. They really fixed the revolver bug pretty quickly. It was only in the game for like one month. In slow refresh, so that's been fixed for over a year now. But yeah, then, then they added the mag lens there for interloper instead. And then they fixed the invisible items by basically banning banning certain item spawns from interloper if they are in containers. And that included the maglens. So now that maglens actually... It, it's theoretically there, but it's just not possible to obtain it. We actually got it on our run, yeah. What we did was we went there in our old patch, we got the revolver, then we updated to the version that added the maglens there, and we could search the container again. We got the maglens as well. And then we updated to this All version, think about is food. which already has the maglens back. Okay, there's a wolfie. Better be careful here. Okay, we're fine. Okay, looks like we're safe. Uh, let me just drop all of this. 
So, I need some food. I am actually very low on food here, right? That's not great. I'm going to process this, but I need to eat something. You need a heater, a distress pistol, a bow with three arrows, and two noisemakers, and a grand arsenal. I love bow. Bow is honestly amazing. Takes some time to get used to, but... And, oh, oh, I hear him. Not smart of me to eat here. I cannot smell here, I can hear that wolf walk around, so I'm just gonna eat this inside. It prefer your parents to not be divorced, to smash my head. It's okay, Sarah. We're just, we're just, uh, you know, uh, having a little disagreement. This way it will spoil her to upset and overshine her mother. That sounds fun too. No, Sarah, I care about you too much. I will spoil you too. Okay? You're gonna win twice. <laughs> it's win-win for you. Okay, how much? I need to eat more. Wait. Let me do two kilos first. Yeah, win-win, for real. Want a funny wolf story that happened in uh, your game? Yeah, yeah, sure. Are you gone, Wolfie? Perfect. That's how I like it. But I am really low on food. I mean, ooh. I still have some in the farmstead. Oh, you get a completely different wolf that blood out. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you carry smell, that, that tends to happen a lot. Yeah, we have so many interesting wolf eclipses by now. They always uh, seem to show up at the worst possible moment. That's why I'm crouching when I exit the building. That way it makes it much harder for wolves to spot you. Especially if we don't smell, I always like to check I am not carrying any decoys. Um, what now? I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna take a short trip to... The farmstead, because that's where the food is. Wait, where is he? There he is. This is probably the safest, safest spot. Yeah, let's do this. There uh, could be a fuse behind this post office, I think, near the track. Wait. You're another wolf? Okay, now I think we're fine. I don't know where exactly this fuse is anymore. I'm just gonna search all the cars. Wait, are we getting an aurora? No. Okay, no aurora. There's not yet. Uh, so where could this fuse be? In here, maybe? Doesn't seem like it. Inside. Ah, oh, <laughs> there she is. There she is. That's that's what I'm looking for. Mr. 305 Worldwide Glimmerfog completely jumped you when you were scanning them. Yeah, Glimmerfog is annoying. Like... I was trying to map Zone of Contamination when it came out. And it was so painful because I kept getting Glimmer Fog and you just can't map during Glimmer Fog. I actually had more success mapping during night than during the day because I could map during the auroras that kept happening. So that was interesting for sure. People with glitter jump to you. They actually don't turn into aura animals during gl uh, Glimmer Fog. They stay as regular animals. Which means... You can even run into moose during Glimmer Fog because they don't disappear like they would during auroras. So yeah, 
If you get lost in a glimmer fog, don't think you are safe from the moons. Let me check these oak trees. Yeah, I'm really curious. I feel like they nerfed the oak trees, but maybe I was just lucky so far. Let me see. I need to check the acorn count on them. But I'm looking for... Is it in the security booth? Maybe? Some wires? Fuses? There's nothing in here. Wait, let me check my notes. I have it, have it noted down. Yeah, security booth. But I found... Wait, I found one set of wires and two fuses already, right? So that should be all we can find in Mountain Town anyway. Okay, we should be fine then. And hopefully in HR we find two more fuses and one more wire because like we really need them. And there's so few of them. Let me just check this. Uh, a country. Oh no, here we are missing one spot, see? So maybe we're just lucky so far. Glimmer fog is possibly the worst thing because you can see five feet in front of you. Yeah, Insomnia is not a problem. Insomnia is... I honestly expected a lot worse from Insomnia. Like, Insomnia is a bit of a joke. Like, you just let it happen. There's way too few ways you can prevent it anyway. I honestly don't like uh, the addition of Insomnia. I, I kind of expected better from that. There's way too few ways to prevent it. Like, there's no logical way to prevent it, right? I wish there was maybe some item that could, like... Uh, lower the insomnia rate, like uh, maybe herbal tea or uh, the stews, right? Like some stuff that uh, that's from Frontier Cooking. Like that that was the option right there, and they didn't do that. But it's just too difficult to to prevent it because you literally have to go to like one place in the map, or if you complete it, signal void and two places in the map. And if you're too far from that, then you're out of luck. But at least it's not too too dangerous, like it doesn't really matter. I had to make a snow shelter to wait it out. Yeah, like most of the airfield looks the same, right? Like when you're in the middle and there's just snow and nothing else and you can't tell where you are. Once you get some heavy fog or, or blizzard, you're just lost in it. But what I like to do in those uh, situations is just walk straight. I remember my first run in the airfield back when it came out. I kind of got uh, lost like that in a glimmer fog when I was near the island cabin. And I still kept going. I just kept going straight and eventually I made it to the airfield. It was pretty dangerous though. Because I didn't know the region. I could have definitely died there. And it was a close call but I managed to make it through. You're into the Caesar 3 tunnel again. What's, what does that mean, Loopy? What's Caesar 3 tunnel? Okay, looks like just clear weather, which I'll gladly take. Not your At least the visible so is gonna tired. be good. We're not good in Aurora. Aurora. Any more acorn trees? I don't think I looted this one. I think this one is different. I'm gonna get it on my way back. There's still some more over here. If there was the biggest tower with the blinking light, you could see they threw the fog, it wouldn't be so bad, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if the lighthouse in Desolation Point helps with it as much, but you, you can't get Glimmer Fog in Lighthouse, so it doesn't really matter. But what can happen... Um, like, what, what can help you during... at least blizzards, I never tried it in a Glimmer Fog, but what can help you during blizzards, it's starting a campfire. Right, like an open campfire, and you can usually see that from really far away, even in a blizzard. Like, it's surprising how far you can see a campfire. So that's one way to be able to make it back. But of course, in order to keep a campfire burning for long, it, it's a little problematic because the, the wind could blow it out. You need a lot of fuel for that. Flipping old game and ancient Rome city builder. Oh, okay, okay. Getting back into some old game then. 
Any tip for finding radio caches besides wandering around with your thumb up your ass? It's in the blue mode. Mm, no, blue mode is for uh, for the uh, signal void caches, and orange mode is for shortwave caches. Except, I think broken railroad. I think broken railroad is bugged and has it like the other way around. And the blue mode actually finds you the the shortwave caches. But I actually have a guide on my YouTube. Uh, it, it shows all the locations, all the possible locations. They are tied to loot tables, so like, once you figure out which loot table you are, you can predict which caches you get. There's just four loot tables. They mostly matter for interloper, but they do affect some things even on stalker and down, like polaroids, some of the moose spawns, and yeah, shortwave caches as well. But typically, most regions will have like one generic cache, and then one uh, specialty cache, let's let's call it. And that specialty is typically like flares, ammo, food, clothing. And I don't remember what the last one is. There's one more type. Hmm, pleasant evening. Just minus one, late game loper, nice. I like it. So I wasn't actually paying attention to how many acorns I got, but I feel like we are really getting a lot. They must have nerfed them. 25, yeah, from like what, 10 trees? That's... Okay, I thought I heard a wolf. That's pretty insane yield though, I think they must have nerfed acorns for some reason. I never noticed it in like patch notes or anything. I don't even know if they announced it. I don't even know if it's intentional, but I would have sworn you get fewer acorns from the current version. So I think I want to loot all the acorn trees everywhere before I update the game, just so I don't lose any acorns. You wonder how the deer and bunnies are able to still find food after this long? Yeah, it's it's uh, strange. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there has to be some some balance, you know, so it's still fine. Like for the same reason why you can survive forty thousand days if you wanted to. Like theoretically, you would die of something, even if it was like old age. But it would probably have some vitamin deficiency, right? Like now now we have scurvy in the game, but. Would probably be missing something if you just kept surviving on like mostly meat, animal meat, not much else. Yeah. Sooner or later. You would just die. And even if you like were relatively healthy. I mean your quality of life is not that great, right? Like you, you keep Exerting yourself every day, going out into the cold, potentially getting infections, uh, getting bitten by wolves, whatnot. So, like that alone would shorten your lifespan, probably. How cold type of cash that uh, contains one stick you don't remember? Welcome in, Rax. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the generic one, actually, but that's, uh, that's interloper caches, yeah. Interloper caches have different loot. This is why we are playing on March 2023 patch, actually. This is the patch where you can access non-interloper caches, even in interloper, because this is the patch that uh, added signal void to the game, but back then, if you remember, they, they didn't add it to interloper, but for some reason you can still open the caches if you know exactly where they are. So we are actually going to look for some shortwave caches after we repair the transmitter in Mountain Town. I think we're gonna do it the next day, we're gonna sleep now. I'm gonna go to the farmstead because we need some food anyway. Do I have water? Oh, I'm, I might pick up some water first. Then we're gonna go to the farmstead. And then we'll sleep. You have never used the acorns or the bird dog. You feel like you're being so wasteful with it if you use it. Me too, Sarah, honestly. Like, I mostly use it in challenges. <laughs> I'm not going to use any of it 
in my current version. And if I'm going to cook anything with it, it's probably just going to be as a decoration. Oh, there are quarters still. Well, that's... Uh, I could leave it outside. I think it can wait until tomorrow. Right, what's the condition on it? Yeah, 65, we're fine. But I would like some water. Do we not have... Uh, I think I dropped it in here, right? Over here somewhere. Water bottles, perfect. And now we can go to the farmstead because that's where we have all our food. We really need to cook some more food in Mountain Town. We have very little food. It's starting to concern me a little bit. If we don't get any Maglan's weather. I really don't want to lose well fat, so... I should stock up a little bit. Eggs, refried beans, and corn tortillas. Nice. Mother 8 made that. Oh, wow, BB-8. Mother 8 making you breakfast. PP-8 making you lunch. You're living the life. <laughs> That's wasteful. What is wasteful? Like, uh, burdocks and acorns. Yeah, it depends. I was actually trying to science out like what's what's the best way to spend all these new ingredients on interloper specifically, right? Assuming you care about peach pies and like uh, condition regeneration the most, because those are the best things you can get from the new recipes, right? And yeah, like there's actually not that many acorns or burdock, so. It's definitely good to not be too wasteful. Then again, Burdock is very similar to Reishis, right? Like, uh, it offers the same bonuses. With the difference is you can also eat it instead of making it a tea. Or you could uh, use it in some of the recipes, but it doesn't go into many recipes. I think it goes into a Prepper Spy, but... Prepper Spy is an insanely expensive recipe, but it's also pretty good. It, it gives you like 25% condition back instantly, so that's almost like a double stim. So that's pretty powerful for sure. That's, that's definitely one word making is just really expensive. It's one of the most expensive recipes, I think. Lemme sketch, it was just a flashlight and flares. Ooh, yeah, so that was one of the uh, flares sketches, yeah. I would love another flashlight, but we do have a flashlight. Oh, 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 I must have forgotten it somewhere. I need to be careful. We do have a flashlight even on interloper, and on interloper it's super useful. Because normally you do not get flashlights on interloper, but we found one in a broken cache. Okay, let's see this. And let's go to sleep. PP8 is actually a good cook. Yeah, 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 you mentioned. Wait, so... So... Uh, Madrid is not a good cook, or... What are you saying? <laughs> or you meant compared to you? You mean not eating the icons and burdock uh yeah honestly i don't like eating them i feel like it's not worth it because neither the acorns nor the burdock are renewable resources right and you can get calories from many other way uh, many other items like animal meat is probably the best one right you can always renew it animals always respawn so i prefer not spending not renewable resources for just calories. If I can get something better from it. PP8 went to culinary camps while in high school. Oh, okay. That explains it. When you are on the last few days, eat it. Yeah, obviously, if you're desperate, I mean, it's better than dying, right? Definitely better than dying. But... That's another issue with many of the new cooking recipes, like uh, bannocks and pancakes. Typically, you don't want to waste flour on that, because flour is better spent on like peach pies or uh, pepper pie, maybe be briar house pie, even lily's pancakes. You know that kind of stuff that that uh, gives you condition region. But if you are like starving to death, then sure, uh, it's some extra calories. So at that point, you may as well use it. All uh, right, I wanted to drop the saplings here for sure and we're gonna head out yeah let's go maybe bring some food with us madrid is a super good cook okay 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 i misunderstood it oh manglan's weather time to do some cooking let's go let's hurry up i'm gonna sprint let's cook
<laughs> Jesse, we have to cook. I beaming wolves uh, scares them. Yes, yes. Uh, but uh, only if you're not weak. Uh, being weak means having blood loss, brains, being low on condition, exhausted, or over encumbered. Those five things change the way wolves behave. They become more aggressive. So as long as it's none of those five, you will scare them, but only Aurora Wolves. That's also important. Because Flashlight uh, gets powered early on when the Aurora is starting, but before the Wolves turn into Aurora Wolves as well. So if you high beam a regular Wolf, it's not going to wor work. Like, regular Wolves are not scared of the Flashlight at all. They have to turn into the Aurora versions first. That's uh, one thing to definitely be careful about, because I, I got jumped once like that on Stalker. And it took me forever to figure out why that even happened. And I was really scared to use the flashlight ever since, until I actually understood why it was happening. We drank a lot of teas and wasted a lot of ingredients on Benox on Thursday, but you don't really care, because you would have died without it. Yes, that's, uh, that's what I was saying. You did not waste it, Sarah. Uh, if you would have died without it, then it was a good call. Like, it's still better to spend them on maybe non-optimal food than to die, right? Like, if you just... That's a common problem with people, like, uh, they keep stims. They always keep stims on them and then they die with them anyway, because it's one thing to have the stim to be prepared, another thing to use it at the right time. Sometimes it's difficult to to gauge when you should do that. With peach pie recipe, I find it annoying that uh, the recipe eats uh, the can too. Oh, yeah, 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 true, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, well, you can always make grossy pies, right? They're slightly more... Did he hear me? I think he stopped moving. This is a kind of a scary angle. I could get jumped by a wolf here, but hopefully he doesn't walk into me. Ah, <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> oh man. Come on, take, take the torch before it. Okay, perfect. Where's all my meat? There it is. Let's take this all inside. I need to cook all of this, and we're gonna deal with sure the quarter too. Any spots you'd recommend to find the cache? They are evenly spread out. Uh, it it doesn't matter which loot table you got, they are evenly spread out, so... Uh, yeah, once you have the radio, you just kind of need to walk around the entire region to find all of them. But yeah, if you're interested in this in this specific spot, you can just check the... Check the YouTube. I mapped every single location of, of the shortwave caches. Uh, even the memento caches, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I thought I failed, but that shouldn't be possible. Because we are already... Level 5, far starting. There we go. <laughs> Let me make up to you guys, not need it. <laughs> Whoops, okay. Okay, I guess we're getting a Sarah Clippy. You knew it. Yes, come on, we haven't had one in a long time. I need my fix, Sarah. Don't be like that. Memento caches, yeah, have you not found any memento caches? You know, the memento notes. You can see them in your journal here. Uh, this one's right, mementos. So you have up to 44. Uh, this this is 44 out of 28 because uh, I was just kind of messing around on interloper. Yeah, you should, you should be able to get 44 on lower difficulties though. Sounds static, is it not random? Yeah, yeah, uh, memento caches are static. Memento caches are static, but... Shortwave caches are not. Okay, so that's the bunny. Let me drop all of these and let's uh, let's do the clippy after that. And hello, golden, welcome in, welcome in. What are the me where are the memento nodes? Uh, they're all around the regions. They are not in the far territories though, but almost every region has some. 
so you kind of have to look around like in mountain town you can find one in that in one of those cars right there uh, in the visors okay so one hour until this cooks how much can we do we can do oh, not the whole thing maybe not the whole thing let's do four kilos four kilos will work and oh yeah before i forget let's do the sarah clippy right oh should i go for it <laughs> i just want to die oh. Oh. oh, amazing. Just what I needed. <laughs> you love her. Me too. Me too. <laughs> uh, Sarah, you keep getting uh, food poisoning in Mountaineer's Hut. <laughs> you must have several clips of, of you getting food poisoning in Mountaineer's Hut. Why are you so loud? No, it's 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 nice loud. Don't worry about it. Yeah, not loud enough. Yeah, true. On custom loper, are some of the mementos still not available like on regular loper? Yes, I think uh, mementos are tied to baseline, res uh, baseline resource availability like most of the other loper stuff. So it's going to be safe as van vanilla loper, at least it should be. This is a smaller steak, I'm gonna cook it later. Oh, come on, really? Another smaller steak. There we go. Okay, let's finish uh, this half a kilo here. The damn one is not available. Yeah, the damn one has MREs, if I remember correctly. So that should not be available, because MREs are not on custom loper, as far as I know. Wait, uh, how big is this one? This is a regular one kilo steak. One kilo, one kilo, one kilo, one kilo, and this is the smaller one again. So I'll just split them into two categories. Move this bottles a little further. Oh my god, I have three firelocks here. <laughs> Sarah, oh, I love firelocks. Oh my god, look at this. Beautiful. They're useless, but they're beautiful, you know. Just look nice in a base. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, this one takes a little longer. Okay, I guess we're just gonna start cooking this. 20 minutes. Hmm. Okay. You did find a thermos at least. Oh yeah, thermos is amazing. I can't wait to... Get it on my run. This version we're currently playing on still doesn't have them. But the flask is so good. Because warming up bonuses are super, super important. I don't have my pots with me. I do. Okay. I guess I could make some water after this. Uh, do I not have any sticks? Wait, I should have sticks here. Yeah, we have plenty of sticks. Fuel is not a problem here for sure. I just dump a little bit more. That's better. Alright, anything I wanna keep here? Um, well, the... The torch. Yeah, we have so many torches, oh my god. I should probably tear some of them down. Acorns. Probably like two of the lichen, I only carry six. The rest is mostly fine, and maybe, maybe the water. Wait, is this, this all one liter? Yes. Yeah, let me just drink this a little bit. It's still 38 minutes. I think I'm just going to...
find some more firewood in the meantime. Here we're gonna be able to stack fire logs and cedar and all that uh, with safe house customization. Oh yeah, well you can always do that with mods, right? Like, if I'm gonna bother decorating my base, I'm probably going to install that place anywhere mod anyway. Um, but I am hoping we'll be able to get more fire logs somehow. Because all the things you can get from beach coming these days and fire log is not one of them, <laughs> sadly. That's just so sad. I mean, fire logs aren't even useful. They just couldn't give me them f uh, from beach coming. It's so frustrating. <laughs> I know, right? No fire logs from beach coming. It's probably the only type of fuel that you cannot get from beach coming. Well, you can get coal, I think. But it doesn't matter because coal really spawns anyway. So who cares? YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Thank you, Sarah. You love coal, everybody does. Coal and birch bark and, uh, and books and ropes, yes, yes, yes. Ooh, yeah, we're gonna make a nice little bookstore once Safe House uh, customization comes out. We're already stacking the books here. They're already being here, but we cannot transport them at the same time, right? Because they all stack to the same type. Luckily, we do have a way to avoid it at this point. Oh, this one is finished. Okay, almost there. And it's cooked, cooked. Let's finish these. I don't think I'll be able to get back in time to save the water from these recycled cans. I don't know. Wait a second. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna wait until this finishes. Now we're gonna start. Oh, see, this is what, we, what you used to be able to do. This was so good with just pressing enter. And you could make a lot of water at the same time. Uh, but then when they changed the UI with cooking, with Frontier cooking, this is no longer possible and it's so annoying. It's so much easier to, to make half a liter of water on all of the six slots. And you just press that. I really miss that. It's a small thing, but I miss it. But they broke it. So we're at 16 kilos. We have plenty of capacity. Let's go. I just want to grab uh, the reminder of the of the bear meat. I think I even left some at the HRV transition. I think that's a bit too far. I don't know if I'll be able to fetch it. Let's see. Best item in the game. Best item in the game is the Steam, come on. Steam is great, but they are very limited on Loper. But on lower difficulties you can get an an, uh, uh, an endless amount of Steams. Because they respawn from bitch coming these days. <laughs> you can find almost everything bitch coming on lower difficulties, like even freaking Steams. Imagine having like uh, 200 Steams stocked up somewhere in your main base. That would be cool. Game breaking, but cool. I would drink almost anything about now. Can't wait. You think you will make a little library in camp office? Yeah, I'm gonna do one in in Hunting Lodge. I love Hunting Lodge. Too bad it's just so inconvenient to get into as my main base, but I'm just too stubborn, you know? This game is so old, it doesn't let you alt-tab. Oh, that is really old, yeah. That's definitely not from this century, right? I still think it's weird how there's no toilet there. I guess the toilet is outside, right? Out in the nature. Even skill books. You can only get the fishing skill book, unfortunately. I, I still don't understand why they only let us have this fishing one. It's kind of weird. 
Like, they could have given us all of them. And it, it's uh, the same with the regular books, right? Like, some of the regular non-skill books are also obtainable by Beachcombing, but not all of them. So, technically, some types of books are just uh, finite. So, if you ever, like, burn them or uh, carry them together with another book so that they just revert to the basic book type, then there's no way to get them again. It doesn't really matter, like, from a gameplay perspective, but, you know, in case you want to decorate your base. You have, like, eight steams, but you don't use them. Yeah, yeah, same. Like, I have a lot of steams on this round because there were so many invisible steams that you were not meant to have. I got three steams from the Pleasant Valley Memento. Like, that's one of the most powerful mementos. Of course, it's no longer on Interloper, but... On this broken run, we got them. I, I probably have, like, 15 steams. <laughs> it's crazy. Maybe close to 20, even. And I still haven't been to Zone of Contamination, which has... I think it has two stems and it has like one RNG stem. So that's another thing. Five stems now, you think. And you don't care if you will use them if you have to. Yeah, I mean, that's what the stems are for, right? I just play with some extra self imposed restrictions, so it's a bit different. Like, I just pretend I already used of all of my stems, right? So I just cannot rely on them. Even though I've never used any. I just like to play with renewable resources only. Like, this resource renewability is, uh, is very, like, interesting to me. And that's why I'm really curious about the trader, because the trader could make some new things renewable, right? We could get like skill books from Trader, maybe. Maybe some fire logs, you never know. All kinds of stuff. I'll die if I don't drink something soon. So it could potentially affect my run a lot. Your longest loper run, you had so many stems, like you don't remember if you ever used one. Yeah, yeah, exactly like. There used to be more stems before. I don't know when you played your run. There was more stems before the refresh, I think. Actually, now that they added Zone of Contamination with like three stems, it might be about the same these days. Yeah, because Zone of Contamination has two guaranteed stems and another RNG stem, so that's pretty crazy. They also added another really rare stem in HRV in the plane crash. But that, that stem almost never shows up. It's super, super rare. I've never seen it myself. I've just seen other people get it. I only got it once on Stalker, I think, when I was just testing stuff off stream for like a video or whatever. But I, I never truly really got it on my run. But now that we have the... Oh, 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 oh. Now that we got the Frontier cooking, you have so much more, right? Because you can use all of that flour and oil for condition recovery recipes. So technically you have so many more options. Oh, he got scared twice in a row. Bear coat pulling its weight. You're assuming, uh, assuming the trader is a pelt trader. Me too, actually, yeah. I think it would make sense. Which is why I am stocking up my pelts. I'm trying to kill any bear and moose on site. Oh, no, it boiled away, yeah. That's what I was worried about. Probably damaged my cans, yeah. They're slightly damaged. I wonder if I could, like, uh, destroy the recycled can if I boil away enough water. It's just gonna be 0% can. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I wonder if 0% cans can still be used. Maybe one, can, one day we can science it. Would be interesting to see. Not sure why I picked it up. There we go. Uh, let's take some water. For my sake, you hope it's a pelt trader or that it at least takes spells as a payment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter, like... You know, it's it's just my guess. And if I'm wrong, then I will have a lot of pelts to use uh, later. Doesn't hurt to stock up on pretty much everything, right? 
I mean, bear hides I always have a lot of use for because bear hides are basically... Oh, this is... You know what? I'm not gonna risk this. We're gonna make some more water instead. And make like one and a half. Okay, let's go. I need to go a lot farther now. Um, hmm. Did I find any sticks? I did. Let's well put them here. Yeah, let's go. How is the... Oof, it's already late. Okay, I guess we're not repairing the transmitter today. We're gonna do it tomorrow. Because I don't really want to rush. I want to repair it before sunset, so... I don't lose any time of the Aurora. We're gonna get a guaranteed long Aurora once we repair the... Transmitter, and I want to use it... To find as many caches as possible. We're gonna find everything in Mountain Town. There should probably only be two caches here. And then we're gonna go to HR, which is going to have three caches. And also this signal void bunker. And yeah, we definitely want to hit the bunker ASAP. But Mountain Town is the priority. Like, we want to just deal with Mountain Town so we can move uh, into HRV. And I can reload HRV a little bit. There's still a few spots I have not been able to hit. We've not really been to HRV since we started there. So that's like 200 days. Might get some moose there as well. I hope it's not the one in the valley because that moose is just horrible. But yeah, I'm really hoping it's going to be a pelt trader. That would help me a lot. <laughs> I'm going to be bowling once I find out. Yeah, imagine, if it's a belt trader, I'm just gonna get so much stuff. I'm gonna be rich. Unless they tell us the trader is not available on Interloper. Then I will be bummed out. Hmm, lies. No, the schedule is up to date, come on. I know tomorrow we are going to start later, but that's uh, more of an exception, yeah, my, my May schedule is a little unstable, but should be better in a couple of weeks. Well, one week from now we will already know when the new update is going to drop, right? So maybe I'm just gonna do a couple, you know, day-long streams again. Just like when the Zone of Contamination update came out. Week 29. Oh, Sarah. Yes, yes, you message drop. <laughs> Based on empirical evidence from the past seven days. Yeah, I did do the longer stream on Wednesday too, right? Ooh, that was that was quite exhausting, honestly. You know, after working, then I did the 8 hour one. Yeah... I'm not saying I'm not gonna do longer Wednesday streams ever, but uh, that long, that was, that was really tiresome. But you know, I just feel like doing some TLD in the middle of the week because the update is getting close, so I am really enjoying playing my long run right now. And not playing at all over the week is just... Uh, it's not good enough for me, you know? Just wanna get one day in during the week. You and him are buddies. You're not even blocked on Twitter. Oh, wow. Wow. I didn't know you were that close. Oh, another blizzard, come on. This looks very blizzardy. Don't do this to me. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a blizzard. Wow, we are getting so many blizzards today, it's insane. I guess one upside of the blizzard is that I'm not gonna get any headwind. That's the weird thing, as you can see now, I'm starting to actually walk faster into the wind. Because the stronger the headwind, the less movement penalty you get. <laughs> it's super, super strange. There could still be some wolfies around though, so I need to pay attention. 
To take break is after a full work day, uh, like at least uh, every two hours, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, I felt really fine for like the first six, seven hours, but like after midnight, you know, the, the last one or two hours when we were, when we were playing co-op, I was starting to be a little, uh, you know. And I just disconnected from Discord instantly after, after ending the streams, even though I was still playing words. Need to find some place to escape this cold. I'm not good at taking breakers. That is true. That is true. Yeah. But hey, we had a breaky today, right? We had a really short breaky. We shouted out Sarah. I think it was a great breaky. So. Still, welcome in. Welcome in. How's it going? You got yourself six shoot again. You found the revolver. GG. Yeah, it's really hidden in that uh, in that cabin. Like, it's very very easy to miss. It doesn't just lie around. After after twenty three, I sounded done, so tired. Yeah, yeah, I I I felt tired for sure. Blood clots are a serious risk. Yes, yes, you are right. It's healthy to take some uh, some breaks for sure. And it kind of uh, works out for Twitch, right? Because uh, you could just force ads while you're on a break, so then people don't get them during the during the more important moments. I just wish it was more flexible because you can do it like only up to one hour, right? Like what I could do is force a three-minute ad break every. See, they didn't despawn. Three-minute ad break every one hour, and then 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 it's like for one hour there's uh, there's no ads. Which is nice, but like taking a break at least once per hour is a bit too open for me. Like I wish you could do it instead like six minutes every two hours and like take a proper, you know, six minute break. That would work a lot better for me, but Twitch just doesn't let you do that, sadly. I don't understand why it's not more flexible. Hopefully my meat has not burned yet. How's it going? It's going well. We back the bear in here. We're cooking it. The only problem is we keep getting blizzards every day today. I don't know what the frick is going on. Thank you for the shouties to seal. Going good here. Finally got a good night's sleep. Oh, so the baby got used to the normal sleeping pattern. It's not a break if you don't stand up. You have a water. I do have a water, but you know what? You're right. You know what? Now we're, we're talking about it. I'm gonna take a short break and you guys can do a round of shoutouts, okay? I'll be right back. <laughs> what? But. Uh, can we get a shout oh. for Weevil as well, Bell? A clip of a clip? <laughs> nice. It prevents heat loss. Okay. I sound irritated. Are you? You know what? I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, that book. Sentimental me. What about it? <laughs> you. Absolutely. You don't have me that sentimental to you, dead bug. Come on. Yeah. Come on then. Come on. 
come on. I want to kill you. <laughs> I don't like when they do that. Elmo needs a blood sacrifice. Elmo learned to draw a pentagram. Elmo's gonna show your eyes shut. <laughs> Oh, this is the other... Aha! So this is their... Land. <gasps> Freak! I think that thing just killed me. Like, that, that just killed me in real life. So close to a passionate F bomb. Oh, yeah, it is here, though. Let's see, it goes down here, I guess. I'm back. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. A break you felt nice. I I was already back before the Sarah clip, but you know, I, I, I when I saw which clip it was, I just had to see it, you know. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Zed and Luffy. Perfect loudness, yes, yes. It was Sarah, so it's okay. If it was anybody else, it would have been too loud, but... Since it's Sarah, it's all good. I don't want to cook the small ones, come on. There we go. That's one hour. Maybe we can take a... No, that's fine. I think I'm just gonna pass the time, whatever. Let's just, let's just do it. Sorry about your eardrums. It's Oki Burger. Right, we will need some more stickies. Let's eat one meat. You didn't need them anyway. True, true, you never listen anyway. Why would you need any eardrums, right? It is too loud even if it's you. You don't know why your clips are so freaking loud. You think you're gonna lower your mic from now on? No way, Sarah, absolutely not. I don't know why your clips are like loud. I think it's just because you, you yell, but you are not too loud. Like, absolutely not. Your, your mic is... A bit too quiet, if anything, especially when we play together, when we're on Discord. Like, m both me and Loop have you at 200%. Don't you dare lowering your volume any further. I mean, we can't hear you half the time. If you're worried about this yelling, then just uh, just play with the filters on OBS. Just add a limiter. Like, like uh, I'm, going to I'm going to try and yell now. Uh, 
J just, just a warning. It should cut out. It shouldn't be loud, but just a warning, okay? So let's try it. Ah! I don't know how loud that was, but I think it should have cut out, right? I don't know if you guys heard it at all. Hopefully not. If you did, I am, I am, I apologize for. <laughs> it didn't cut out. Oh man, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so see, play with the filters and don't set them like me. <laughs> could barely hear it and it didn't cut out. Okay, then it was good. Then it was good. Yeah, it was like, ah, but it was really loud. And if it was not loud... It was because of the limiter. Like, it, it made it a bit more quiet, you know, if... If the sound gets a bit too, too high... Or the volume gets a bit too high... Then... It just lowers. So, like, if you're too worried, you could use that, but... The problem with that is that some of the fun screams that Chad would love to see you and would love to clip them, they might not sound very good. Like, you know, uh, my F-bomb clip? I actually yell really loud in that clip, but the limiter completely blocks it out. You cannot hear that yell at all. Like, you, you can hear the beginning of it, I think, a little bit. But it, it's just, it's very, very hard to... To hear the actual yell. Yeah, my F-Bop clip is such a good one. Yeah, yeah, but you cannot hear the yell. Like, I actually yelled at that clippy. Yeah, I see absolutely nothing now. We finished all the meat. I guess I can make a bit more, right? We can make like... How much more time do we have? Okay, this won't be enough. So let's do just, just one liter. That should be enough and we can basically go to sleep like this. That's fine. Uh, whoa. Uh, do we have enough water? Uh, we do, we do. You're always quiet when we first joined the uh, voice call. You're anti-shy. Yeah, why are you anti-shy, Sarah? Come on. Like, if it was strangers, I would maybe understand it, but it's us. We always play together. You don't need to be shy. Come on. We're always both happy to see you. When you join. Ooh, I keep getting only blizzards and auroras again. Interesting. We can't really use this much. I suppose I could go grab some uh, some buffer memories. I don't even know where I left my flashlight. It's not here. So it's a little risky to go outside. Let's see. YouTube BB8. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're too shy to even have a mic on most of the time when you stream. Oh, come on. Where is he? Okay, I think he's gonna get stuck. I'm scared of the lights. You're just a little shy even with people you know. Oh, Don't be shy, Sarah. There's no reason to be. Wait, no, it's not this one, is it? Oh, I think it is. Okay. There's one. Is there another one in post office, maybe? I think there might be. Yeah, there's a lot of buffer memories around here. Let me try and re-enter. Sometimes it gives you a second one. Usually not, but sometimes it works. Yeah, not this time. Oh! No, it did work actually, see? Okay, we can try it again then, as long as it works. We can keep trying. I don't think I ever got all the buffer memories, so I just kind of collect them for now. You know, there's no reason. Yeah, 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 I know. There, there's... Little reason to be shy around people you know, but yeah. It's okay. Looks like I already got this one. There's another one at Orca, but I'm not gonna go all the way to Orca, especially without flashlight. No need to risk it, even though we are at full fatigue, at full condition. Why bother? It's still the same one. Ooh, where is he?
right. What's on the radio? Some piano music. Surrounded by snow. Okay, what am I supposed to do now? Probably one day to like repair the transmitter and everything. Oh, the naughty list. See, I totally forgot about that command, yeah. I mean, loops never coming of it, let's be honest. <laughs> you miss Purr? Yeah, me too, me too. Sometimes people just disappear off Twitch, right? And they just don't come back. Same with Vika and Ash. And a bunch of people. Yeah, I hope Vika and Aim are having fun. Exactly, exactly. Alright, I think I'm just gonna wait until the blizzard ends. Maybe sleep a little bit. You were contemplating doing that. No, BB-8, please, no. Don't do that. Cats talk to down. Good, good. Don't you dare. <laughs> yeah, don't you dare, BB-8. I, uh, I see nothing. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna need some stickies for this. I just want to see something, you know, just just start a fire for that reason alone. I mean, where where can I go now? I, I'm a little confused where to go. Because we need to fix the transmitter, but then we have a whole day. Um, I'm gonna check if I if I uh, brought all the bear stuff with me already. Maybe we can do some crafting in the HRV trailer. I guess that sounds like a plan. Yeah, let's do that. Probably gonna take some... Uh... Oh, I need a second pot though. Where's my pot? Pot, come on. Where's the pot? There it is. Now we can go. Perlot because he got a two-week ban and then didn't want to come back. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't even know what he got banned for, but yeah. Like, sometimes Twitch just hands out bans. Burnout puts you in a, a weird spot, hence the mod break. Well, just take it easy, BBA. Just take it easy. You're a, you're a VIP princess now. Yeah, touch grass daily. Take it easy. An offensive jog, okay, yeah. Which often doesn't mess around with that stuff. VIP 8 princess. When you feel like that, you just do an E3 day. Yeah, yeah. Or just, just, you know, just, just... Don't, don't, uh... The important thing is to not... Oh, okay. To not... Do the thing that stresses you out. So if it's like modding and being too engaged, then yeah. Just stay a VIP. No pressure. 
I mean, Sarah's doing a great job as a mod, right? She's 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 great anyway. She has things covered for now. <laughs> Savage my head. No pressure, of course, Sarah. No pressure. Yeah, there's the Clippy. There's our favorite Clippy. Now there's so many good ones, you know. We could we could have so many. Yes, image your head because of that command. Oh, okay, okay. What's wrong, Loopy? <laughs> Loopy does her best too. Oh, yeah. I was waiting for that, you know. I was waiting for that. <laughs> when I praised Sarah, I was waiting for you to say something. <laughs> yes, yes. Loopy, Loopy does her best too. Okay. It's really hard with you, you know. Because when I'm nice to you, you're like, Ew, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> and when I don't say anything, then you're like, eh, look at Rasher Bash too. You are impossible to please, you know that. <laughs> yeah, we have the loop comment too, come on. We need to add some clippy there. We, ne we need to attach some loopy clippy. <laughs> What's that? Well, to be fair, that's that's a that's a comment you added yourself. But then I slightly modified it so that it was more acceptable. Because you praised yourself a bit too much in that command, so I had to, you know, I I, I needed to make it a bit more balanced. <laughs> You know that you're impossible to please. Exactly. I already understood it a long time ago, yeah. So I, I don't I don't put effort into it because I can't win, you know. And I don't like games I can't win. What am I missing? Oh, an arrow shaft. Okay. The second part is where you were okay with the first one of that command. Yeah, because you wrote the first one. Of course, you wrote the first one. Come on. I, I had to add the second one to balance it, you know. Without the second part, I would never be able to... to keep that command. Just absolutely not. It was just too much. Mm, I wish I had some leather here. Because I need to do some repairs. I could repair the mittens. I don't have any cloth at all. But I could repair the mittens at least. Yeah, 80%. 80 we have some pelt, we have some guts. So let's repair the mittens. Plus 36. Let's do this. This version sounds like sincerely nice. Ew. There she is again, see? See? This is why I never 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 said anything about the mod thing. You're going uh, again. <laughs> Just okay, too nice. Okay, okay, fine. Whatever. I'm just not gonna say anything. How heavy am I? I'm quite heavy. And that's without the battery. Without the battery. Can you believe that? Where's, what do I have on me? Oh, it's still the meat. No, the meat I kind of want to take to the HRV trailer. Is that where we're gonna go next? Is it just me, or do I keep getting just three weather types today? It's always just sunny, blizzard, or 
Aurora. Like, always those three. I mean, two of them are okay, but the Blizzards... Less so. Sometimes you're afraid that despite being a dog person, you might actually be a cat. I mean... You could be both a cat and a dog person at the same time, right? There's this stereotype that cats hate dogs, typically, but sometimes they get along quite well. Give me attention. Oh, no, ew, attention. Go away. Yeah, yeah. Cats tend to like people who ignore them, right? Like, there, there's, there's like one person who keeps uh, trying to pet the cat, and the cat always keeps getting away. And then the cat just sits in the lap of somebody who tries to ignore her. <laughs> like, ah, give me attention. Yeah, that's basically cats. <laughs> They're crazy, yes, yes. Very hard to read. And I tend to be the kind of a person that like ignores a cat, you know, like... Sure, I would love to pet it, but I tend to just ignore it. So it, usually the cats just... Just... Uh, Try to like remind me of their presence. Like, hello, I'm here. But I think I'm more of a dog person too. I don't know. <laughs> Considering heading out later today, it's Mother's Day tomorrow, and you agreed to go spend day with your sister and her daughter while your parents are out for dinner. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Be a nice family day. Matches, matchless and forgeless, your achievements mean nothing. Welcome in, Apla. Oh, hope you're doing well. Thank you for the follow. To be honest, we did forge once recently, but we only did it for the hatchet. We still keep the no uh, no arrowheads and no knives restriction. We just forged the hatchet because we don't have any other way to to get one, and we want to explore HR fully. Potentially, maybe get a cartographer. Uh, achievement on, on this uh, run. Despite having 3000 hours in this game, I never finished that achievement, so... It would be nice to have, but yeah, I need to be able to access every location in the game. And that's not possible without a hatchet, so... I did allow myself to forge one improvised hatchet just, uh, just for this alone. But... Other than that, we are forgeless. Oh, that guy is close. I still have... I don't have meat on me. I need to take this, but that will make me heavy. How heavy exactly? I'm not that heavy, actually. And we have time. We have time. It's all good. We can maybe take a nap now. We're uh, trying to repair the transmitter now, so... I should have all the... Yeah, we have more than enough. Oh, we have enough for two transmitters, even. We're fine. So maybe I'm just gonna take like three hours. I think we're gonna get a blizzard to be honest. We keep getting blizzards today, but let's see. Let's see. You would love to have a cat, but you just love how cute and friendly and loyal dogs are. You know, cats can be like this too, but still. Yeah, like yeah, it, it really depends, right? Like some some cats and dogs are very 
typical of their species sometimes You were thinking about buying them both a box of chocolates. You got your mom something in unison, but still. One from you to your mom and a box uh, to your sister from her daughter. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that sounds like a good idea, yeah. I think you should go for that. Mother's Day was last Sunday. You're not in the same country. Yeah, that is interesting, though, right? Like, it's... Uh... I thought it would be, like, international. I'm not that heavy. Words that can be uttered both at the doctor's office and in TLD. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's much easier to lose weight uh, in TLD, right? At least temporarily. Like, I can just drop 15 kilos like this. <laughs> and suddenly I'm good carry. weight. That's nice. Alright, now we have to bring all of this uh, to the transmitter. And I think we're just gonna repair it, yeah. And then we need to find... Uh, the the caches, right? I forgot where the caches are in Mountain Town, to be honest. I know I'm loot table 2, but I don't know where. I think there are just two caches. There should be just a generic cache, and there should be one, like, specialist cache, yeah. Uh, I think one was near Orca, but I don't know where the other one is. Uh, we'll see. The problem is we do not have radio on this, on this uh, run yet, right? This is... Still before Interloper had uh, access to the radio. So that's going to be a little interesting. Wait, I never looted this? Really? That is interesting. Sensory, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're having a good weekend. You got your mom that uh, Georg Jensen Henry Koppel thermometer. Yeah, 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 yeah. You mentioned that yesterday. I still don't know what it is, but but slay. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I'm sure she's gonna love it. Always the second Sunday in May. Oh, okay. I always preferred holidays that were like a set date, you know, rather than like a second day of whichever month, because then it keeps moving. Near church and near crash plane were uh, lots of rabbits, but that's loot table too. Wait, no, I think we have it near the near the bear, right? Because uh, the caches depend on on the loot table. So uh, I'm I need to know the exact location. I'm actually gonna have to check my own guide because we do not have the radio. Like we have no way to find the cache, right? We literally need to know where exactly the spot is i think i remember the cache near the bear now like it's right in front of the bear cave more or less so i think i'll be able to find that one but i don't remember the orca one and i remember like watching my own video on it and it was uh it's all sped up in the video so it's really hard to see unfortunately i should have uh showed it more clearly i think in the video but yeah Yeah, that must be table 3. Um, I, uh, I think, like, I probably know loot table 2 because it's my favorite loot table anyway. I didn't bring any charcoal, so I cannot even map this vista. Okay, I am going to drop some stuff just in case there's some kind of a bug or whatever. I just want to keep these uh, to the minimum to the stuff that we need. This, right? 3 and 2. That should be all we need. So we're gonna repair the transmitter now. So there's the battery. Near bear and near gas station. Yeah, yeah, between gas station and the bus, yeah. Yeah, there's like this little forest there, right? It's going to be a little tricky to find, but... Hopefully it's going to be quick. Uh, do I have my flashlight? I do. I absolutely need the flashlight for the Aurora. That glitchy flashlight we found in the old Memento. 
normally we can't have that on interloper but uh yeah i love the flashlight it's it's it makes auras much more convenient This animation is a bit too long. Yeah, this this scrap metal one. All of the other ones are okay, but this scrap metal one is like 15 seconds. What something? Mike Hucker, welcome and thank you for the follow. Okay, perfect. Must not forget to switch it on. It happened to me once. During a tournament, forgot to switch it on, then I was wondering why I couldn't find any of the caches. That was really sad. I'm picking this up. Okay, this is all search. I'm pretty sure this call respawn. It's been a while since we've been here, so. Should have a fresh pile of coal here. I still have a couple hours, so like. Yeah, some time to kill. I guess I should have uh, brought some charcoal with me. I could theoretically go back down to Grey Mothers. Actually, we need to do it anyway, right? Okay, it's fine. What the hell? When did I leave this in here? I guess I must have been really over encumbered. Must have been a while. Yeah, this cave should have some coal. I can already see it. Oh, look at all this coal. Beautiful. Beautiful. Can you be attacked by animals during repair animation? You can, you can. It happened to me once in Pleasant Valley. I got mauled by an aurora bear there. <laughs> it was not nice. <laughs> yeah, you can get you can get mauled by bears at least. I don't know about the other animals, but I assume it's very similar. Maybe okay. We, we could harvest these into sticks. We don't really need them. Yay, coal! How much did we find? Six. That's nice. That's nice. Really solid. But yeah, this location should be safe. Uh, there is no wolf spawn in the transmitter area in Mountain Town. There is that one wolf spawn near Plane Crash, but it's up a row steep climb, so... This area is theoretically safe. This game is actually a really nice base when you think about it. It's a little bit of a pain to get to, but this is completely predator free. This little area between the rosy climbs. And you have some respawning coal here. No cabin fever, right? If only it was a bit more accessible. Still, I can probably take one hour of a nap here. Hopefully the wind will die and the weather should change soon, even if we're about to get a blizzard, it doesn't really matter. Because a couple hours from now, we should be getting clear skies. Since we are guaranteed an aurora tonight, after repairing the transmitter. It's like it's still snowing, but uh, yeah, this is great weather. Great weather right now. Infinity for six? Huh? What do you mean, infinity for six? Let's take all the stickies. I'm not sure why I have them. I must have been encumbered the last time. Yeah, it's been a while since I came through here. Probably didn't even have the backpack. There is a shortcut to prepper cache. Yeah, like from this side, yeah. It, it's a bit of a difficult... Uh, difficult gold. But I know you can get to the prepper cache from here. I think there might actually be an easier way if you build a rock cache. Like, that might be a lot simpler. It's, it should be possible without the rock cache too, but uh, yeah. I don't really care about the prepper caches anyway, because we are on vanilla loper, right? So the caches never have anything in them. And even, even the recipe, right? This is still the version without the recipes, so... I don't really care too much about about the uh, caches. Oh, wait, I didn't even know there was one birch spawn here. That's kind of nice. May as well take that. I am wondering if I should uh, bother checking the plane crash because I've already been there. I'm pretty sure I got the stem. But we have a little bit more time to kill. Maybe we're just gonna do some uh, 
Yeah, maybe I could uh, map the vista actually, like we have the time for it. And by the time the sun sets, we're gonna get an aurora anyway. So maybe let me just loot whatever we have in here. Looks like I didn't pick up any of these raw sips. Or maybe they regrew when I updated the game. That should not be happening, but sometimes it does. Okay, it's Minecraft stuff, of course. Yeah, yeah. You guys keep confusing me. Not difficult when you know where to start. Yeah, I guess it's just because I never done it. Yeah, I guess it's not too much. But yeah, that, that's a pretty useful go to to do. Like, I should learn it at some point. Probably not gonna bother with it now. Maybe once we want to visit the cache. Can be kind of nice. Okay, that's that's the path towards the wolfie. Wasn't there like a way to go? another cave here i think it was elsewhere i always forget where that spot is oh this might be it actually yeah this is a cave that is super super easy to miss a lot of people don't know about it this little spot in here this would be a good screeny too good interloper screeny you're making so many demands and bb8 is doing all the work yeah, yeah, you don't mind. I, I mean, yeah. It's supposed to be fun, right? Yeah, there's the cave. It's kind of a hidden cave here. I think it might have some... Uh, some coal in it, too. No? Oh, one! This is, yeah, this is a super old, super small cave, actually. Are we even warm here? Minus 25... No, we are not. So this cave is just like uh, an outer, outer portion of the cave. You can even go deeper. This must be like a really, really old cave back when guys were this tiny. This, there, there's only one cave like this, I think, right? Like right by the plane crash. I think this is a dead end. I, I'm not sure if you can go this. I feel like there's an invisible barrier. This would be another shortcut over here. Not as useful for... Uh, for the whole... Yeah, this this is a barrier, sadly. Because then you could get to the... To the bridge, right? But yeah. This is the dead end area, sadly. Kind of useless. And maybe they planned to... Branch this out somewhere else. But then they decided against it. Yeah, Mountain Olive is full of these weird, uh, weird turns. Like, there's this... Crashed truck, right? Past the collapsed tunnel. Okay, I'm gonna go the slow way. <laughs> Not going that. That looks like a blizzard again. Yeah, but we need to get an aurora now. So it shouldn't take much longer. Yeah, the aurora should be starting. But we won't be able to search the caches until the aurora is like fully powered. So maybe we're gonna take another nap. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to Grey Mothers. Then I'm gonna go back here, maybe map this, and then I'm gonna take the map. That sounds like a plan. Do I have my improvised hatchet? I do. And I should probably leave yeah, I, I just want to add them in my inventory because we are too heavy. Let's just drop everything at Grey Mothers, everything we don't need. 
So we are ready for this aura and for the cash hunt. I want to get both of the caches and then I want to make it to HRV and at least get the bunker. Bare minimum. Oh my god, why are those wolves right in front of Grey Matters? They just love to annoy me, I guess. I just feel like killing out the entire pack, to be honest. They're gonna be a problem during an Aurora, maybe. Oh, he already aggroed. Bruh, come on. There he comes. Okay. Okay, drop all of this. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this. Keep the water. What else can I leave here? Like uh, a bunch of stuff for sure. I can leave. I'm gonna leave it outside. Like quality tools. I definitely don't need to bring that with me. Quality tools. Probably the hooks, even though. Yeah. Uh, we, we just don't have any cloth, so we don't really need the... Here, wolf. He's so close. <laughs> He's like right on the porch, I think. I could definitely hear the footsteps. Okay, I think I just need to drop one stone. Maybe... Take this charcoal with me, but not all of it. It's too, too much, too much, too much, too much. I can take like two maybe. Two is fine. And are these small stakes? Any of these? This one is small, I can eat this. There we go. Probably is outside, but I need to be careful. Your brain right now is uh, full of the Pedro, Pedro, Pedro meme. I don't even know which one you mean. <laughs> oh! I saw him. Oh man, this blizzard. Annoying. See, we, we, we were about to get another blizzard, but we're gonna get an aurora instead, so it's fine. It should end any moment. I'm just gonna hide. Actually, you know what, maybe... Maybe this is a change of plans. We're just gonna keep going this way. Since we got this freaking annoying blizzard. I'm gonna go straight to the Orca station, and I'm just gonna wait there.
Very silly clip of a raccoon dancing to a song. Ooh, raccoon! <laughs> that reminds me of Sarah running over a raccoon in Sons of the Forest. Raccoon! <laughs> <laughs> you love raccoons. Yeah, you clearly love them to bits, Sarah. <laughs> hey, stop following me. Can this weather end already? What the frick? Can't We're scheduled in Aurora. What is this? I'm gonna sleep two hours. And when I wake up, I want to see an Aurora, okay? There we go. It should be... Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Buffer memory. It doesn't even look like a buffer memory from there, but there we go. And now we just need to find it, right? This is going to be a little tricky. I may even have to refer to my own guide. Because I really don't know the exact spot. Like, I think it's uh, past this rock somewhere. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it right. It's over here, right? Like, right by this forest, maybe? The one you liked on TikTok back in 2023 didn't have the Pedro song. I missed a freaking sapling there. Okay, like it should be around here, but I, I think it's going to be very difficult to just run into it. It's highly unlikely that I get it that way. Let's try for a bit, but I think I will have to refer to my own guide. We have no radio. Oh, oh, oh. I think I found it. Okay. It wasn't that bad, maybe. Wait a second. A second. Ah. Huh? Ah, got you. Hmm. Thank you, Gordon. Okay, a bunch of marine flares, of course. Nothing too impressive. But that's just what we get in Loper. So this is the first mountain town cash down. Now the second one is basically on the other side of the freaking map, so it's gonna go around. How much water do I have? Two liters, that should be enough. Uh, do I have my pots? I do, perfect. You have 856 points BB-8, yeah. But you also have 550k of the other points, right? Of the screenshot points. I think I hear a wolfie, yeah, there, one, there was one. I'm going to turn on my flashlight here, just in case something attacks me from the side. Sometimes easy to see, uh, hard to see. In this town. Yeah, there's one, it already got scared without me having to do anything. But yeah, we know there's a pack here, so need to be careful. Yeah, we'll do the screeny now. We're gonna go into Grey Mothers real quick. Uh, what do I want to drop? 
Probably wanna take like extra meat with me, honestly. Let's take it to HRE. And I'm going to drop some stuff in here real quick. Just gonna drop some marine flares we found, right? Marine flares, drop all of this. And uh, what do I want to do? This stick probably, right? The rest we are going to take with us, yeah, perfect. The rest, take one more water, maybe. And yeah, ready to go. Looking like a horror game, yeah, pretty spooky. We're gonna take a quick break with the screen, you know. So, what can I give you now? I'm starting to run out even, even of the hard ones. <laughs> okay, let's see what you do with this one. Wait, where is it? There it is. Somebody's making a pork roast somewhere in the neighborhood and it smells too good. Oh man. Man, I think I can smell it from here. Uh, <laughs> it's that good. Okay, emote only on. Think where this is. Where this could potentially be. It's a pretty distinct location, so yeah, this is going to be interesting, I guess. Okay, you can start guessing. What the freak? Zone of contamination in the main building in the concentrator? Nope. Zone of Contamination, Back Entrance, Langston Mine, Nope. Newman and Martin, welcoming guys. <laughs> this is incredible. I'm gonna watch the clip in the meantime while you guys are guessing. <laughs> You've never been there. I mean, maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Blackrock, maybe. Tunnel in prison. Nope. Happy weekend, happy weekend. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Just looked in your freezer and found out you still got Cheva Psitsi. Oh. That sounds good. <laughs> Zone of contamination lake in that sort of mine. There's a wooden structure under this. I, I, I was uh, thinking somebody would, would be guessing that loop, yeah. That's a good guess, yeah, but that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. <laughs> Sarah, help. Yeah, Sarah is not even guessing. I'm hurt. I'm hurt, Sarah. You already got sirloin steak. Oh, yeah, that's sirloin steak. Oh, yeah. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> now I'm hungry again. Blackrock, mine with toxic gas. Um, yes, yes, that's it, yeah. I, I was hoping to, to hear specifically, this is the area where the note is, you know, to unlock the, the, uh, uh, the workbench, the, the gunsmithing workbench. But this is the Blackrock mine, yeah. Uh, there's basically this shaft, right? This, this shaft that, where you can just fold your death, and this is basically what's there when you look up. Yeah, this was quite tricky, yeah. So I'm gonna accept Blackrock Mine, even though if it was not like super specific, but uh, a little tricky, so GG.
Balkan street food. It's pretty popular here. Oh, nice. See, I'm, I'm uh, not uh, very well versed on street food. I should try out more stuff. Okay, back to the horror game now, I guess. <laughs> oh, let's see. So, still, one more cash to get in Mountain Town. But we did kill the bear, so it shouldn't cause any more problems. Fortunately. There's one. There's one wolfie right there. Yeah, easy way to deal with the wolf is with the flashlight. That flashlight really trivializes Aurora's. And we should be safe of wolves here, I think. So I'm going to turn off my flashlight so I don't drain the whole battery. Uh, that sounded like a wolf. That's definitely a wolf. But why is it fleeing? He's acting super weird. Uh, maybe he got scared of my coat. But he was quite far. That was strange. Uh, okay, I think I'm gonna go all the way there. Okay, I think I'm gonna run into him anyway. Probably gonna meet him here. There he is. I do smell, so... I just need to expect the wolves running into me. Just how it's gonna be. that mm, no we should be near the bear right the second one should be near the bear I could verify real quick I mean why the hell not just so we don't spend some uh, time walking around when we don't have to yeah it's like yeah it's basically spruce fall bridge okay this one should not be difficult to find That's at least two walls ahead of us. But I can see them, I can still conserve the battery for a little bit longer.
Okay, they seem a little buggy though. He's running away. Okay. Wow. My bear code must be looking real scary then. Keeps scaring even Aurora wolves. Too bad they keep running that way. That's a little unfortunate though. I flashed that uh, high beam a little bit too late there. <laughs> Almost got me. Little empty miscalled. Oh, did you say hello, Sarah? Sometimes you need to get closer to them to truly scare them. I prefer doing that over just having them stop because Aurora Wolves have a huge charger and so he'll just charge me again anyway. Pretty sure I checked all of this car for batteries already, but just in case, okay. Alright, so you should be somewhere around here. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Walked right into it. This oh, a flare gun. That's that's a sweet find, right? I mean, we. I don't know, I have like one flare gun, so that's kind of cute. Didn't say hi. She's only three and she was busy telling you about Peppa Pig. Of course, of course. Uh, Peppa Pig takes priority, right? No need to explain any further. And that's it for Mountain Town, we're gonna go straight to HRV at this point. And I think I can eat like one meat, yeah. So we smell a little bit less. Weigh a little bit less. Come here. Let's deal with this. Nice, they are both running away. How sweet of them. You got so much Peppa Pig stuff for her birthday. Custom made the rock clothes and a huge doll. You sound jealous, Sarah. Should we buy some uh, some Peppa Pig's uh, doll? The part theme was uh, Peppa Pig too. <laughs> HRV, you're gonna learn so much. Yes, yes, pay attention. You're gonna go to HRV soon, right? HRV is such a nice region. But I'm only going there a second time. Basically the first time since I spawned there. It's not a real region that, uh, that's like the, the ideal one for, for staying there forever because it's on the edge of the map. And it's like missing a, work, a workbench, all that stuff, so... 
Yeah, like it has its flaws, but it's the perfect starting region. The loot is amazing there for Loper. So, like, that's why it pays off to know it. Let me not forget all of this supplies I left in here. Now we can go. HRV time. Leave Milton region. You got a doll for her. You could have just bought an extra one for you. Yes, but it feels different when someone else buys it for you, right? And this is the infinite coal cave, right? Loopy used to have infinite coal in here. I, I think it was a lighter version though, so... I don't know if it was already bugged on this one, but I'm going to pay attention. I'm going to pick up all the coal I can find here. And then we'll see if we get any more on our way back. So far I see zero coal though. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> okay, there's one. Okay, who? One. Okay, there's three more. Oh. It looked really weird when I had no coal in here, but... I guess I just got spawns a bit further in the cave. Wait, what? I didn't pick it up before? What? How did I miss that? Oh! 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 Look at this! Wonder if I can drop oh, any of this gear. Yes! Oh! Oh! How much was that? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so much coal. I like that. I like that. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Uh, sticks are not that great, but we found like 15 coal in one spot. I guess it's clearly duplicated. You got two more wolf pelts. Wolf coal in like eight days now. Any way to cure stuff faster? Unfortunately, there is not. Yeah. No way to cure stuff faster. You simply just have to wait it out. Don't start HRV, goading is a whole lie, so many deaths. Now you need to you need to look, learn the the good routes where goading is oh look at this again. How many? That was three. Okay. So we started at 20. Twelve call. <laughs> Missed another stacked call. We're gonna get it on our way back, it's fine. I'm already encumbered. Oh, yes, infinite coal cave. <laughs> Did you have a coal gasm? Pretty much, pretty much. Oh, yes, another one. Oh, it's coming. Oh, yes. Uh, this one was not that great, though. Only like five or six. Oh, man. <laughs> you need to go here ASAP. Yes, you do. You do, Sarah. Go to HRV ASAP. Walk with this much gear. You think that's bad? I saw someone pick up three duped hunting rifles all on top of each other. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The rifles used to be bugged. Um, that was the variants that used to be bugged. Unfortunately, we won't get that because we are on... Loper. But, yeah. I'm, I'm happy with this. Yeah, even the sticks. I mean, that's still nice. May as well take these two. Leave them all here. Okay, uh, you know what? I want to take this outside, like, uh, I don't know. You were taking it outside, right, Loopy? I don't remember what you were doing, but I think you were dropping it outside. Just in case it affects the duping thingy, we're gonna take it right outside and drop it outside. Also, let me drink before I go. <laughs> Thank you for the clippy. You would have schooled so loudly if you got three rifles in one. Yeah, that used to be a bug. I mean, theoretically it's possible because you play on Steam, so like you could down patch the version. I think they already fixed it on the current version, so you're probably not gonna get it with, with uh, your version, but yeah, who knows. I'm gonna leave all of this in here, right? No reason to take it with me. So, HRE. So, Sarah, this is the entrance region, right? This is like the first part. This one is pretty easy to figure out. I think we're gonna get the bunker first. Wait, I need to figure out when my where my caches are in HRV. Like, obviously there's the guaranteed one in the plane. That one is always there, right? Then there's one... Okay, th there's one like near the ice cave. Uh, we're gonna get that one later. Okay, so I have a rough idea of how I want to do this. So first we're going to get the bunker. That's also the most important one anyway. So let's get it out of the way. We still have plenty of time. Weather's still solid, minus five. So everything's great. Hopefully the wind doesn't pick up. Yeah, you dropped it outside. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to check... 
if my cave is also bugged on my way back. I really hope it is. <laughs> Bunker to the left. Yes, yes. Uh, if you if you mean the the signal void bunker, you've never seen anyone go this way before, really. This is my preferred way, actually. I don't like going straight. This is my preferred way, <laughs> but it depends. I tend to. Make my main base. Oh, I didn't even... Oh, we have so much stuff to harvest here. We're gonna spend a little bit of time in HRV, that's for sure. I might not get everything I want in HRV in one night, but for now, let's keep moving. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with the kettles now. Let's just, let's just go. Let's do the Aurora stuff first. We still have four spots to hit, so I don't think we'll be able to do it in a single night. Maybe if the aura truly lasts until sunrise. This is a scripted aura, so it's not impossible. Especially since we got it a bit late, right? The blizzard kept going until until slightly past sunset even, so... We, we have a good chance of having the aura until sunrise. Let's see. But yeah, this is super easy, actually. If you're trying to do signal void and are, like, scared of HRV, then this... This path is completely predator-free. There's never any wolves in here. There's only rabbits. There could be wolves, like, here by the lake, but you only need to stay on the left side. And the bunker's, like, really close here, so... Chances are you will not run into any predators in HRV, so... It's pretty safe to pop in for... For signal void only, as long as you stay to the left here. Now, the bears have probably respawned by now, <laughs> so we could run into aura bears, but they are not in this area, so we're fine. But we are going to go past one pretty soon, and it's gonna be interesting. Hopefully it doesn't charge us. If it is, uh, it's going to be tricky. So, yeah, we're here. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Like, the bunkers are in... Uh, relatively safe locations, except the PV1. The PV1 is near a guaranteed bear spawn, so you're gonna possibly have to deal with an Aurora bear there. So yeah, this is it. This is the hatch. Very close to the entrance. And this is the only workbench in HRV. There was never any workbench in here before they added the bunker. And we're not supposed to be here, right? This is... We have no signal void. <laughs> Nothing. This is interloper before we got the radio. So, in order to not bug out the signal void thingy, we must not pick up any of the signal void related nodes. There's the fuses. There should also be one set of wires I'm looking for. The fuses are very important though, because that's the real bottleneck for us. There's the workbench, yeah, the work only workbench in HRV. Okay, anything else for me in here? Metal is amazing, actually. We are always low on metal, I'm really glad to see this in here. Okay, this is the stuff we do not want to pick up. We don't want to bug out our progress. We're gonna get back to that later. There's the wires. Okay, so we got all the wires. And... Spray paint. Okay, that's useless, but whatever. Might as well take it. This is probably going to be all empty. I don't even know if this stuff uh, has any loot on interloper. But let's check. Ruined soda, okay. I guess that's it. Let's go a little deeper. Maybe we're gonna get some canned corn. That we're still not supposed to have. This is also stuff we don't want to pick up. Not ruined soda, okay. Can you find Omega Bunker this way? No, no, no. Uh, they actually... Okay, there's the canned corn. Can still eat this. They already patched the ability to find stuff without having the radio. So, like, on current version, you cannot do this at all. But even on this version, we are unable to find the Omega Bunker because, unfortunately, that one is tied to the mission progress, right? It's scripted. 
Like you can't even uh, open, you can't even find the the patch of snow until you advance to the last stage of signal void. Bandage, that is useful. Yay, non-potable water, amazing. Dysentery in a bottle. Okay, so you only found one canned corn. That's that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. But yeah, it's pretty sad we cannot find the Omega Bunker because we would be able to obtain the rifle holster that way, right? <laughs> Before they despawned it. It would be a pretty cool trophy to have, right? We cannot get any rifles. A book! And a book. Okay, and that's it. That's basically it <laughs> for the bunker. We're keeping the rest here. We're gonna have to return once we actually want to complete the tail. Oh, I missed this. Okay, empty as usual. Ooh, never, never saw that crate before, but whatever. We don't, we don't care about breaking stuff down anyway. Let's just go. Yes, a book. Okay, uh, now we're gonna get the caches. This is going to be a little trickier. Uh, wait, let me check the exact spawn of this cache because I am still unsure. I need to know exactly where this thing is. I know it's like near a cave, but it's not really telling me much. Okay, this spot doesn't seem too bad. It's like near near some uh, old man's beard tree. The real problem is there's a bear in our path, so I should be careful here <laughs> because my battery is getting a little low. I better be careful. Okay. We're still safe until we cross the river, like, the, the bear is mostly on the other side of the river. Okay, I'm just gonna be doing some tap crouching there. Do I have any stones? I have two stones. I may need something to distract him. Because if we get the bear, I just need to be able to get up on a cliff or something. And deal with him real quick somehow. Hopefully we don't just bump into him though. I'm gonna start tap crouching here already. Just in case. Okay. Now, slightly more intense step crouching, especially here. Because the bear can get like all the way over here. If you are super unlucky, the bear could be here and charge us. Uh, Aura bears have a huge charge range, so... Yeah, the sooner I know where he is, the better. It tends to be over on that side, but... I'm just gonna hug the wall here. We still have the balls, like we could do an emergency dance, there is no wind anyway, but you know, aura bears, so like seven arrows might not be enough to take him down in a dance. <laughs> I would really have to try and aim for the head. But in a dance the head is pretty easy to miss. So there's the bear cave. Yeah, emergency dance, yeah, like it's when you don't plan it, you know. <laughs> And with aura bears it's typically not planned because it's just a waste of resources, right? You get the same bear killed, but it costs you like twice as many arrows. So ideally he just doesn't come near me. I don't see him at all though. Where is the bear? I still do not see him. It's slightly worrisome. Like he could be past the seal too. hear any bear noises either. Where the frick is he?
Yeah, it doesn't seem to be here. Huh? Hmm. Strange. This is not very goat friendly. Hopefully, I can go off this. I usually don't take this path because I don't. I don't worry about crossing an aurora bear here. You know, this is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This looks. This looks quite quite goatable. Should be fine. Okay. And we should be past bear territory here. Though we do smell, I just realized. Ooh. We still smell. I'm actually surprised we didn't run into any wolves at all. Or the bear. Despite smelling. I'm going to turn on my flashlight here. Where's all the wolves? This is so strange. Working around acorn trees. Yeah, I, I wonder if my smell confused him. Could have happened. I'm gonna drop all the meat and eat one of them because we have some space. Greedy cat, welcome in. How's it going? If he despawns before dying, do the arrows in him despawn as well? Or are they left behind like when a corpse despawns? I am actually not sure with Aurora Bears, yeah. I think Kimi recently scienced out that if you shoot arrows into a moose and he despawns during an aurora, then you get the arrows back once he spawns back, which is pretty cool. Okay, there's the cache, we found it. That's cool. I think it's just going to be a bunch of marine flirts again. That's like most most of these uh, caches, they're the same, yeah. Okay. But yeah, I, I imagine it's similar with the bear, but I'm not sure. Good, getting ready to leave work. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So you can enjoy the rest of your day. Hope your workday wasn't too bad. My fingers feel numb. You would go somewhere with a nice beach, maybe Turkey or Mallorca. Mm, yeah. I was thinking Cyprus recently, but... I don't think I'm gonna go on a vacation this year. We'll see. Oh, okay, that, that was a wolf. I can already hear him. So next, oh, two, nice, amazing. If you could not charge me, that would be great. But I'm going to turn on my flashlight here regardless, because this hilly terrain is uh, making me feel not super confident. Okay, and we're at the ice cave. This is the ice cave entrance I like the most. So cold in my but this life. is the ice cave without sketches, so we have nothing to worry about. You need to rent a car in Cyprus. I guess it depends on the vacation, yeah, but like if I was going to Cyprus, I would kind of want to see the whole island. Oh, look, we have some cured saplings here. Nice. I think I'm going to leave some meat here. I don't need to carry all this heavy stuff with me. Just do that real quick. Just gonna take one steak with me. Pretty is also good. You wonder if they still have the doll store. What doll store? <laughs> what doll store do you mean? Oh, let's drop the book. Sorry, Sarah, I need to leave it here. We're just gonna leave it here where it's safe. Okay? Oh, so those dolls... Like, from your childhood, they're from Crete. Yeah, this was this was the curves that had the stem. I'm just checking, just in case it didn't respawn. Imagine that. This was the backpack that had my climbing socks. Uh, good times. Good times. Could check some dead ends for some extra coal, maybe, but... Like we, oh, we don't have much time. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get everything anyway. We have like a couple hours. Let's keep going, but if I even get the one cache near Monolith Lake, I'll be quite happy with that. Let me just verify it like near Monolith Lake because I'm not even sure. I definitely don't want to miss 
this. We still have a couple hours, so like it should be possible to reach this one at least. Yeah, so like right right near Monolith, like okay, not too bad, not too bad. We should be able to find that. Let's keep going. You bought them in a store there while on a vacation. How old were you? I thought you had them like since you were really young. Sarah's dolls are cute. But the little one's legs has to be adjusted. Yeah, I don't understand why people are giving you crap for for them being creepy, to be honest. I mean, they're just normal dolls, right? They're cute. Oh, look at you, hidden call there. Sneaky hidden call, you think you can get away from me? Absolutely not. They're not creepy, come on. They're normal dolls. Jeez. Poor Sarah. What's Dynamic Island? Okay, we have maybe two hours until the aura ends. Well, at most two hours. It could end earlier. Humors <laughs> wouldn't get it. Cool apple stuff. That's that's a contradiction right there. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant some actual island, but you mean a tech product or something. Okay, I think my old friend Hamlin could be in here. So I better keep my flashlight on at all times. It's a very tight space. Looks like he didn't spawn, okay. That's really nice of him. Cool island. It can be an actual island, right? I mean, dynamic island. That, that's that's a. Uh... Too much of a modern name for an island, you know? Like, it's, uh... Like, if it was that that island, like, one of those man-made islands, like, in Dubai, I, I couldn't believe it, otherwise, not so sure. Okay, now, where the frick is this cache? I still have a little bit of time. Come on, little cache, where are you? Come on, little cache. Where are you? Over here, maybe. Over here, no. Man, where are you? Where's my cash?
Okay, I need to I need to check this specific spot because I have no clue. I have no clue. Where is it? So it's it's like past the log somewhere. So like past this log over here. Oh, this headwind though. This headwind. It's gonna be in here somewhere, but I don't know where. Oh, there it is. Yeah, this one was tricky to find. Ah, someone's stash. A pry bar, poly tools, whetstone. Okay, <laughs> fine. I guess I'll take it. I don't think I'll be able to get to the last cache. That's that's the plane crash, but it's like on the other side of the map, right? So I don't think that's gonna happen. I think we're gonna have to do that in another Aurora at some point. I probably use Android. I do BB-8, I do. <laughs> I don't like paying 1000 euros for a freaking phone I'll use for two minutes, you know? Yeah, I have two minutes of daily screen time. <laughs> Die if I didn't warm up soon. Honestly, I wish I could just have like a a number, you know. <laughs> That's why I use your so much. Can let those 1340 euros go to waste. Oh, look at you flexing. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Is it a flex? I don't know. I would rather spend that money elsewhere, but you know, touch their own. Use your phone a lot, might as well get something with quality that makes you happy when you see it. Yeah, I just feel like it's not worth the money for me, so yeah, I, I don't unbother. I still feel like I paid too much for my phone. It was like 500 bucks when I when I bought it, but like, I don't, I don't need that either, you know, <laughs> I need something that works, so still. Sadly, it looks like I didn't get any extra loot here, it's still the same crap. This thing's been already looted before. Uh, I could stay here. I mean, it's pretty warm. It's pretty warm. And maybe in the morning we get a moosey. If we get lucky. So let's try it. Yeah, because we're not gonna get... What? Okay. We're not going to get... To the other side of the map in one hour. I'm just gonna do like two hours, uh, hopefully we get Magdalene's weather and the moose, let's see. You don't really know what to spend your money on, so you save it a little at a time and then you use it on expensive things like iPhone and a new PC, yeah. Yeah, like, if you don't know what to do with your money, you may as well save it, right? Like, you can never have too much money, of course. So, did we get the moosey? I don't actually see the moose marks, ooh. The weather is nice, but there are no moose marks, right? Well, that's bad, because we're probably gonna have the stupid, stupid moose down the rope. I really hate that moose. I really don't like that moose at all. Yeah, we don't have the marking. I think this large tree usually is marked. So that's pretty bad, yeah. That sucks. I'm gonna sleep a little more until it's... Warmer. Like, fog is nice, but... 
It's still very, very early. Very early. Now it's gardening season, so we're gonna spend a lot of money on that, yeah. Spend money on the stuff that makes you happy, right? As long as you can afford it, then um, that's always money well spent. The more you're gonna go to buy some tomato plants and maybe another cucumber plant. You have to buy some dirt as well as some planters. Yeah, you seem really excited about it. <laughs> it's nice to see you enjoy it that way. Okay, maybe three more hours, let's do that. Tommy, welcome in, Tommy. How's it going? I hope you're having a good Saturday. Thank you for the shouty to tell me. <laughs> Just donate to me. I will find a way to spend it. Yeah, see? Yeah, that's a plan. Oh, come on. Is that a blizzard? No, it's just dense fog. I'm still gonna pop out and hope for a moose, but like, I, I don't see the markings. I don't think we're gonna get the moose. Man, oh, why did we get the stupid valley moose? That moose is so bad. I don't even wanna kill it. Like, that, that's the one moose where I might even make an exception. Right, we have the corn, right? It's, it, it doesn't even have an icon. <laughs> it's radial. How are you all? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. We just found our second bunker on this run. In HRE. Um, I'm gonna do two more hours. Let's do two more hours. It's gonna be buying egg pizzas with it. Or maybe I'll finally buy a microwave, right? That's a blizzard, oh my. Why do the blizzards always happen? when I am done sleeping. Like, what am I supposed to do now? Jeez. This weather, man. Now I'm just gonna be sitting around passing time again. How great is that? Don't you just love that? You're very excited about it. You can't wait to get it going. Yeah, I can see that. Just buy a few fridges. Yeah. <laughs> Are you considering buying a microwave so you can read your food? No. No, no, no. I'm not going to buy a microwave because it's a space issue, you know? That's the real problem. I think I need to wait for my bathroom ceiling to collapse so I have a reason to move out, you know? <laughs> then I can move out and I will just... Uh, I will either have the microwave or I will buy it. It's a space issue, Sarah, it's just, yeah. Okay, that was a short blizzard, luckily. You were just so excited for me then. I'm sorry, but I cannot buy it, okay? I cannot, I have nowhere to, to, to freaking place it. It's okay. It's not, I know it's not. <laughs> I know this kind of okey, Sarah, okay? I know it's not. Just wanting the best for me. And to you the best is me being able to reheat my food. Yeah, I know, I know. But trust me, you, you just get used to it, kind of. Like, it's really not such a big deal. Like, if I really needed it, I could just buy it and, like, figure it out, right? Just figure out the space thing somehow. I'm sure it would be possible. If I was truly desperate for one, but I'm just not. Man, so much stuff I have not looted in HRV, it's crazy. We're gonna get some more. Acorns up here. Hopefully they're all full as well. 
Let's see. If they're all full, I really think they got nerfed at some later patch. Hmm. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Is this big cave? Yes, this is big cave, Sarah. Wow. I'm impressed. You know Peak Cave. You're basically an HRV expert now. How have you been here? I thought you have never been to HRV. Yes, this is Peak Cave. This is where you find the cure bear hides, which is amazing. There it is. Geeky Cave. Ooh, is that Maglan's weather? No. I guess it's cloudy. Might have played an hour on a throwaway HRV run. Sarah! I mean, I'm glad you are trying HRV, but come on! Let us see that! Why? How is this not Maglan's weather? Oh, oh, I don't have sticks, that's why. This is Maglan's weather. Only an hour. Come on, let us see that! Even if you do it on a throwaway run. Ooh, we're getting a little heavy. Oh, there it is. There it is. We already looted it. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. But this is where you get your cured bear hide. Very, very useful memento. One of the best mementos on Loper, I would say. Nobody wants to see you play on a throwaway with no predators, no blizzard, no nothing. Wrong, Sarah. Wrong. I would want to see you play it still. Come on. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Next time you can just do it on stream, you know. If you want the best for me. For me, it's really good if I see you stream, you know. It's 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 uh, therapeutic, so. You know. For the next time. No muscarcas? I don't think so. Um, I can check. I can always check, but uh, I don't think so. What is up with this branch? It's so deep. Okay, yeah, this is Maglan's weather. So this guy used to have the wool shirt, I think, right? We already looted him. Yeah, we've been here before. I mostly wanted the acorns here, that's why I came up here. And I think that's it. This gold is possible, but no reason for me to risk it, especially since I don't want any sprains. I'm just gonna go around. We've got plenty of time for that. Yes, we would love to see that, right? It's better than watching uh, you waiting on Blizzard after Blizzard. Tommy, I have your Blizzard luck today. I have had Blizzard pretty much every day. I don't know what's up, but I keep getting at least one Blizzard a day today. It's crazy. I mean, I just, just passed time in a Blizzard. Like, you, you've already seen that, right? You've been here. <laughs> that was another Blizzard. And before the Aurora I had now, I had another Blizzard at Mountain Town. I just keep getting Blizzards today. Crazy, crazy weather. You'll go to HRV soon, but you will die there and you will be sad. No! I will not let you die, Sarah, okay? You will you will manage HRV. It's not that bad. I, I don't understand why people are so scared of HRV, seriously. Like, you have no problems with Ash Canyon and then you're scared of HRV. Like, HRV has worse wind. But, I mean, come on, you can handle that. It also has great underground tunnels that keep you protected, right? Freaking hate blizzards. If you ever make a new run, you want to turn them off. I mean, that's a possibility in custom, right? Ooh, you're going out for dinner, Loopy. Okay, enjoy your dinner. Enjoy. Have a good one. Bye bye. Schmoochies. That's, that's why I have not even started till the end of the month. Oh, come on. HRV is much worse. That's not true. HRV is like Ash Canyon with windier but also sunnier weather, shorter blizzards, and underground tunnels that protect you from bad weather. That's pretty good, I would say. 
as you can it has shelter uh hrv also has shelter and you can move between the shelters without having to go outside how great is that thank you loopy Ashkenon is perfection. Ashkenon is pretty rough on this challenge, actually. Because this is Maglans only, right? Uh, the title says matchless, but it's really Maglans only. So we can't even use flares. Flares are not uh, allowed. I think we got the wolf, not the moose. I can already see the black thingy from here. Small black thingy, so yeah, that's definitely not gonna be a moose. But, yeah... Uh, the difficult thing about Ash Canyon is that it's one of the least sunny regions in the game, so you get a lot of cloudy weather in Ash Canyon, and for Maglans only that means I cannot start fire for like a long time sometimes. Like I can go days without fires, and that can make things difficult. I want to take a peek in here. Can I see the moose from here? I'm gonna go all the way down there, I think. I'm gonna check it. I kind of want to climb down to the valley anyway, but probably not yet, because it's getting dark, and yeah, I don't want to get stuck in the valley at night. So getting a little cold. I just, I'm probably going to go back to the entrance now, yeah. Back to the entrance, and we can bring all this loot we found to the cave entrance at least. Because we're getting a little encumbered here. You're addicted to saying schmooches, yeah. Schmooches. <laughs> if you start Ash Canyon, you can go a whole run without eating uh, preservatives. What do I mean the whole run? Yeah, oh, I, mean. I missed this antibiotics here? Really? I mean, I usually don't visit this cave. Honestly, for Interloper, I, I love HRV stars because uh, the loot is just so predictable. It's so predictable, I think it's a bug, to be honest. I just don't believe it's uh, an actual thing. Okay, I feel like I must have left this here before. I'm going to leave some more, because... Good stuff. Is it already sunset? It's not. Uh, how's my supplies? We could at least boil this water. I think that's fair, right? Yeah, let's do this. Underground tunnels with possible wolf. Yeah, okay. But that's only one of them, right? So you can still use the other ones. And the, the tunnels with the wolf, you can... That's done. You can still use as a shelter and just not explore the tunnel and you should be fine. As long as you don't smell, it's not gonna come to the entrance. 11 minutes. Yeah, we can wait that long. It's, it's not too bad. I'm just gonna stay in here, I think. Okay, this is done. And I might use this for, for a torch. Yeah, let's pull some torches. We're not that heavy. Let's use some cedar wood for this. And get some torches. You don't hate HRV, you just don't know the region. Um, but it's on you not spending time there. Yeah, like uh, HRV is kind of hard to learn because it doesn't have any good landmarks. But it really, really pays off to learn it. Like, no other region pays off that much, I think. You can go the whole run without eating preservatives, no matter where you spawn. The run won't be very long, but you can do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Day 17 and only 8 kettles a deer and fish so far. Oh yeah, I see, I see. So I mean like old world food in general, right? That's actually what we are doing on this run too. We have a soft restriction on not eating man-made food unless it would mean like the end of the run. Then I, it's a kind of a soft restriction. So like I'm fine breaking it in that case. We're still collecting all this stuff, but I'm mostly just hoarding it and bringing it to my base. But I think I only ate one can of peaches and that was like right at the start because I had horrible weather. And I got stuck. No, no, it was because I forgot my freaking can. Oh, speaking of, I could go collect my can. The, the first recycled can that I forgot right at the start of this run. When I started and I was checking the signal fire. And I just left it there. I never got back. Yeah, we could do that. Let me just take a peek down the valley from here. Is the moose in here? Are there markings? I don't even see the moose markings, actually. Because they should be, like, over there, like... Where the hole in the trees is. 
think that's where the marking starts. So I'm confused. We got moose markings in neither of the spawns. That's kind of strange. But okay, I'm not gonna bother with the moose right now. You have all food from Ash Cannon and Tibroth in your mystery like base. Yeah, kettles are amazing. Like kettles are the ultimate early game food. I mostly survived on kettles as well. But yeah, eventually I, I transitioned to meat. Now I have meat pretty much everywhere. This is like what are we day two to two maybe? Two to six already, nice. Yeah. So we have uh, small bases in pretty much every region by now. We've visited all region, except Zone of Contamination because it still doesn't exist on this uh, on this patch. This is still this is a one year old patch. Yeah, this is back when they added the first tail for the very first time. So it's it's a little dated. We're just having some fun on the old patch. Moose did not spawn back by any chance, did it? Because I'm still confused about which moose I have. I do not see markings in either spot. I feel like these markings can be a little tricky to see, the ones on the lake. So maybe we still have this moose. I'm just gonna pop in real quick again. Just uh, look from here. I don't really see it, yeah. I, I, I don't know. It's uh, not a big deal right now. We could still kill the bears, and like the bear hides are a little bit more valuable to us anyway. Because we can use them to repair our bear coats. I don't really have any use for the moose hides other than hoping the trader will accept them eventually. So I always kill moose on sight. I'm just a little hesitant with the moose down in the valley. That moose is bad. I could chase it at the robe anyway. I guess I could do that still. Okay, we have no moose meat, so I actually have to hurry up. I have to hurry up. I'm not gonna bother with uh, any of the other resources here. We can always do that later. We are waiting for a second aurora in HRV regardless, so... I think I'm hearing an aurora. No? No, I think the weather would be changing to clear. I think I'm going crazy. Just wishful thinking, I guess. It's dusk, so night can't be far behind. I always kill the moose on sight. <laughs> I'm in my murdering spree era. Yeah, I'm in my pelt hunter era. Well, the moose are rare, right? So it pays off to kill them. And they take forever to respawn on Loper. Like, it's... Uh, it's over 100 days. Actually, moose spawns are... Moose are the only animals that don't have, like, a set respawn time. With bears, it's, like, close to 50 days. I think it's 48. Wolves are 20. I think both wolves and team bros are 20 days. Late game Loper, at least. Where the response are a little... Oof. We might lose the torch here. This is a very strong wind. Very likely we lose it. But I would love to keep it in the caves. Let's see. Come on. Come on. A little bit more. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Too bad. Too bad. Dear, welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good Saturday. May 13, we'll have some news about the next update. Um, they, did they say anything else? Because they said the week of May 13. Yeah, we have we have this, uh, this Steam post there. That's the most recent news I am aware of. Yes, uh, we should be getting a new diary this week. They said week of May 13. It was kind of a strange phrasing, right? So it doesn't have to be on Monday. It could be like Friday, we'll see, but we should be getting some news very, very soon. I am super excited for that. Another great thing about HR is so many natural resources. Like, you can live off all... Of, what? Oh, where's the... Okay. All these raw sips, all these cattails, it's just crazy. You can live off that forever. They should have just said week 20. I guess they don't, uh, don't do Danish, you know? <laughs> Cougar Animal is in the update. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, 
that's the only thing that was confirmed so far but hopefully we're gonna get more right yeah it's still great news to hear yeah yeah it's good it's a good reminder like in case anybody still missed it uh, we're getting a new dough diary the coming week the cougar is co going to come out in the next update and we'll we'll find out what else and we'll also find out when the, the update is happening i'm super excited for that too you heard animal refresh hmm. it would make some sense if cougar is coming out right and i'm thinking hunted part 3 will come out and i had a theory that uh, the cougar will be in hunted part 3 as well if uh, cougar is in hunted part 3 that's the first thing i'm gonna be playing in the update That'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> a great introduction to the cougar. Yeah, armor vest will be useful now, yeah. I'm definitely gonna go for like a high protection build once the cougar comes out. I want to go and hunt it right away. Unless it's in Hunted Part 3, I will just do it on a survival run. And I'm gonna go like, I'm gonna craft a moose coat. I'm just gonna get as much protection as I can and we'll see where we get. Yeah, looks like uh, I have not much more in here, so let's just go. Let's keep going. Moose is a must now. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go like full protection mode, right? Just just the vest and the moose cloak gives you 70%. So that's a very solid baseline. Deer pens are 10%. That's 80% already. I need something to drink. I need to find combat pens, uh, combat boots. I don't think I have combat boots anywhere. I need to find... Ooh, you know what? Actually, some of these shortwave caches we are looking for they should have combat boots like the clothing ones tend to have sh uh, the boots yeah perfect so we can do that so we should be able to find some combat boots hopefully they are not ruined oh that's already 90 percent some crampons 93 with the mittens we should be at 97 yeah i should be able to reach 100 percent protection so gonna be pretty chill <laughs> Fighting the cougar. Oh, look, we got the we got the bucked campfire. <laughs> I cannot reach that. It's kind of annoying. There's certainly no way for me to deconstruct that. First day of the week is Sunday in US, Canada and Japan. Yeah, I never understood that. <laughs> That's criminal, right? I think it will be a fast animal charge and a pounce attack after the low growl. Yeah, I think it will be really, really quiet. And it will stalk you from very, very far away and also charge you from very, very far away. Alectite campfire, yeah, exactly. Okay, uh, I could drop my stuff here, right? This is like a mini base for me right now. We could drop a bunch of stuff here. Maybe drop this outside, let's see. Uh, this man-made food we can keep here. Let's see, I think I left, left, uh, yeah, all my food is here, right? So, we're good for now. Perfect. Eat this. Looks like we're not getting an Aurora though. That's kind of unfortunate. Maybe the weather will change later, but for now it's not too not too good. Not looking very good. Leave like four liters in here for now. We're too heavy with all this water. Uh. You think the cougar will be chasing me a lot? Oh it better it better. <laughs> I'm ready for the chase. Can't wait. <laughs> Campfire trick might work still. The campfire trick works on everything. Like if you if you stand on top of the cooking slot like this, obviously have to be careful to not burn yourself. But if you stand off on top of a cooking slot, you are invisible to wildlife as long as the fire is lit. You have to light it. For some reason, it doesn't work with only uh, campfires, but like that's a cheesy way to deal with them. That's a cheesy way. Uh, I don't think I want to resort to cheese like that. You know I. Uh, I just wanna see if I can beat it, you know, in a fair way. I will try to avoid cheese as much as I can. I feel like 
100 protection is already kind of cheesy, right? But at least it requires a bunch of preparation. And it doesn't last forever because eventually you're going to get your clothing destroyed. You're gonna be so scared of that freaking cougar. I can't wait to see you run into the cougar, Sarah. Oh, it's gonna be so much squealing. Oh, it's gonna be so good. So good, I can't wait. Okay. I still wanna leave a bit more stuff in here, I think. Cougar attracted to light sources. Ooh, yeah. Maybe. Imagine that, yeah. It would be it would, it would be the opposite, right? Of of wolves. Well, I like what they did with, with the poison wolves, right? Because poison wolves are not like foolproof with the torch plus a stone trick, right? That's a trick people have been relying on for a decade now, almost. Maybe not a decade. Like it's uh, torches have not been around for a decade, right? But like for years, for like five years at least, possibly a bit more. So that's an old trick that stopped being super reliable once they re released the the poison wolves. And I wonder if they're gonna do something sneaky like that with uh, with uh, the cougar. Oh man, I don't want to drop any of these resources. This is annoying. I can drop this. But none of this is like, you know, it's stuff I hate dropping on the ground because it's so annoying to pick up. I think I am going to... We could check the bear? I mean... Uh, we could do that, right? This bear is a little annoying to hunt because... I wish it wasn't that... Yeah, the weather's really bad though. The weather's bad. And this is a wolf zone, so... Be careful. I think I see a wolf. I think it's eating a bunny, so... It's too busy. May I still harvest these oaks. I feel like campfire uh, might buffer the cougar. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be so exciting to figure all that out again. <laughs> Eek! Oh, man. I can already hear it. It's like a vision, but, you know, just a uh, just, uh, sound. I don't know how you would call that, but it's that. Toxic wolves are goldfish when you're uh, in crouch mode. Yeah, but I feel like that's with all animals now. Like once you touch a tree, the animal forgets about you completely. It's really strange to see. It's kind of... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a bug to be honest. Like I don't think it's intended. I hope they fix it with the cougar because like if it's going to affect the cougar... It's going to be way too easy to cheese it. So the weather is a little bit better now. Uh, the visibility is pretty bad, but I'm still tempted to... You know what? I think I want to kill the wolf. Yeah, this, this area is not... Oh, okay. Oh, fine. Uh, maybe I will get him later. <laughs> the, the, the one time I decide to actually kill him, he's just gonna run off. Sure. Oh, there's another one there. But that one is still eating, and I do not like to... Shoot wolves that are eating. Because they keep uh, moving their head up and down. Actually, you know what? We're, we're uh, Archery 5, I forgot. I forgot we're on a long run now. We're fine. We just need a body shot. It's easy enough. Yeah. Might as well do it that way. Wait, he killed a deer. Oh, that's an almost intact deer. I thought it was hitting a bunny. Well, that's good stuff. That's nice. We're gonna harvest that. But I'm looking for a bear first. I wanna deal with that bear, I think. You know what? Maybe it's, it's getting a little cold. A little bit cold. Hmm. Do we want to deal with the bear now? We could do it uh, during the day, I think. Yeah. We're close to the cave here. Let's just harvest this guy. Getting a little cold. We can finish the rest tomorrow. 
Or maybe after a warm up, yeah, we could just take a nap, maybe, yeah. That works better. Let's see how they do go. And we're getting a raid. Welcome in, Nifo and Raiders. How's it going? How was your run? Bones I murdered. Like, welcome in, guys. Welcome in. Just gonna lay down for a bit. When you enter the zone with those toxic wolves, are annoying and got about 14 of them. Yeah, there's a lot of wolves in Zone of Contamination. Thank you for the shout to Nifo. Hello, Bonsai. Good to see you as well. So, how's your run going, Nifo? We are currently in HRV and opening some more shortwave caches. We cleared pretty much the entire mountain town and HRV. We only need to get the crushed airplane cache, which is a little annoying because it's uh, on the other side of the map and we are not getting lucky with an Aurora, our first night after the scripted one. But we have plenty of stuff to do. Bears to kill, you know, that kind of stuff, so... But right now it doesn't matter too much. Hopefully we are not too unlucky with Auroras. Stream was good. Living airfield with no bedroll. Ooh. Yeah, that's a long walk. That's... Uh, better sleep well before... <laughs> before you leave it. Like, airfield is such a long walk. I feel like Zone of Contamination made it better, like... That transition cave is huge, but I still prefer it over the long walk out of the region. Even with the shortcut, it's just so long. There's still one wolf nearby. Where is it? Yeah, there's the one we killed. Where's the second one? Hmm. No food at all uh, in the zone, yeah. Yeah, that's that's the thing with Zone of Contamination. It It's... Uh, Food scars region. And that's the whole uh, challenge in it. And I really like how unique they made it feel. I love it, honestly. Even the fishing spots, like, you know, you can get a lot of food from tip ups. But tip ups are actually nerfed in Zone of Contamination. It's the only region that has, like, really weak tip ups. You can only place four tip ups before you start overfishing. And it still fishes slower. I think it's pretty cool. Alright, I think I'm gonna do the whole thing. Even if I freeze for a little bit. That's a... okay. I'm just taking the hide, I think. I'm not risking the smell, because the wolf did not despawn. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna sleep until the morning, probably. So cold. Because I know that wolf is somewhere nearby and I don't want to smell. Alright, made it back. I can eat another one of these. Getting a little hungry here. Ooh. There it is. That's the proper blizzard sound. I'm just gonna sleep. Not much else to do in this weather. Hold on. Place the bedroll. Man, placing the bedroll in this cave is going to be a nightmare on the current patch. Like, this is still before they patched out the bedroll. I hate using the patched uh, word here because I feel like it, they broke it, you know? <laughs> like, it's too difficult to place down a bedroll. It shouldn't be that difficult. But, yeah. That should be enough. So, let's see. Do we get Maglan's weather, maybe? It's just before sunrise. Oh, I hope I didn't fall off the map. What was that? I could see out of the map. Where am I? Okay. That was strange. Yay, Maglan's weather. Uh, fuel. Oh, okay. No problem at all. Wait, how deep can I go here? Is this... This is windproof. Perfect. This should be a windproof spot, right? Is this still windproof? Looks like it is. Nice. I'm gonna... Where can I... What's the, what's the best spot? I think this is a pretty good spot, right? It should be windproof. 
If you like stay just outside the cave. There's a, another decent spot like near these rocks, but it gives me a better visibility in case I get attacked by a wolf here. Sometimes if I carry smell. The new region in that update to a mountain I pass. Did. I'm super curious about that uh, that region as well. Going to be interesting to see. I'm definitely gonna need more. This is not enough. Need some coal to warm up. You're thinking narrow passages with pockets of area and the cougar den around the areas. Yeah, I think it will be like very, very intensive for climbing, right? Like mountain pass. There will be a lot of rope climbing in that region. I think that will be the region with most rope climbs. Like right now, Timber of Mountain, Ash Canyon, even HR, we have a lot of ropes. But I think the stuff they put in Mountain Town is just going to be, you know, a lot of areas only accessible by ropes. You won't be able to climb it in any other way, that kind of stuff. It's going to be interesting to see. Probably didn't need... ...that much coal on me. But we can keep it outside, it's fine. Keep it in here. Oh yeah, I wanted to drop the hide inside, right? Hope we can fish in the new region, maybe a fishing hut. I feel like if it's called Mountain Pass, I think it's relatively unlikely we're gonna get uh, fishing there. But we could, uh, there could like be like a river up the up the mountain, right? So it's not impossible. We'll see. So far, I think only Forward Muskeg and Black Rock are two regions without any fishing. Fish tip will still be useful and sleep in a cave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, fishing is really, really powerful. Definitely gonna do some fishing around on this run once. Oh, there he is. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna clear this region of wolfies so I can uh, bring the bear meat in here or here. Oh my god, this guy always gets scared of me, okay. Well, okay. Thank you for the work, Bonsai. Should be able to fish at brick layers. Yeah, I was actually testing it recently, because somebody said they they thought you might be able to fish there, but uh, no luck. I was unable to find any spot. I don't think it's possible, because uh, brick layers uh, does have a large lake, but uh, that lake has a lot of snow on it, so I think that's the reason. Like, there's actually not that much open ice, if that makes sense. It kind of looks like the Muskeg area, right? Like, Muskeg also has a lot of ice. But most of it is... Where are you? Okay, this time he got aggroed. So I want a nice open area for this. This will work, I think. Okay, I don't like this. I don't like this. Ooh, that was, that was bad. Yeah, I was hoping he would run at me like this. I was just too impatient. I should have waited longer, but never mind. We got a kill anyway. Maybe the mountain pass will connect to the other territories. You didn't find a connection from the zone to part of the airfield. Yeah, there is an unused rope climb in Transfer Pass, actually. So I think that's the connection to Transfer Pass. Like, if you are at Vacant Depot, you can either follow the tracks towards Zone of Contamination, or you can go up the road and left to the airfield. Or you can go up the road and right, and then you go to a collapse tunnel and a rope climb that does not have any rope on it yet. And I think they might just add a rope to that climb once they add the region. I was showing it on stream some time ago, but like I just flew there, you know, with like with console commands. You, you, it's just not accessible right now. But it it looks uh, it's basically a rope climb, and there's just a short path that looks like a transition to a new region, kind of like when you climb up the rope in Timber of Mountain, but even shorter. So I think uh, they plan on adding something there for sure. And the transition cave between Zone of Contamination and FA is so huge. I'm pretty sure it's also somehow going to connect to to the new region too. Oh man, this place is always so dark. I don't like it. I just want to drop these guts in here and turn around. And 
Do I really need to use a freaking... I feel like whenever I enter this cave, I don't enter like straight where I want to go. I never see this. I don't know. It's so dark. Oh, now, now it's barely visible, but it's still, yeah, not very easy to see. Nice shoot. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. It could have been better, though. Uh, uh, I was not far off missing that. Drop this. Still have 28 minutes until boiled. So let's see. If we do this by hand, that's exactly 28 minutes. Perfect. Ton of hunting in mountain pass. Territory area a little hard to find. Uh, food at start. Yeah, I hope Interloper has some hammer spawn as well. Because right now, if you start in... Hexo and Hammer, right? Like, if you start in the Far Territories, you, you have no access to Hexo or the Hammer. It's a horrible start on Loper. On Lower Difficulties, it's somewhat viable, but on Loper, you just can't do it. And I think Zone of Contamination was supposed to have a Hammer. I was doing some data mining, you know, for... Um, for, like, loot. But... I saw there is a Hammer spawn on Loper in Zone of Contamination, but it's just buggy. It never spawns like it's it's marked to be disabled for lower difficulties and disabled for lower at the same time so uh yeah but i'm pretty sure that's an interloper spawn so it's kind of awkward anyone hit kill is so impressive to you but it's very easy with uh with archer 5 sarah because you just really had to hit the wolf more or less as long as you don't hit it in the paws or in the butt you're going to insta-kill it with archery 5, so there's relatively little skill at that point involved. It's it's not that difficult, yeah. Alright, thank you for the raid, Nifo. Have a good one. Oh, look at that. Another freaking blizzard, I'm telling you. I guess it's going to test if this spot is truly windproof, but I think it is. We'll see once the wind changes. Maybe I put it too far out. If so, we're gonna have to start a fire a bit deeper. Guess we're gonna see. This is a little unfortunate because I wanted to go harvest the wolf as well. But we can do that later. Mountain fast spawn sounds crazy. Well, you know it's gonna be a thing. I mean, some people like to experience regions like that, you know, when, when they learn them at first. Personally, it's not my cup of tea. I prefer preparing and then just going there and actually, you know, enjoying the exploration aspect more so than the survival one. For me, they're like separate things. And uh, if I am too focused on survival, I cannot really focus on the exploration part that much. So I'm definitely gonna prepare. I'm just not gonna <laughs> spawn there. That's not really my cup of tea. You need to. You need skill to even get to level five. You're gonna get there in no time, Sarah. You'll see. I should probably eat something. We can eat some bear meat here. Oh man, I keep getting blizzards and auroras today. Nothing else. Always just those two. And I am running out of stuff to cook. I could always make more water here. Yeah. No, that's not a bad idea. Let's spend some of this coal. Okay, now it's going to test. Oh, okay. So this is not windproof. We lost our fire. I'm not. I'm not uh, covered here. That's surprising. Still not in a wind uh, windshield. I guess this cave is missing a windshield then. I'm not sure about this. I think it's still not going to be windproof. Fish for territory only low spawn as possible with foreign. Yeah, me too, me too. Maybe once they fix. Uh, I should have probably put it in here. This is a kind of a windproof spot. We still have some time to try it, right? We still have uh, five minutes. I could try this uh, fire over here, but I don't know if I'll be able to start. Oh, damn it. Oh. Do I have any torches in here? I really need some torches right now. Yeah, there's no hammer on interlope right now. There is that bug spawn on uh, in Zone of Contamination, but it's sadly just not spawning, so... Yeah, I don't know if they will ever fix that. Probably not high on their priority list. I have no torches, so what the frick am I supposed to do? Because... I think I'm just gonna lose the fire. 
I don't have any way to increase the time on the fire to pull a torch out, right? I don't even have sticks. I am willing to sacrifice skull on over this if I can. But yeah, it's just too windy. That's uh, unfortunate. I thought this would be windproof. Most cave entrances are windproof, but... This looks like one spot potentially, but I think from here it would still get... Uh, destroyed. So this is probably the best we're gonna get. And and I think this uh, wind would still destroy it, because this it's not windproof here, right? Like if I placed it here... Yeah, this, this seems to be valid. Maybe that would work. That is usually my spot, but... I am blind to wolves if I do that, so I don't like that spot as much. Ah, uh, well. Hopefully this is a short blizzard. Let's take a nap. Abandon run, yeah. Lost the fire. May as well abandon run. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Oh my god, I can't imagine placing the bedroll here after the bedroll update. That just sounds like pain, really. Okay, I can only sleep like three hours because I'm not even really tired. Yeah, it sounds like it was one of the short blizzard. This is one of the specifics of HRV. It also can happen in Timberwolf Mountain and Coastal Highway and Crumbling Highway. I think those are the only regions that have like super short blizzard sometimes, yeah. The blizzard's already over. But it destroyed my freaking... Oh, okay. Well, we still have some wolfies to, to harvest. Yeah, nice weather. Out of shame for not having a torch. Oh no, I am not very, uh, I'm not carrying torches on purpose at this point. I have no use for torches. Because I have maglons only... Uh, I cannot I cannot light a torch, right? Ever. I light fires only. With maglons. It's impossible to light a torch with maglons. Is this worth it? One hour. And I could just do it by hand. Maybe save some hexo condition. It's gonna take me a little longer, but I mean, it doesn't even matter, I think. How much longer is it gonna be if I did it all by hand? 240 though, hmm. It's going to save me some time. But how much really? I'm still gonna do still gonna do the meat by hand, right? So it's barely saving me time. You know what? I don't care. We're gonna do this one by hand. This is not really worth quartering in my opinion. Let's do this. Ooh, quite windy. I'm, another blizzard. Are you kidding me? No, okay. We got Megalon's weather is just really windy. I just took the damage there. We can heal it overnight, I think. It's fine. So, yeah, at least we can start another fire. Need a stick for that. And I think I'm gonna go for my good old spot here. Just drop. The belt and the guts in here. So... Okay, this is really testing my too windy. Uh, ooh, ooh, it's 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 oh, that's pretty bad. I don't think this spot is completely windproof, so like, there's not much more I can do. Like, I just got a little unlucky. Uh, there's a couple different spots I can use here, right? If I cannot use this, okay, I might as well use this one inside here. I think this one is a little eh, yes, because like you cannot really turn around, you can't go much deeper. But I'm gonna use it anyway. I think. Let's do this. Come on, little fire. Let's use some coal. Move this back here. Let's finish these venison. Do I still have the meat? Oh, I have not made the meat at all. I need to spend some time warming up here anyway, so... Yeah, the wind died down, so this is a good time to go. I'm just gonna put some water in here. Maybe one liter. So that's like uh, one liter is what, like uh, 30 minutes? 
cooking time. Should be fine. But you know what? Uh, I can go get the bear now. This is this is a good time for the bear, I think. It's a good time for the bear. Let's get the bear. There's no stinking wolves in here anymore. So they're not gonna bother me. When I bring the bear back. This is a slightly annoying place to dance the bear though. So let's see how we're gonna handle this. I'm not so sure. I would love that bear to follow me a little bit closer to here. But I could maybe use that cave simply. Yeah. And that, that cave's pretty close. I am also seeing a sapling I have not harvested yet. I'm gonna go for that. Are we near any like points of interest? We are not near any uh, named locations. The closest named location is probably Hushed River, which is like just south of us. Yeah, this area is uh it has like no named locations but it's my favorite area in hrv i think like to base down <laughs> i like this place I, as you can see i dropped most of my loot here that's kind of my central spot that that uh, entrance to the to the ice cave there that's just my spot because that ice cave is the one that ha doesn't have uh sketchy in it right it has no wolf and it brings you to oh come on these hitboxes man are you kidding me it brings you to monolith lake and also two hushed river but that that hushed river entrance is like crappy because it has the waterfall in front of it so you're gonna be freezing when you exit it so i don't really use that one. Oh no really we're getting wind that's uh bad news for bear dancing also need to take off this because it's a little low condition and I do not... Man, the wind just died down a while ago. What the freak? I mean, I can see the bones, but I don't see the bear anywhere. It's like... I don't know what's up with the bear. Where is he? Maybe he's on that side somewhere. But since the wind started up again, I'm just not gonna bother. We can uh, get him later, I guess. Time to get it together. Okay, Capybara, see you later. No, you know this area, the last run you did, you got stuck in a little pocket harvesting a bear and put in a blizzard. Oh, that sounds scary. Found a recipe in this area. Oh, then you're thinking a different bear. Uh, this is the, the other bear. The recipe is on that side, like you have to go that way. Uh, we are nowhere near the recipe in here. The recipe always spawns in the same area in HRV. It's like not far away from the entrance. Gotta go buy Mother's Day's gift. Oh, okay, okay. I hope your mom will like them. Have a good one. Yeah, I'm just going back because this weather... Screw it. <laughs> I just can't be bothered in this weather. Or good about the other side. Yeah, honestly, like... Many areas of HR will kind of look the same. So you really need to know the region, but it really pays off to learn it. HRV is probably one of the regions I know the best. I think I know HRV better than I know Mr. Lake, if I'm being honest. But like, yeah, uh, Mr. Lake has this uh, area near clear cut that can get a little confusing sometimes. But yeah, most of just in a blizzard. I mean, Mr. Lake is not that difficult, right? But I feel like HRV is uh, is one of those regions where I where I'm just confident to not get lost in even in a blizzard and. It's too, too used to them, you know. Can't say that about every region for sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna go because I'm freezing again, so... No time to harvest the rest. This wind is super annoying. And it might have even killed my fire now that I think about it. Because the wind changed. Let's see. It better not have... Oh, please. No. No. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, uh, maybe just run out? I don't think so, though. Oh, this wind is really, really, really testing me. And I, of course, I don't have any sticks. Give me a stick. Getting kind of thirsty. Man.
Okay, we're gonna try this fire now. I think. This looks like there's a spot here. You know one ice cave leads to the to one signal fire. Is there another ice cave that leads to the other one? Yeah, pretty much. You can skip every long rope, or let's say you can skip every rope outside in HRV. Every rope outside. Uh, you still have to climb the ones inside, so like you can't have broken ribs or sprains, but those ropes are very short, you can climb them even if you're exhausted. So that's another great thing about the caves, but honestly, if you're like learning HRV, I would not worry about the caves that much. Like they're, they're a huge help, but they can also confuse you. They can be pretty confusing if you don't know where they are leading. So yeah, it's really good to learn it one part of the time. Better than this too, like that's crazy. I think, I think uh, I do though. Don't sound so dramatic. You're scaring Sarah away from HRV. Do I sound dramatic? I don't know. Laura, welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Thank you for the shout it to Laura. Yeah, six hour stream. We are nearing the end. I just want to uh, nail the bear in this area, but uh, the weather seems to be disagreeing with me most of the time. Just uh, keep getting wind whenever I try to move out. So here I am again warming up. I'm gonna wait until this uh, wind dies down, I think. We can always make more water. Let's make more water. Oh, that was some final screw you before the wind died. Some final screw you. <laughs> yeah, there is no good windproof spot here. I, I feel like I need to figure out a better main spot for my base, you know? Like, this is not a bad spot, but uh, cooking is a little bit annoying, as you can see. I lost like three fires. I was a little unlucky, but still. That's just... Uh, the cost of cooking in an area that's not fully windproof. That's why I don't like cooking outside generally, unless I know that fire is actually 100% windproof. You're scared already, that doesn't change much. No, HR is great, Sarah. Like, it's not like when I say, hey, Blink Inlet and Blackrock are not that bad, you should go check them out. I mean, they are dangerous regions, right? They are not that bad but like they are dangerous but hrv the biggest danger of hrv is not knowing it so like you literally just need to learn it it really really pays off like i i just love this region it's super cozy in my opinion the wind is annoying it's it's like the third windiest region in the game after bleak inlet and pleasant valley i think it's super windy but you have the underground ice caves that can protect you most of the time so yeah, best region to go camping. Honestly, I find it a little annoying they added the Prepper's Hatch and the Signal Void uh, Bunker in this region. It kind of ruins the feel of the region. I'm not a big fan of them. Like, it, it felt a lot better when it was just pure nature, but what can you do? Maybe mountain paths will be like that, right? Maybe it's just gonna be mountains. I feel like that can be because they want to do something with the third tail. There's probably going to be some infrastructure. So my, uh, okay, my uh, snow pants are still off. I think I hear bear crows. Oh, there he is. Uh, hmm. I want him closer to... Wait, can I still start a fire here? This is a bad spot to start a fire, though. I'm gonna burn myself if I do that. I mean... It's possible to dance him here. Uh, oh, FI me. <laughs> Welcome in. That's sketchy respawn after you kill it. Uh, let me think. Uh, <laughs> uh, Welcome in, FI me. <laughs> um, I think sketchy does respawn. Sketchy just have a low chance to spawn. Uh, I think uh, fluffy and scruffy do not respawn. Fluffy I verified with Kimmy, because I've never seen Fluffy respawn. Uh, this is a tricky, tricky place to, to bear dance, actually. I don't like it. I don't like it, because his petting might get uh, a little screwed here, but let's have some fun. Hopefully we don't die. Oh! No, I scared him. What the frick? Why? Okay, well, that sucks. Why did he run off? What happened? The 
his son. Hopefully he's dead. It's gonna get a lot I'm not sure so. what happened. Why did he run off? That was so strange. I hope he died. I passed one hour. Usually that's enough, especially when you look away. He should not be very far. I do not like tracking animals that bleed out. I do not like doing that at all. That's super annoying. And the tracks just end here. What? Well, we don't have an Aurora, so we couldn't have despawned. I just don't see the tracks anymore. Yeah, too close to the wall with no root, maybe. Yeah, this was an awkward spot to dance. This was, this was definitely an awkward spot. I had a bad feeling about this spot anyway. We could have gotten mold there, maybe. This was not a, not a fun spot to dance. But I just wanted to get him before uh, it got too dark. Uh, didn't manage to do that anyway. <laughs> Okay, lesson learned. Don't dance him over here next time. And it got windy again, yeah. I have no idea where he is. That's super annoying. He may have run off all the way down to the river, actually. And see him from here. Wait, is that him? No, that's just a rock. Oh, uh, I hate tracking animals. Come on, where are you? I should have checked what my bear count was. I can still do it real quick. In case it increases. Bear skill 24. So, I don't know. I don't know if we had 23 before that. I feel like with archery 5 he could have bled out already. I think it was a headshot, right? Did we shoot him in the head? I looked away really early, so... It, we could have just hit him in the paws. And if we just hit him in the paws... He might be bleeding out for a long time. I feel like the, the shot was going a bit too low. You can chase the Timber of Lake Bear in his cave when you climb the rocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's probably the best way to kill bears because it's safe and you kill it inside the cave. But I just really enjoy dancing them. Like, this is... Uh, dancing is typically not the best way to go around, you know? Like... Oh, that was the doll. I thought the bear, the bear was coming back. <laughs> yeah, but this is typically not the way you want to kill bears. Always a risk you, you could get mauled and then you could just lose the bear like this. I have no idea where that guy is. And I don't think my fire is up anymore. Oh wait, it's still on. What? Fire did I have there? We could use that to warm up a little bit. Maybe wait. Uh, boil some water. Get in here. Okay, my water boiled away, but like that could have been expected. I passed an hour. It's fine. Hey Zelda, welcome in. Almost as a blink and on your pilgrim run. Need to haul out 155 pounds of fish. Oh man, that's a lot of fish. I would not really bother hauling the fish. Like the the other loot I can understand, but like fish are so heavy, and you can get them in pretty much any region. Oh, then again, right? Uh, Blick has a different type of fish, so that could be a reason. Yeah. Like if you need the saltwater fish for something. I'm just gonna wait for uh, for a bit. Maybe the wind dies down. Oh my god. I'm getting two blizzards a day here. Oh my god. Oh, You gotta be kidding me. Probably going to lose this fire as well. I'm going to pull one torch while I still can. So I will at least be able to attempt uh, moving my fire elsewhere. But this better be another short, bliz bl 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 short blizzard. Wow, so many blizzards. It's crazy. Having really rough luck today. Yeah, of course. Of course, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, this is going to be tricky. I don't think I'll be able to... Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bashy one, Blizzard zero. But I bet the wind's gonna change again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
You wanna hold them too costly because uh, that's where you're temporarily storing all your found jerry cans. Oh yeah, yeah, just to just to refill your jerry cans, yeah. Oh boy, okay, what now? No, I don't want to go inside. That's not good because, yeah, I, I mean, whatever. The bear probably despawned in a blizzard anyway. If we didn't kill it yet, it doesn't matter. Give me the wood. I think we just lost the fire again. Oh, how? Oh, no, no, I just started a stick fire. I remember now. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, crap. Oh, my... Did I just lose... Did, did I just lose a pot? Oh, okay, no. I picked it up. Okay, that's how it works. But if I stay turned away from the prompt, I might be f safe. Oh, I made it. Okay. This is unfortunate because this has reset, right? This was put in my inventory. So this will need a whole 20 minutes again to boil and there's only 2 minutes. So this is why it's better to just right click and move these straight to the fire. Sadly, I failed with this one. We can still do half an hour, right? Oh, this looks like a longer one. Let me check my stats for the for the bear. Still still says 24, so we don't really know if we killed it or not. That's unfortunate. Man, so many blizzards today. And I still need to track that freaking bear. I'm not too happy about that. Okay, I think it's time to add a lump of coal here. We are starting to freeze. There we go. 12 jerrycans are the ones at, uh, at current. You know, you're gonna find more on your run, yeah. You can actually find jerrycans beachcombing, but it's super, super rare. There's only one spot where you can find them. And that's on the that large fishing ships in one of the containers, but... Yeah, on Pilgrim, the containers are usually not empty, so you might have a better chance. On Interloper, it's almost impossible to find it, because the container is empty pretty much all the time. Sakurai, welcome in, welcome in. <laughs> welcome. Happy Mother's uh, Weekend, yes, yes, indeed. We're just trying to survive our freaking blizzard here now. Yeah, it would probably be more efficient to to move just the jerry cans at this point, but if you're in bleak already, then maybe not. Man, this blizzard is just not gonna end, is it? I think we may have actually... Wait, is it... Is the is the wind blowing from there? Oh, that's buggy as freak. Look at that. Ah, uh, uh. <laughs> okay. The wind just changed. Now I'm in wind chill, but you saw that, right? It was from there, and I had I had like minus sixteen wind. <laughs> so I was I was getting wind from inside the cave. Well, that's great. Thanks thanks a lot. All right, I think I'm just gonna sleep. Uh, I'm giving up. Okay. I'm giving up Blizzard, I'm going to sleep, fine. Jeez. I just want to tag that bear. Where is it now? I don't even know. This point I'm not sure. Yeah, TLD win logic. Are there a lot of blizzards in HRV? Um, I mean, there's a decent amount, it's nothing like PV. But the thing is, most blizzards are pretty short. This one tends to be kind of long, I guess I got a little unlucky here, sadly. One of the things you really like about TLD is so many ways to play it, different things to collect, different ways to do it, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it can keep your interest for so long, right? Okay, it's already past sunrise. Hopefully, Maglan's weather. Let me out. He has been kind of nice to you. Ooh, don't jinx it, Sarah. Oh, finally some decent weather. Too bad it's uh, morning and this is probably non-potable water. So I'm just gonna leave it in there. What else can I leave behind? I'm going to leave uh, firewood, of course. Let's leave the firewood. Firewood. Let's maybe eat a little bit. How's my water? I'll pick up some more. And this is super annoying stuff because I hate dropping this. All this stuff is so heavy now, right? But I don't have a rock cache here, so I have nowhere to place it. Drop this at least. Let's leave some more stuff in here. 
this stuff. I don't really need the hatchet right now. Uh, I can leave the maple sapling behind me as well. Yeah, this stuff is annoying, but uh, okay, I can drop this, let's say. Uh, crampons, I don't need them right now. Just leave stuff I I don't need to carry, really. Flashlight. Not even the lantern, but uh, a lantern I'm gonna forget to pick up, whatever. I'm gonna keep that. And yeah, this, this stuff I need to keep on me because it's so annoying to pick up. Visit it past day 100. No, 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 no. She should, she should go and visit ASAP. Okay. I need to find that freaking bear. Where did he go? I think he probably ran off to the other side of the river even. So, you know what? No, um... This is a mistake. <laughs> Let me pick it all back up. I'm going to move some of the stuff to the entrance probably because that's where I'm going to search for the bear. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take some stuff with me. Yeah. Stuff I wanna take with me. Let's see. Anything else? Probably all this stuff over here. Fuck. Take the hides with me, maybe. Ah, uh, leave the guts. Take the saplings as well, and head out. Yes, fuck. Yeah, start to repair and to harvest the next 50 days. You can read your books, but after that, it's very annoying. Well, the first 50 days is the hardest, in my opinion, in Trilopro, because it keeps getting colder. Like, once you can survive the first 50... You're fine. Just cross the 300 day mark on set pilgrim run. Nowhere near your old save, but you're getting there. Yeah. I guess the old save uh, died with a save wipe. Your base must look really good, yeah. So much stuff on pilgrim, you can stock up your base. I'm doing what I can on Loper. I'm trying to bring all the good stuff into my main base in Broken Railroad, but... Yeah, there's not as much stuff to loot here, so... It's, it's not ideal. And we didn't have an Aurora in like two or three nights. I would just like to point it out that I'm waiting for a freaking Aurora here. And I just can't catch a break. And that's a Wolfie right there. I think I'm gonna spare an arrow for it. Wait, I should not smell. No, I don't need to spare an arrow for this. I'm gonna get past this Wolf. Looks like I made it through another night. Oh, okay, so you're... Old save was uh, killed off in zone of contamination, yeah. I think you're not the only one. A lot of people lost their long run there. A lot of stuff people did not expect, right? Go away. Seven hundred and sixty-three days. Yeah, you're already halfway there then. You know what, maybe I could just shoot him. Especially with Archer 5. Screw this. He's just uh, getting in the way here, so... And uh, not the best shot, I almost hit the butt. Should have shot slightly more in front of him. Because butt would not be an instant kill and I would have another animal running away. <laughs> and I would have to track him down because I cannot lose any arrows, this is a Maglin's only run. So where's the bear, hmm? Where would the bear be? Like, what I am worried about that is that the tracks just ended, you know? The tracks just freaking ended over there. I couldn't even track it. Don't use uh, the warning shots try to scare wolves. What do you mean? Just shoot in front of it. I, I, I don't like missing my shots, to be honest. It's very unsatisfying. <laughs> it's a viable strategy, but I just don't like uh, missing my shots. I already missed too much anyway. Yeah, that was super weird with the tracks. I'm a little worried he bugged out. You know what? Let me just quickly verify. Let me quickly verify he didn't like fall under the map or something. 
I see some freaking cedar limbs here. Like, that's also super weird. <laughs> Why are the cedar limbs here? Like, imagine if this just uh, keep duplicating there. And then you play on, the, like, day 5000 and HR is gonna take forever to load because there's, like, 20 cedar limbs in 10 different areas <laughs> in HRV. Just under the map. Yeah, so he is not under the map. I think he, he tends to run up in here sometimes and we're just gonna get to the entrance because we have some stuff to offload. Sometimes he just dies in here at the river. Sometimes he runs all the way there. Let's see. He can't really run past here, I think. This is like uh, impossible for him to path through. It's just too tight of an area. <laughs> nice try. Nice try. Yeah, deliberately missing by close to wildlife. Yeah, I prefer not doing it, yeah. I just don't like uh, missed shots, to be honest. Don't don't enjoy it very much. And, you know, that wolf could become a problem anyway, so... If I'm going to shoot, I prefer killing. Like, if I'm going to waste my bow condition... Mass will be a solution that lasts a little bit. I still don't see him here. I feel like he was he would not run all the way here and this is super weird though, like Where is the bear? Oh I hate tracking bears so much. I just prefer not losing him, I still wanna harvest him. I would honestly prefer if he didn't bleed out, because if he didn't bleed out it it would mean that he should respawn, right? But he he despawned like way before the blizzard so i don't think it was because of the blizzard yeah i didn't hear any birds maybe we're just in the wrong area but i'm trying to bring some loot to the entrance anyway so it doesn't matter too much actually i should start collecting stones i probably want to have a rock cache near there but we are very far from one of nine stones i don't think that's gonna happen actually been considering using some mods, mainly QL, like the Dell console, maybe on Canada manufacturing. Yeah, I honestly like the console just because if your game bugs out, if you get stuck somewhere, you can fix it yourself, right? I don't use the console for like cheating uh, in in my main run, right? Like, yeah, if I fly, I never do it, like I never land to the other side of the map. Like I just use it to, to like check if something didn't bug out and then I return back to the original position. I, I would never use stuff like invincibility on my main run, but you know, I like using it also for videos because uh, it really helps when you try to test some stuff and you just, I don't know, you just want to run, a, run around somewhere, you don't want to be bothered by wildlife, right? And I really like place anywhere mod as well, I'm, I'm gonna install that, I don't have it on right now. But it's great for organizing your base, as you can stack items on top of each other. I don't think the bear is gonna be in this area, to be honest. And I really need warming up. But I also want stones. I don't have any stones. Can I find enough stones here? Probably not. Let's see, there's some. I really need the cash, though. I need the cash. If I... Scan this whole leg, I'm gonna lose some condition, but I could get more stones that way. We are at 16, that's like a third of a cache, not enough. Ooh, that's a lot of stones, that's like 8. Nice. Still a mod that orders your farmer king tools. I am not sure. You can do exclamation mark TLD mods for the website that, that uh, tries to catalog them so maybe it's like order uh, it's like mentioned in there somewhere but yeah that's another s small thing that's kind of annoying right like when you try to start a fire and your torch uh, your lit torch should always be the first thing right like if you have a lit torch you probably want to use that Another annoying thing is a birch bark being used as the primary tinder, like, what the frick. Obviously you don't want to use birch bark, right? Like, that's the last resort tinder most of the time, unless you're on Nogoa, I guess. Or just play with birch bark off. It's kind of an exception. 
might have to drop some gear. I think I heard a deer dying. Maybe wolf hunted some down. 38, still need 12 more. Okay, 9 more. I think we can get in all yeah. This lake has a lot of stones. 8. It's a feather. I'm not gonna bother, I'm already encumbered. Not even that. 7. This is like 5 stones, so we only need 2 stones. Yeah, we can head back to the entrance. We should find enough. Normal. Oh. I thought I heard a bark. Okay. Better keep this up. There could be a wolf past this hill anyway. Better to take the bow out. So yeah. Oh, three more. Okay, I miscounted. Come on, three more stones. I see. Okay, three. Perfect. Yeah, another thing I find really annoying is that when you like select, a, let's say, a torch from a radio, it always picks your highest condition. Oh, that's what I heard. Yeah, I guess some uh, some deer died here. Let me grab the deer. Stop eating my deer. Where are you? Do I want to kill him? Ah, eh, I'm not gonna bother. That's probably not gonna cause issues. Silly wolf, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad he killed the deer for me. I still have zero deer killed. And I plan on keeping it that way. But now he ran off to these woods in here, this is a... This is not a place I like having my wolf sad yeah, either he is. Can you just uh, eat a bunny? Just go eat a bunny, please. I really need to go, I'm freezing, okay? I could probably go this up, I think this is goldable if I remember correctly. You know what? Uh, uh, whatever. I'm gonna sleep here. Let's just sleep in the bunker, like it's really close. It's a good stop before the exit. Oh, okay. Interesting. Man, that animation is long, I forgot about that. <laughs> and this place is so dark. Oh, uh, come on. You know, wait, make me waste some more of this. I just want a one hour nap. Yeah, that was pretty weird, right? Oh, don't... Oh. Just one hour nap, come on. This is my problem with these bunkers, like, they're, they're pretty crappy bases because they are so dark during the day even. You can't even see where you're supposed to go to sleep, so each time you need a lantern. Oh, I wanted to go this way. Hopefully I don't get a sprain. I left my crampons, so, yeah. Okay, we actually don't have spread risk on this, okay. That's nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the bear did not run over here. Still don't hear him. But at least we know this side is clear, so I'm gonna have to keep searching closer to the ice cave. And I'm gonna check the bear cave as well, because the bear cave could have the bear again if it like respawned or something. I'm still puzzled by the tracks disappearing. It was really, really strange. Not sure what's up with that.
Yeah, that was really weird. And I didn't see any blood marks either, right? Like, there was no blood, no blood trail. Kind of stopped there. And I just didn't hear him, right? Like, I turned around, I passed one hour, and I just couldn't hear him anymore. I didn't hear any dead sounds or anything. Oh, okay, since I'm on the way. So hard as this. But I'm already heavy, so let's just go. I want to make the rock cache by the entrance. We can sprint here. <laughs> he went flying. I hope not. <laughs> I sometimes see that happen with timber walls when they are near trees. They just kind of like teleport up a tree for like one second, then they jump back down. Super strange. I hear some cross, but I'm pretty sure it's like up there somewhere. That's not going to be our bear. That's definitely not our bear. I don't think I have any food here either, so I really need to go back to the cave anyway, because my hunger is already 50% drained. I'm curious about the infinite coal cave, we're gonna check it out later for sure. Don't need it right now though. Okay, rock cache time. Maybe if I place a rock cache uh, smartly in here somewhere, right? Like, if you could block out a little bit of my... Uh, like, a little bit of wind from here, that'll be nice, but yeah. This is a nice spot. Okay. Uh, it's showing pretty much nothing, but cool. Finally, I can get rid of all this stuff in my inventory. <laughs> All this stuff I don't want to be carrying. Two kilos worth of rose hips. Yes, perfect. Yeah, I'm just gonna store all the old man's beard. I don't think I need to carry any for infection. There's so much old man's beard around the region still. And I'm just not gonna bother. Okay, drop all of this. Drop this, drop this, drop this. Rest can still... Go... In the rock cache, probably. Okay. Wires, fuses, whetstones, spray paint. Yeah, I think I might use this actually. I might use this for the lantern I have right now. Adders. Okay, this is uh, a ruin, so let me just store the cattails. Yeah, I can leave it in here. Oh, I actually had the crampons on me this whole time. Hmm. Didn't even realize. Fuck. Come on. Oh, still freezing though. Minus five. Guess I could take a nap here. Perfect. Okay, and that's going to be it. I mean, we've already gone a little bit over time here. <laughs> I guess I was just enjoying HRV a bit too much. So, yeah. Uh, who can we raid? Who can we raid? Yeah, once is on. We could definitely raid once. But... I'm seeing Miss Helcat play Sons of the Forest. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, we could we could go we could go and say hello. Sarah loves that game, right? So <laughs> let's say hello. <laughs> and what's the uh, tomorrow starting time? Uh, like, like 3 or 3.30, like, I don't know exact time, but it's like between 3 and 3.30 probably. Uh, so that's like an hour, hour, hour and a half later than today, so let's see. 
so yeah thank you thank you for being here everybody thank you sarah for the resub and thank you naifo for the raid thank you mike then ten three and a for the follows and hopefully i will see you all tomorrow so yeah it's going to be like an hour later start but yeah let's see let's see so yeah thank you sakurai sarah tommy xms fy me z uh apla new man zelda everybody else see you tomorrow bye bye